challenged us to make a giant watermelon faucet. So right now, let's go. And you want it flat enough to stand up. Next step is to cut a three inch hole in the top. When doing this, be very careful and maybe even ask for someone else's help. Time to remove my piece. All right, cut up in the top of it. Oh, oh my whoa, God, whoa, 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 is it over? I don't know, I hope so. What was that? All right, so right now I'm gonna need a watermelon, so I'll use my melon monkey. Here we go, we'll go shopping. And tap it. Perfect, all right, let's what? see. And there's my watermelon, perfect. You act so. like that's super normal. Yeah, this is how everyone gets their melons, right? The melon monkeys. Oh, nailed it. Boom, there we go. And now for the three inch diameter at the top, I've learned from my mistakes, and it is now show time! Oh! I accidentally made it into a very unhappy dude. So here we go. We're just gonna Sorry. cut off the whole top of it. Oh! No. How would you think so? Wait, 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 wait. How did that happen? How I've been you... working on this for a while, Colin. Oh, I forgot. You might have had a whole bunch of juices, oh, but no. did you have a full-on cylinder? <laughs> Hold on, let me try this again. A full-on cylinder! Oh! You know what? It's time to bring out the big boys. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Dude, I need that! You can't have it, it's all mine! Now you're gonna have to wait for me, Con. Yeah, I'm you're used to that with me. the pancake guard challenges. Yeah. We're almost done, now we just gotta blend up some watermelon juice. Three, ready, two, two one. one! Wait, wait, dude, is yours working? I think I have a solution, Devin. We need to supercharge it! Whoa! All right, here we go, here, here, we, go, here we go, here we go! Ah. Whoa! Okay, okay. let's yep. get the charge. Right, 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 yeah, like... okay. okay, here we go. You ready? Combine them. Yep. And then we're gonna set it there. We're gonna okay. go three, two, one. Oh, wait. He needs a cape. That's it. Yes. Ah, man, what? You could have told me that from the yeah, beginning. I'm just okay, gonna put that on there. That'll turn him into a superhero, and now it's a supercharged. He's man, super that was just. Charged. There you go. All right, now the mine is supercharged. Time to supercharge yours. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mine just needs to be plugged in. All right, here we go. Three, two, two one. Yeah! This blends really nicely. Whoa! Ah, ah, oh, oh, yes, yes, take it yes, off! That's like the worst. It. Dude, dude, stop! I made an absolute mess. Final step, we got the faucet and time to attach it. Whoa. Screw it straight in. Okay. Bam! It's already starting to work. <laughs> God bless you. All right, I'm screwing mine in now. And yeah. done. And make sure it's closed before you pour this stuff in there. Oh, it's not close! Whoa. Bam! There we go. Gotta remove my super cape. Let's pour it in. You ready? Yep. Three, two, two one. one. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. I, what? Wasn't, I didn't close what? it. Which way does it go? It doesn't go that way. Got it. And now the moment of truth. Will this actually dispense the watermelon juice, Devin? Dispense? Oh, man, mine's falling out. We gotta... Oh! Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. Oh. oh! Wait. Oh! Dude! It looks so... Oh, no! 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 You guys get to comment down below who won this one right now, and we are on to the next one. You challenged us to do the pancake art challenge, but we are not allowed to use griddles, so we're what? using coffee makers. All right, so let's kick it off. I'm gonna be doing the Grinch. And I'm gonna be doing Buzz Lightyear. It's already difficult as it is with a six inch platter. This is gonna be so tough. Wow, these are way more powerful than regular griddles, bro. This is the most difficult pancake art challenge I've ever tried. Oh my. Just gonna pop this thing in here. We're gonna do little, little droplets from the top. Little eyeball, little, little his iconic smile. All right, adding ah, some green now. It's done, okay. All right, we're gonna give the Grinch some red eyes. Cause you know the Grinch, he's angry. He's like, I wanna steal Christmas. Whoa! I'm I am not Christmas. I am Devin. Eyebrow number one, great. Eyebrow number two, even better. You know what I'm gonna add? The final touch, which is green. I'm gonna utilize the coffee maker. Green goes in. All right, I'm done. Wait, I you're am all done. Me, yes. me, you're done? Lock in place, close top, press button, dispense. Wait, what is, how does this work? Come on, it's gotta release the batter. Dude, that's not gonna help. Wait, you've never been to Starbucks before? This is how they do it, man. Oh, I got it, I figured it out, but I just gotta get the top off, and then see, I can use it to press here and dispense it. See, look at this. Okay, I don't even need the top. I can just press right here. A little bit weird, to be honest. It's a very slow process. All right, well, you know what? To finish it off, I just will give, we'll give a little pour of some coffee here. See, like, what's so difficult about this is trying to Dude, get this in. We're a coffee maker, man. All right, time to flip over my pancake. So here we go. It's gonna go in. This oh, is... no, it's not even fully cooked, bro. I think I have the wrong flipper. Oh, whoa, 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 here we go. Three, three two, two, one. Oh, three, oh, three, two, three, two, two one. one. Oh, not bad, though. If it wasn't scorched. Here we go, the flip. You ready? Three, two, one. Dude, it actually turned out pretty good. No! For such a small plate, yeah. Are you kidding me? What do you mean? Yeah, dude, that's amazing, bro. Oh my gosh, will you get the comment down below? Who won this pancake art challenge? You challenged us to make a delicious frozen delight. We've got the dry ice, we've got our gloves on, and do not try this at home. So first step here, we're gonna place it down. Whoa, Whoa wait, it's on the pan. Finger. 
quick. I'm gonna place it over here. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. No, 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 no. You don't what? add water. Why not? If you want the perfect platform, you have to add it here with oh. no water. Wait, wait, wait. Right. Stop, 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 stop. What? 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 It's my job. All right, so we're gonna place this on top because we have to cool down this marble plate right here. Next up, we'll be adding some coconut milk to it. But first, we have to prepare our fruit. As you can tell, we have a whole bunch of sporks. Wait, wait where are my sporks? Sporks are a really utensil. All right, so now we got our berries and it's time to crush these things up. So let's see, it's gonna, oh, oh man. Oh, man. I this is really that. difficult even for me. Oh, yes. I feel like I'm breaking this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Double whoa, spatula. Are these spatulas? I feel like I'm being out whatever this is. Mine are way finer than Done. yours. Now is the most exciting moment. It is time to take our frozen slab, add the coconut milk, and we are gonna turn this into a frozen delicacy. Three, two, two one. one. There we go. All right, I got it, I got it, I got it. And then I'm gonna have to add right. this on top. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Add it. Whoa. Whoa. It's already frozen. It's frozen to the bottom of this one. Whoa. I gotta get it off. Whoa. Dude, I gotta go much quicker. I don't wow. have coconut milk. I gotta Whoa. get it off. Man, it looks like strawberry yogurt. I love strawberry yogurt. I know how to get this even colder. Dry ice directly on it. Wait, what? All right, here we go. Just gonna put it on top. I'm gonna try mixing it on my ice. Oh, man. Oh, it like works instantly. It totally works. All right, now it's time to spread it out. Oh, what? we're gonna make those like little rolls, right? Yes. All right, now I have to put it back on the dry ice for okay. 10 more seconds. Five, four, oh, no. three, oh. two, one, done. All right, here we go. Three, two, two go for it. One. Bro, it's working. One. I'm so excited. It's actually rolling. It's like a little no man! I gotta try to get mine. What do you mine mean? Is like a big old slab. Yours is like goals. Mine is like no. Comment down below what is your favorite fruit you would love to see us mix into this next time, and we're on to the next one. You challenge us to make a pirate ship, and right now, choose your fruit. Watermelon. I choose you. Whoa, dude, it worked. Bro, we're not doing Pokemon. We're doing Street Fighter. What? Well, what was I supposed to do? Supposed to do this. Oh, Whoa, there we go. that like, actually worked. All right, well right now, let's, uh, let's make some pirate ships out of watermelon. First up, we gotta make the bottom of the pirate ship. And if you do this at home, be very careful or even maybe ask for someone else's help. Well, you take your sweet time, hit tight pirate's life for me. Ready, set, carve. All righty. What? It didn't even work. Check it. No way. Yeah. Dude, it actually worked. There's a little cut in there. Three turn, iron. <laughs> Did it actually work? Turn. It's all the mighty power of the Kraken. I mean, the claw. What? Nothing. You just crack it in half? Nothing? Yeah, yeah, we're good. All right, let's see how straight my line is. So now yeah. it's time to gut them. So I'm just going to try this new technique. Oh, man. Wow. I actually <laughs> I broke it. You know what? I've always wanted to put this watermelon scooper thingy to the test. So here we go. So I'm just going to place it right in like this and then just. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. I think it worked. I just got to like squeeze it to get it out now. Here we go. Let's squeeze. Whoa. All right, here we go. It's gonna get a little grip on it. Ugh. Look at this beautiful slice of watermelon. Time to tenderize it. Wait, dude, where did you get the apron? And why does it say grill master? Cause I'm the grill master, bro. All right, we gotta tenderize a little bit. Oh yeah, oh, ah, it tastes great. All right, here we go. It's gonna continue to tenderize. Whew. All right, you know what, guys? When you're grill master, somebody just gotta go in with your hands. So here we go. Okay, here we go. It's gonna nice. Just scoop that out. Oh boy, man, it's just like pretty gunky over here. Ooh. It does not look like you're respecting your watermelon. Excuse me, I have so much respect for my watermelon. I'll even prove you wrong by becoming my own watermelon. Watermelon to do for this. No, Cos, was that the best idea? Not watermelon to do for this. Oh. Wow, I should have uh, should have thought that through. Dude, yours is looking more like mush than balls. Excuse me, bro. Do not insult my art. Oh, here we go. I'm just going to have to mold this together. Hold on. Uh, All right, it's almost there. Here we go. Three, what is two, almost there? my ball. One. Ta-da. See, there's still a little bit of fruit left in it, and I can't have that for the bottom of my pirate ship. So, figure out a new method. <laughs> What are you doing? What? You fully cleared it out. Wait, but that watermelon was seedless. Now it's time to make the sails of the ship. All right, here we go. It's got to haul out this part first. This is great, man. Just, oh yeah. Oh man, I'm like an artist. This is precision at its finest. I'm just being perfect with it, bro. My angles are on point. It's definitely very pointy what you're using. Done, perfect. Precision is all there. And now my perfect cubes. Yes, I nailed it. What is, what's wrong? Are you okay? How did you do that? Everything was a precise calculation all along the entire way. Now it's time to cut this up into the watermelon sails. This has got to be the coolest DIY we have ever Dude, done, bro. Awesome. The amount of detail on yours is just crazy. And let's see how this looks. You ready? We have a three second like challenge. We want to see if you can like this video in three seconds. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, two one. Done. done. Three, two, one. Ta -da! These turned out so cool. I am so excited about these. I mean, I think I crushed it. You get to comment down below who won this round. And right now we're on to the next one. You challenged us to turn a carrot into a flute. A 
Okay, you know what? All jokes aside, we're gonna show you how to actually turn a carrot into a real working flute. And right now, let's go. First step is you gotta chop off the top. And be very careful or even ask for someone else's help if you try this at home. If you do that, I've gotta use my carrot chuck for my karate. Oh, nice. Whoa. Oh, Here we go. Be careful, dude. Be careful. Oh. oh! This is the most important part. It's time to make the mouthpiece. You gotta be very careful with how this goes. I'm gonna watch you do it first. So it all comes down to this right here, because if you mess this up, you will not have a flute, Devin. And be very careful again when trying this at home. Devin is a trained flute professional. Yo, dude, you got it! I'm gonna make the reed. So I have to find a carrot that's gonna fit this hole. I'm nailing this thing, bro. I think I'm actually gonna do this. This doesn't fit. Ooh, I think we have our carrot. Yes! All right, now I have to cut off this side of it. Dude, what? Look at it. It Good might luck. create a very unique sound. So that's, that's kind of all I'm going for. Now it's time for me to cut this off real quick. I recommend cutting it halfway, then pulling it out, cutting it in half, and that's your measurement. This actually turned out so bad. I'm pretty disgraced right now. I'm gonna have to leave the competition early. What? So Devin, I have to take off in my carrot copter. What? <laughs> Whoa, dude, this way and up. <laughs> you okay? Next step is to cut the reed in half at an angle. All right, there we go. Now you stick this side in like that. Most flutes have multiple holes. My flute is special. One hole. It's a bunny flute, Devin, which means you and I can't hear the sounds, but to bunnies, this is the best music they've ever heard. Hey, 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 Collins, hey, Collins, 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 you're, you're summoning a ton of bunnies, dude, Collins! Whoa, snap, that's a lot of bunnies! I know, you were totally zoned out. I gotta add some extra holes, <laughs> that'll fix the problem. And now for my final step, I have to add holes. As you're doing that, I'm gonna show you what two holes in a flute can do. <laughs> Sounds like the wrong instrument, right? Yeah, it right, does. Here we go, hold on, just... Okay, here we go, now that should be, this should be better, here we go. Still, still the wrong instrument, okay. Let's try one, one last time, here we go. Devin, I accidentally broke it. Oh, what? It's all part of it. I will now play my flute upside down. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty rough. If I add three holes, I can create dubstep. Three, two, one. <laughs> what? It was so powerful. That was the greatest one. Dude, nice. All right, all right, we'll just finish yours up and then we'll see if yours actually plays like a flute. Three, oh, man. two, one. What? No way, bro! You actually got to go to our Oh, that is Dude. crazy! Comment down below, what is another vegetable we should use to make a flute out of? And right now, we're on to the next one. Egg slingshot! Wait, what? No, no, three, no, three, one, two, one! Oh, oh snap! snap. All right, well, that was, a, that was a direct hit, and guys, right now, we're gonna show you how to make some egg art. But first, we gotta, gotta clean that off. Yeah. First step is to peel our hard-boiled eggs. Dude, what is the technique you're using right now? What? You know? Dude, that like is that. so easy. Dude, that was like perfect. There you go. So you okay. kind of like put it in the palm like this. The thing is you have to keep it there with no fingers. So even throughout all the movement, you Whoa, have to really no, press that's not how I did it, dude. Oh! Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, man, I split man. it open. I now have two eggs. Again, you gotta get down the technique. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, man. I'm gonna use three eggs. I think that's how you deshell some hard boil. So you just, you, you juggle them like this, kind of do two at a time, and then try to grab ah! Next step in my egg art is to cut the egg only Ooh. using dental floss and this toothpick. I've tied a knot around my toothpick and now it's time to stick it in the Ooh. middle of my egg. Hey, dude, almost there, almost there. Ah! Oh. oh, I had it! <gasps> and now it's time to take the top off of the egg, dude! Oh my that gosh! That so good! Dude, I can't believe this dental floss actually worked. And you know what they say, for good dental care, you need to floss twice a day. Bro, I floss all the time. I got great dental care. No, 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 no. like dental floss, dude. This not is flossing. flossing, yeah. What, it's not even near your teeth. What, what are you talking about, bro? It's fine. What is that? This is face flossing. <laughs> Bonus hack, you can actually use a mason jar with water to peel an egg. I'm dropping knowledge. We're gonna drop it in. Oh, it's called a Macarena mason jar. Oh, apparently, you shake this up and deshell the egg. So I guess Whoa. we kinda... Oh my gosh, dude, it's no, working! Wait. No way! Dude, Whoa. it fully deshelled the egg! You never did the Macarena once, though, so. What are you talking about? What are you doing? Do the Macarena, I forgot, <laughs> how do you do it? Now it's time for me to grab some mayo. So, uh, wait, where's the mayo at, Cons? Oh, don't worry, we'll just call the mailman. The mailman? No, what does the mailman have to do with mayo? Not the mailman, Devin, the mailman. You're saying the same thing. No, they're very different people. See if I can find them. Here we go, three, two, one. No, who? Maybe this guy, here we go, okay, three, okay, two, okay. one. Oh, oh well, you know what, uh, yay! So right now, time to summon the Mayo Man. All right. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, oh, it's working, it's working. Oh, oh snap! What? Dude, it's the Mayo Man. No. Oh, oh my gosh. You've got mayo. What is going, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah. You've got mayo. Yeah, I can tell. What, what was that? I got mayo all over me. You asked 
work, bro. I told you this is how we get mayo. I'm sticking by mayo, man, man. That is exactly what he delivered. All right, now that I have more mayonnaise than I could ever need, I'm gonna mix it up with my yolks. Dude. Sure. Oh, I got egg juice in my eye. All right, so for mine, I'm gonna go for a very complex design here. Gonna stack my eggs. Oh, man, this is very difficult to stack an egg. Here we go, it's gonna go straight down. Boop, pop out the bottom. Gotta go for a toothpick. So here we go, one, and then here we go, number two, right here. This is essential. Will it stay balanced? No. Yeah, I know how to make it stay balanced, Devin. You know how to make it stay balanced? Little legs. All right, here we go. He's now got two little legs. Now it's time to add my yolk mayo mixture into my egg. Got it, dude. It stays yeah, out, bro. What? Some serious engineering. Oh! I've got the yolk mayo mixture, and now it's time to add the top. Oh! I got it. Oh! Now it's time to break up this carrot and cut it up. Ta-da! I got it. You're not saying anything. No! Oh! I gotta begin this all over again. Oh, well. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what? how to really pamper an egg. Gonna do a little egg massage. Here we go, I'm gonna put a little in, in here, give it a little, little tickler, like, Aah. perfect. All right, I got my face mask, and I've cut my little feet, so now it's time to poke them with a toothpick and attach them to my egg. Devin, I'm an innovator, bro, look at this. Let's see, now we're just gonna place some face mask on my little egg, just like that. Oh, man, let the pampering be, oh, snap. It's got a little feet. This is the pampering spa treatment. I get at least four times a week. How does, who throws you like that? Masseuse or Bonnie? Yeah, they like that, oh, they just, oh, no, no, throw you off in the oh. air. <laughs> and then up there, like that. Okay, just cut out my beak and now it's time to attach it. All right, let's see, let's see if I can crack it open right now. I want to get something very special in the middle. Oh, there it is, fully intact, bro. Here we go, we gotta what? get it out. And this is my favorite part of the entire egg, bro. Check this out. What happened? No! What? It just flew away. I gotta go catch my yolk, dingus 2000. Let's get it. Safe travels! Oh, hey, did you catch the golden yolk? Forget the golden yolk, bro. I lost my dingus! No! First time I broke it, this time I lost it. What's gonna happen next? Well, I lost my dingus and I couldn't catch the yolk. So right now, let's continue on. So, One eye, um, two eye, and it's done! All right, here's the big reveal, dude. Mine turned out awesome! Dude, I know, it's actually the best you've ever made. Three, two, one, ta-da! Dude! Come on, man, come I on! I know, I know. So you get to comment down below who made better egg art. And right now, we're on to the next one. You challenged us to make a massive watermelon ring, so... Come on! Okay, what is going okay, on? You gotta help me out, bro. You gotta help me out. Okay, okay, this, have, this, I'm coming fast! I'm coming so fast! Bro, I almost missed that one! Yeah, okay, come on! Stop! Okay, let's go make it. Before we can peel it, we gotta cut off the top and the bottom, and first off, we got our woof stuff. So if you do this at home, be very, very careful. Even ask for someone else's help, or maybe don't even do it if you don't feel comfortable. So right now, we're gonna do this with a shredder, because technically you gotta Wait, peel it. What? I thought peel first it. off was woof stuff. Yeah, well, first off for you is woof stuff. Uh, first off for me is shred off. All right. This is the shred off. Shred, shred, shred off. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna win this. I love your confidence every time. You could absolutely play this like a violin. Now it's time to create the iconic shape. I'm gonna put the stencil down on top like this, and you just start shaving the watermelon like this. My knife is a lot smaller than your knife, bro. I don't know how this happens. Okay, so I guess this goes like this. Perfect. You know what, Devin? As you waste your time there, I've got a better tool. A chisel. How are you gonna use that? Oh, trust me, bro. Now I just have to uh, speed things up a little bit. So let's do this. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna... Dude, what are you doing? How are you doing that? Dude, I wish I could do that. Seriously, bro? Fine. All right, well, I guess I have to go pretty quick here. All right, just gotta cut down the sides here. Boom, and done. Masterpiece. Speed equals quality. Well, I guess my little outline on the top is over, so I'm just gonna have to freehand it. Kind of copy along. Oh, oh, so smooth. I feel like I'm missing something shape-wise right now. What shape is yours? An octagon. <laughs> Square. Uh oh, that last one might have been a little bit too much off the base. It's looking more like a club than it is. <laughs> Then a pop. Bro, this is taking you forever. Well, what time is it? It's exactly <gasps> melon time! So basically 315. Yeah, but it's, it's way more fun to say melon time. The only downside is that it's a little hard on the wrist. Well, yeah, it's a flippin' melon. Okay, well, just because you don't have the melon 4000. You have the four? I have the 4000. But is it waterproof? It's a melon, a oh. watermelon. No, it's not <laughs> waterproof, Devin. It Man. is water. Bro, are you close yet? Yeah, I'm pretty much done. All right, we know I'm gonna put the finishing touches on mine, and right now, let's get ready for the finale. Yours is so perfect. Oh my gosh. All right, here's the big reveal. Three, two, one, ta-da! Wow, bro, like you just went you give the comment down below who made a better watermelon ring. Oh, Supersonic oh. slam! Check this out. Whoa. Wow. Oh. Let's see if this watermelon turned into jelly. Three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You challenge us to make spaghetti noodles out of juice, and right now, let's go. Turn this juice into noodles. We have to use what's called sodium alginate. We're gonna use two teaspoons right here. I wonder yeah, if it'll one. work immediately, like the moment it hits, and then we're gonna All be right. blending these up, and then we're gonna be turning them into noodles. Three, two, two one. one. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. It's like a little smoothie almost. Wow, you know? yeah, my guy has a little hat. Oops. And 
done. All right. It got super thick. Wait, is yours it's as really thick as mine? Milky. You got to dump them out and let them sit, and that should get rid of a lot of the bubbles. This looks delicious. It's turned into like a sludge, man. Dude, mine got rid of all the bubbles. And mine got even more bubbly, it seems like. Next up, you got the huge oh, trays yes. of water right here. So I'm going to put this on top. The final thing we need is calcium chloride, and this stuff looks super crazy. It's like a whole bunch of little balls. Check this out. Now we got to mix them up. Wait a minute, bro. Mine are like all gone. They're fully oh, dissolved. Yeah. So now it's time to add in the juice. So we're just going to suck off some of this juice right here. Oh, that's so cool. Yours looks way better Whoa. than mine. Mine did not go that well. Oh, though. yeah. Now, the moment that this juice hits the surface of the liquid, it'll immediately turn into the noodles. All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. Oh, oh what? Oh, wait, Dude. I can't even see mine. It turned into noodles. Does that mean like yours don't work? Or maybe they will work. We just can't see them yet. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> that popped off. Dude, I want to see if I can get a couple of like, little drops going in. So here we go, a little drop right there. Whoa. Oh, here we go. Gonna go underneath the surface here, just like this. It's like a streamer. Three, two, two one. Oh. How does it feel, dude? All the little bubbles in it, man. It's weirdly spongy. Yo, what if we take a whole bunch of this stuff and just pop it in like oh. this? Oh, it's no longer liquidy. It's kind of separating from my fingers a little bit. Dude, it's kind of like a jellyfish, like especially if you put the little legs on it. Yeah, the real question is, how did yours turn out, man? Let's see how it goes. What? Ready? Oh, they work. No way. Those look in Insane! Wow! Dude. Bro, those look like real noodles. Look at how long this noodle is. Time to see how these noodles taste. Wait, wait, wait. We'll be doing this at the end of the video, and right now we're on to the next one. Oh, I can't wait. Who challenged us to make a healthy jelly watermelon? So let's go. Yo, dude. dude. All right, now it's time to gut these things out and turn them into some hollow watermelons. Oh, oh dude, that's a whole nice. bunch of it. Look at that, bro. Right, oh, I can see. hear it bubbling. Wait, why is it bubbling though? Because I got a potato masher in here, bro. Here we go. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. Oh, oh it's boy, it's just shooting up. Oh, oh boy. Okay, here we go. Oh, dude, you made like watermelon soup in there almost. Yeah. Dude, try taking a little drink from it. That looks so good. Time to dump out the melons. I'll go first. Here we go. Three, two, two one. Oh. Oh. Yeah. The watermelons are gutted, and now it's time to create the gelatinous substance. We're gonna be using agar agar, or agar agar. I don't know. Powder. We need some water. Oops, a little bit too much, a little bit too much. All right, there we go. Oh boy, that's a lot. Okay, Whew. all right, last one right here. You know, that should be uh, that should be about good. Perfect, and now we gotta heat it up and mix it. But in the meantime, it's time to mash up some watermelons oh, for the sweet. juice, man. Yep. Just gotta mash down like this. So the goal, we wanna get as much of the juice out of the melons as we possibly can. All right, let's see how the stuff is turning out. That's gonna mix with our watermelon? Yeah, how is this really gonna work, man? I'm kind of confused right now. Next up, we gotta strain out these bowls, but I gotta move yep. my watermelon off to the side over here. It's like this. Three, two, one minute. Oh. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, it's going everywhere. Oh. Yes. Weird. I saw that going a lot worse in my head. Now it's time to add in the agar and turn this into gelatinous goodness. Just gonna put it yeah. in here like this. I think yours might actually work better. Mine's gotten pretty thick, I gotta say. And I wanna see if the agar is gonna mix into the watermelon juice or not, because mine's staying rather clumpy right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. Right now, it really doesn't mix at all. Wait, wait, wait. These like hardened chunks of agar. We may have missed a step. Dude, this stuff is not dissolving at all. So Ugh. you know what? I think the solution is to pop it back into the pan over right. here and then reheat it all. So no, no, no. I'm talking about all of the what? juice all and everything. Yep. No, dude, it totally worked. The agar is now melted into the watermelon juice. So be very careful with this and do not try this at home. Three, two, one. Oh, we have a five second subscribe challenge. We want to see if you can subscribe to this channel and turn on the channel post notifications in five seconds. You ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, done. You can do that comment down below, Keeper Squad, right now. Ready, set, go. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 oh, no, 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 no,
Yeah. All right, so we add it onto the hot plate like this. We're using the pan, you know, right? Okay, so got, sorry, gotta get it off this thing right here. So let's uh, plop it in here like this. Gonna add some more water. I think that's really what it needs. I think you were right from the beginning. And the coolest thing is we get to eat this, bro. You're excited to eat that? Now it's time to turn this into slime. So we gotta turn this up as it boils. It's going to turn into slime. Oh. oh. Okay, okay, I see you. Dude, look at this. Oh man, it's definitely getting a lot more slimy. That's for sure. The heat is turned off, and now Dude. it's time to pour these onto our frozen marble slabs. How is this thing gonna glow in the dark? I can't wait to see how this turns out. All right, ah, ready, set, set go. go. Oh man, oh. it's kind of coming out. Oh, oh. dude, oh. what? Oh, this is not a pretty slime. Oh, yeah, we gotta cool this thing down quick. The real question is, is it going to glow in the dark and how is it gonna taste? We'll be trying it at the end. You challenge us to make glow in the dark oobleck out of potatoes. And do not try this at home. The potatoes are peeled and now it's time to dice these things up. Oh, oh. bro, this Whoa. shot out. I've learned this cubing technique from all the cooking shows I watch, man, because this is uh, this oh, yeah. exactly how they do it, man. Time to dump it all in. So here we go, gonna balance it up like this. Dump it in just like that. Boom, and now we're on to the next step. Yo, these got super murky. And so right now we gotta strain out the potatoes and get to that good old juice. I think I got it. I yeah, think I got nicely it. done. Yeah, the biggest thing is we need the starch from the potatoes. So that's what we're doing with this process. Next up, we're gonna use a strainer right here. It's over the top like this. Three, two, one. Oh! Just a little bit of overflow. Yep, just a smidge, you know, not nothing too crazy. There we go. Boom, and now I have out the isolated potato starch, and now it's time to make the oobleck. All the way to the top. Here we go, almost there. The potato starch is all settled at the bottom and that's what's gonna be the oobleck. So now we gotta pour out the liquid at the top. Oh, oh, oh boy. No. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, why is it like dripping down the side? Oh. I gotta go very slowly right now. I got it. And done. Okay, there we go. Wait, Boom. I wonder if it turns into oobleck the moment it hits the bowl. It oh, go. it really is oobleck. No way. Dude. Here we go. Ready, set, go. go. Oh, oh, wait, dude. It doesn't mix it's for me. It's fully oobleck. For those of you who are new to oobleck, basically it's a substance that's a liquid when you hold it, but it's solid when you hit it. Yo, wait, I just realized this is fully edible. Dude, you're right. Oh man, we can give it a try and see if the oobleck actually tastes any good on this one. I can't wait to see if this oobleck glows in the dark I and of know. course to see how it tastes. We'll be doing that at the end of the video and we're on to the next one. You challenge us to turn orange juice into a delicious frozen delight, so let's go. I'm just gonna fill up my baggie with some orange juice right now. Here we go, Devin, if I hold yep. mine like this, can you pour a little bit more what? into it? Nice, yeah. all right, a little bit more, 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 more,
Nice. Thank you. Time to wrap my second carrot in a nori sheet. And this is a pretty juicy beet right here. Oh man. All right, it's all red on the inside, which is perfect for what I need. Check this out. I'm gonna take this thing of beet. I'm gonna insert it inside the cucumber so there's a tongue inside the mouth because Devin doesn't have that, so I'm gonna win. I'm gonna put a little hole here at the top. That's where the beet's gonna go. Yes! Oh! I've like conquered this challenge so far and my art challenge is going three dimensional. All right, time to roll up the first layer. Okay, I need a second nori sheet. Wait, place it here. And just... <laughs> it actually kind of works, dude. Look at that. Whoa, I'm gonna smash my beat. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Oh yeah, this turned into some nice pink rice, man. Yo, the pink rice is totally working. The only issue is I forgot to take out all the chunks of beet. Three, two, one, splat, and pat, 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 pat. I'm gonna give a little bit of a ridge in the center just like this. I'm gonna have to use these nori sheets to create some dark eyes as some stark contrast. Huh. All right. Art words. You're really picking up this art thing. Oh no, and my panda's opening up. All right, here we go. Gonna fold like this and then gonna lay it down like this. Press it in, press it in. Boom. Perfecta mundo. I'm just gonna pack it down with rice here at the top of it, man. Gotta keep the nori sheet down right now. All right, boom. Eyes are in place. Oh, the beat nose, which you probably won't be even able to tell in the final result. Doesn't matter. Here we go. Last but not least, we've got the mouth. Here we go. Gotta push the mouth down a little bit. Boom. I'm gonna pop this over the top here and just gonna kind of mold this one here. It's called triangle sushi. All in the name of art. So uh, my top sheet is kind of uh, crumbling a little bit. And then to get this really to stay, you you guys gotta, you know, combine the hands like this. Here we go, boom. I'm gonna move my triangle sushi off to the side now for the final step here. Gotta take up my green rice to finish up my panda art. Here we go. Real question, how is that gonna be wrapped up in that? The thing about art, you never ask questions, you just do it. The real question is how I'm gonna eat this in one bite. Gonna do a side rollover, here we go. Boom, side rollover, upside down triangle. Boom, there we go, mine is done. Oh snap, I can't wait to cut it open. See what it looks like on the inside, bro. You're taking forever, man. Dude, that is huge and it's got a ton of spicy wasabi and it's we're gonna be cutting these open. You get to comment down below whose panda do you think turned out better? We'll be eating them at the end of the video. You challenge us to turn milk into rock art. So right Whoa. now, let's go. Step one, we gotta heat up the milk and do not try this at home. The goal is to heat it up right before the point where it actually starts to boil. We're gonna be adding in the vinegar and the milk has a crazy reaction. Three, two, one. Oh, dude, Whoa. look at what? that immediately, what? 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 immediately. Dude, it's like curdling. It's like totally separating. Next up, we gotta strain out all the excess liquid and get the curds inside the milk. So Devin, yep. we're gonna pick this up and go very slowly. Very carefully. Be very careful. Here we go. Right. Three, two, two one. Oh! I got it. Dude, I, I got nailed it. it, bro. Here we go. It's going to uh, let it strain out here. Oh, man. Dude, it's all jiggly and yeah, funky man. looking, bro. Bro, it looks like it's only little ball of cheese right now, like yeah. goat cheese or something, man. It's milk and milk comes from cheese. Milk does not come from cheese. Sorry, it's the other way around. Next up, we got to get the last bit of liquid out of these. So here we go. It's going to place them down right here. Oh, man. It's so warm. All right, and now it's time to make the art and fill these molds. I don't know if I'm going to yeah. have enough for this. All right, here's going to pull it down and press it in a little bit. This is gonna create some really cool art, and the best thing is that after this sits for a while, it turns rock hard, like you can't oh, break yeah. it. Comment down below who you think is gonna turn out better. We'll be testing them at the end of the video, and we're on to the next round. You challenge us to make a vegetable trumpet, so right now, let's go. So here we go, boom, the body of the trumpet. And if you're doing this at home, be very careful. The next step, gotta make it hollow. And for mine, I've got this little white Christmas tree looking thingy over here. And this here, Devin, this is traditional cucumber coring techniques, bro. Oh, wow, very this, fancy. This, this is how the ancients did it, man. <laughs> the ancients. <laughs> People who have been around a long time. Maybe if I rotate on the way out. Oh, it's dripping out juice. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. Wow. All over. Yeah, I think mine's cord. Look at that. It's like a telescope, bro. Yep. So or, next or. up, you put the carrot in like this. You gotta mark an inch out, just like this. Here yep. we go. We got the two things here and just kind of wee. So now it's gonna put the two coring right. things together like this. And it's a little bag, Devin. You can hit them all, you know? Oh, I made it through. Innovation core through one side over here. Oh, oh no. 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 Bro, it breached the side of it. I hope this doesn't ruin the trumpet, bro. All right, next up, I have to hollow out the carrot. That, oh, jeez, there we go. Look, you can have a huge slit on the side oh, of it now. Oh, man. Come on, see. I'm gonna have to cover that. In an attempt to rescue my cucumber, I brought along some nori sheets for sushi. Whoa. It's gonna, you know, lather it up a little bit, get a little bit of liquid on it. I'm gonna use this to seal the opening. Gonna slice open the bell pepper, yo! All right, I think my mouthpiece is done. Now it's time to put it in the cucumber. All yeah, right. look at that, dude. Right. You gotta cut off a little bit here at the back, and Devin, be very careful when doing this and only cut off a little amount, because this is where the cucumber is gonna go. Okay, now it's time to see if my cucumber fits. All right, and no, not quite. Then I might have messed up already, Oh, yeah. dude! I mean, look at that. That is definitely not your your best work, Devin, I gotta say. Yeah, hey, let's find out if this really plays like a trumpet. Here we go. Three. Two, one. Well, you know, we should actually try this at the end of the video. Oh, yeah, so yeah. right now, we're on to the next one. We've got all the food hacks on to test to see if they actually worked. We've got the slime, and now it's time to see if it actually glows in the dark. And of course, we gotta find out how this stuff tastes. So right now, let's turn out the lights. Yo, dude, it's dude. fully glows in the dark. 
dark. Dude, this is crazy. This looks so cool. I had no clue vitamins glowed in the dark. Dude, if this stuff glows, I wonder if it's gonna taste any good. Well, these things definitely glow in the dark and they look so cool, but now let's Ooh. see if they taste as good as they look. I guess we'll go for a bite at the same time. You ready? All right, here we go. Three, two, two one. Oh, 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 oh no. It's like weirdly oh, spicy. Oh, oh man, not a fan. It's uh, like, oh. Uh, just because it's edible doesn't mean it's good. All right, we got the juice noodles, and dude, these things are going to taste so crazy. Noodles. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, man, I'm dropping chunks. So I just yep. have to take a bite of them, and you're okay. going to go next. Three, Three two, two, one. How do they taste? Whoa, what? They're like actual noodles, but like juice flavored. I mean, all in all, those were super bizarre. Like, I don't know if I liked it or not. All right, here we go. Oh, and these things were liquid on the inside, dude. I wonder if they stayed that way. I don't know, man. You should try taking a bite of it, I know. Bro. Three, two, one. Oh, they crunched. Oh. What, they're not good? Uh-uh. They're coated in something weird. And the, and the oh. apple juice doesn't really help. Oh, no. Yo, those were Ugh. disgusting. Time to reveal the sushi art and see how these things taste. So here we go. Ready? Three, two, two one. Let's see if he's giving us a nice little slice here. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, oh that's, that's horrible. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. There you have it. I think it's upside down. It's meant to be that way. Three, two, one. Bro, I think you nailed it personally. Oh. I wonder if the wasabi. Oh, oh, the wasabi rice no. came off. No, 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 no. It's looking crazy. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, bro, yeah. even this one, even what? this one looks like a little panda! You wow. nailed it, bro. Wait, he actually kind of looks a little sad. We've got the sushi, let's see how it tastes. Three, two, two one. Ooh. Oh, no. oh. 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 it's not that spicy. Oh, 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 oh. It really messed you up. Oh, 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 oh. It's not that bad for me. We've got the magic mud, and now it's time to see if it glows in the dark and also how it tastes. Now let's turn out the lights and see if this glows in the dark. Dude, dude, this is so crazy. What? This looks awesome. And in the black light, it looks really crazy, man, because the way it falls. Bro, what? It looks like some sort of creamy delight. Bro, it's like an alien substance. Ready, set, go. go. Oh, whoa. That's kind of sweet. Oh, oh no. what? It got warm. Warm. It's bizarre because, like, take a bite of it and, like, up and it, like, falls out of your mouth. I recommend you never eat it and we're on to the next one. We've got a frozen orange delight right here. Let's see how this tastes. We're going to pop it open. Whoa. Let me see if I can scoop oh, a spoonful out. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Here we go. Take a big spoonful like this here. Three, Three two, two, one. Oh, it's mm. so good, but like so cold. That's so good. I want to see if yours are colder than mine, though. Okay, all right, it's so oh. excited, dude. Wow. All right, we've got the vegetable trumpets, and now time to see if they really make some music. We're gonna go first. Here we go. Three, yeah. two, two, one. Mm. Sounds like a really frustrated man. Mm. Cause it sounds like you're yelling into the trumpet, not playing it. All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. Mm. Oh man, I can't tell if it's your spit or the actual stuff coming out of the cucumber. Wait, it was just like. <laughs> Seed, Wait, you like inhale the Oh, seed? there it is. There it is. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you got the rock hard milk, and let's see if it actually turned rock hard. Three. Two, one. Oh. oh, dude, like, wait, 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 wait. Before what? you touch what? it, time for me to get mine out. Three, two, one. Oh, wait, 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 what? what? How did my crab fall apart? It's a lobster. Let's see if it actually is rock solid. Three, two, two one. one. Uh, no. Mine Yours? is. Yeah. Mine's like all crumbly. It's a little crown. Let's see if this watermelon turned into jelly. Three, two, one. Two, one. broke apart, but the watermelon's like stuck inside on the rind right now. And the outside's more like sandpaper. It's not as smooth as I would've liked, but look, if you just break it open. Oh my gosh, it's so satisfying. That looks so cool. Oh snap, it's such a big chunk and it's so jiggly. All right, well mine totally worked. Let's see what yours looks like. All right, here we go. Oh, yo, dude, dude that looks so cool. It looks so awesome. And dude, it looks like it's gonna taste amazing. Oh, mine, it's breaking off. Oh no, there's a little bit of funkiness to mine. I just wanna see oh, if it's oh, juggleable. Oh, oh, it's definitely dude. juggleable. Wait, dude, can I hold it? Yeah, I want to try sure. it. Like, oh my gosh. It's like totally see-through too. This is so wild, dude, man. Dude, this turned out so cool. I know. Here we go. And actually, you know what? I'm going to use this one here. So ready, set, go. go. Whoa. Oh, dude. Oh my goodness. That comes out so easily. It's completely watermelon flavor, man. This is absolutely delicious. Yo, we got watermelon. You want some? Yeah, of course. All right, here we go. I'm just going to crack it up like this. Oh, Yo, wait. What? Check it How out. did you do that? How did you make it orange? Orange. Wait, you want an orange? All right, here we go. Wait, yeah. an orange? An orange. 
So it's got to smooth it off a little bit. There I, you go. There's your how orange. How did you make it orange? Not get me an orange. <laughs> Dude, right, well, right now, we're going to show you how to peel a watermelon. So right now, let's go. For this kitchen hack, the secret is you don't need one watermelon. You need two watermelons. And so here's what we're going to do. First step, we got to peel one of the watermelons. So we're going to okay. place one of them off to the side right oh, now. No, and now we have to peel the melon. If you do this at home, and if you're using a knife, you must be very careful. Maybe even ask for someone else who's very experienced with knives to help you out on this. Fun fact, watermelons actually have micro hairs on them. So Wait, uh, what? I've never seen hair on a watermelon. Look at this. What? Deny that. Bro. You just put a mustache Proof. on no. it. So here we go. So we're just going to uh, get some shaving cream on it. Oh, bro! Now that thing, it sucks up! Devin, what? Shave the melon. You didn't even take off the hair, bro. <laughs> Now I noticed that Devin used a knife to carve off the top layer of it, but I think that he did it the wrong way, per usual. So I did not. I gotta use super sped up, super awesome sandpaper. Let's go! Wait, what? Whoa, whoa! Oh whoa. no! Hey now! No, dude, 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 broke it broke it! You broke it! We're gonna use this right over here, and we're just gonna just relax him. And now that he's relaxed into a very subdued and quiet state, it's time to wake him up. Oh! Oh! Oh, bro! What? There we go. Dude, most watermelons are up tight. They're always in a circle. They're always like, Ehh. but then when you relax, they're like, ah, ah. All right, mine is all peeled, and now it's time to move on to the next step. Oh. Just step gonna... one is you cut it in half. Step two is you scoop out what's inside of the watermelon. Just like this. Harder than you would expect. <laughs> so, Devin, if you can just put your finger on my forehead. Oh. Three, two, one. Yes! Hey! It Waiting on slow poke Devin over here. Ready to go. Quick. All right, Devin, got to go into hyper speed right now. Activate it. Speed is out. Here's the big reveal. Three, Three two, one. Ta da! So I just gotta just crack mine open like that. Ta da! So wow. you get to comment down below Ooh. who made a better peeled watermelon. And right now we are on to the next round. For this round, you challenge us to make orange jack o' lanterns. So right now, wait, let's go. Dude, all jack o' lanterns are orange. No, bro. see this time we're literally making them out of oranges. First step, we gotta tenderize these oranges. Jack o' lanterns are supposed to be round, not oval shaped, bro. All right, well, while you're doing that, you actually are supposed to cut off the top of it and then take out the inside side with the spoon. Oh, all right, so now it's gonna remove the top, so here we go. It's empty now, so the next step is Ooh. to draw out how my jack o' lantern's gonna look. All right, the designs are on, and now it's time to just carve them out. All right, eyeball number one has been completed. Well, this is actually way easier than I expected. First eye, done. Final step is to add the candle. These jack o' lanterns turned out so cool, and bro, yours looks absolutely insane, so here's a big reveal. Ta-da! Bro, Dude. these are awesome, so you get to comment down below who you think won my jack o' lantern. Wait, is yours throwing up? So right now, guys, we are on to the next one. For this round, you challenge us to make a a whole bunch of aquatic snacks. Cons, what are you wearing? Bro, I'm a dolphin, or should I say? <laughs> Uh, wow. Next up, we got the banana. So right now, I'm just gonna need one banana. So there we go, perfect. Got my one banana. All right, so first step is you cut off this top part and then you move it off to the side because we're gonna use it later. Next um, up, you cut the banana at an angle like that. Aye! And this, you have to be very, very careful. We're gonna chop it down the, oh, the, uh, yes. the center of it. Boom, nailed it. Now it looks kind of like, like a little dolphin. Yo, it's like Aye! So next up, yes. we're gonna use this little bit over here. So you're gonna cut it in half, being very careful. We gotta add a little eye hole, little, little area right over here. And then we're gonna put this little bit of uh, like rotten stuff in there, or not rotten, but the top of the, oh, oh. <laughs> looks like a little eye. Next up, we gotta make sure that our dolphins can swim in the great blue ocean of the world. We're gonna just do this, we're gonna like that. You make little triangles on it, basically. Yeah, like that. We're gonna pull up a little fin. Look at him, he's like, he's like, yo, what's up, how you doing, bro? All right, now we add a grape to it. Look, it's so cute, and now all we have to do is just make the ocean habitat in which it lives, and this part yes. is super easy. Well, we got a little bit carried away here. We made a whole bunch of dolphin friends. We actually yep. made a whole super pod. So now, we gotta make the ocean. So we're gonna take out this little tree, because there ain't no trees in the ocean, yeet! All right, so now we just need some, uh... <laughs> it's very fair that you out yeet me, but today, you have out yeeted me. Congratulations, Devin. You're welcome. It doesn't even work. Oh. I think mine is all mixed up enough, so I'm just gonna start populating it with my dolphin breed or, or squad. <laughs> squad, no, pod. Pod. Let's get this little dude in here. Uh oh, they're all kind of like falling over. Ooh. Oh, that's so cute. They were like sharing this little grape, but nah, fam, star crossed lovers. You're gonna have to sit it opposite side. Bam. Now I got my saucer posser of apple sauces and dolphins. Well, you know what? You guys get to comment down below who made a better pod of dolphins. Mine's a super pod. It's a regular pod. We'll be eating these at the end of the video, but right now we are on to the next round. You challenged us to the pancake art challenge, but with eggs. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, that was a good God. catch. Dude, so right now, here what? we go. We're gonna do up. Oh, oh, oh you're gonna snap. That was another eggs, good catch. Bro. All right, here we go. Another oh. one. Oh, oh I got it. You I got, got it. it. All right, cause now it's time to test your net catching skills. You ready? Right, yeah, here sure. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh, oh. crack no. That was... There you go. Oh, okay, there we go. go. Got another one. Oh. Now it's time to crack open some eggs. So this is our first egg cracking Dude, contraption. How does this even work? Right, three, three, two, two one. one. Oh. 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 What? what? 
What? What? Blown! But you know what? Since I accidentally put my yoke in there, here's the way I'm gonna fix it. We got a stealth cactus. And then it goes, and then it sucks it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Oh, no, did you break okay. it? Now, this contraption is incredible. The goal is you place it on top here, and it will cut out a perfect circle at the top of the A. Three, two, one. Oh, no way. Wait, no, wait, it wait. just made a little mark on it. Three, two, one. Mine worked. Oh, oh what? 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 It looks like, it's like a little hat. What? Dude. I'm styling now. Next up is a very challenging task of transferring all of these egg whites and egg yolks into these pancake art bottles. So. Yes, but luckily we have this egg holder slash funnel looking thing. All right, you ready for this? <laughs> sure. It's working. Oh, man, I filled it up too fast. Oh. It's not your fault. It's the funnel's fault. Uh oh, oh boy. Okay, that, that was partly your fault. So we got the egg whites and now it's time for the egg yolks. Oh. Hopefully you've learned, Collins. Uh, learned what? I'm just gonna straight freestyle this thing. <laughs> if 50% of it makes it in, that's that's better than my normal average. To make it, oh, yo! <laughs> the moment has come, it is time to make the egg art. So first, we gotta pam it up a little bit. You know, get a little bit of pam up. Oh, that's, ooh, ooh. All right, so I don't know what Devin's going for here. I have a little bit of an idea of what I'm gonna make. So here we go. Step one, <sighs> done. Gonna give him a little, ooh, what? This stuff does not cooperate. Now it's time for the eye. Oh, like no! That. This is so difficult, bro. Like, work with me. Mine is not turning out, dude. Here we go, I'm just gonna add Add a little bit more around it. I can't work with this. I got the touch for this thing. Gotta give oh, him an ear. I'm messing it up further. All right, it's time for me to flip mine. Oh man, this might be the first art challenge that I'm going to win. You ready for this? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh. It doesn't even flip like a pancake. Wait, so what is what is that? It got folded in half. It's supposed to be a chicken, dude. Here's a big flip. You ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh! oh. I think okay, it did, I like, recovered a, it fully. We're gonna try this one more right, time. Here we, we go. go. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Oh! Whoa! Oh, you took oh, off his hat! Oh no! Well, this was a complete fail, but you get to comment down below even after they both got wrecked who made a better one, and right now we are on to the next one. For this round, you challenge us to turn an ordinary apple into a terrifying monster. So right now, the game is 86 to 89, love, and let's just get lit! <laughs> oh, jeez, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. First step, you're gonna take an apple, drop it on your cutting oh. board, and then we're gonna take use these uh, paddles. We'll use the dog squad of popping this. You take the... <laughs> I didn't know. Next up, we're gonna use a dinosaur head to split this thing in half. And fun fact, T-Rex's heads are six times stronger than an actual banana. Only six times? Yeah, that's it. That's surprisingly little. <laughs> yeah. A couple little dinosaurs. <laughs> Oh, dude, oh. Next up, you cut out the strawberry. Oh, yeah. Just wanna put that out there. You Wait, cut you out the strawberry. Done? Yeah. Well, half, what? like halfway through. That's crazy. I gotta focus up real quick. Woo. Almost done. Wait, what? Oh, I gotta use these. Give me a vision into the future. Here we go. <gasps> Whoa, Are dude! Are you okay? The future is too crazy, bro. You don't even want to know what happened. The Dini source came back. <laughs> it was absolute me! Next time you take two grapes, a toothpick, break the toothpick in half, stick the toothpick in the grape, just like this, and you attach it to the top as eyes. All right, here uh, we go. We're gonna feed him some raisins. Nom, 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 So the last step is you take some raisins, you take small pieces off of the toothpick, and you attach them to the grapes as little pupils. My dude has strawberry <laughs> eyebrows. All right, here's the big reveal of our terrifying monsters. Three, Three two, two, one, ta-da! So yeah, you get to comment down below and let us know which monster is scarier. For this round, you challenge us to turn a pineapple, oh my gosh, into a parrot. First step, gotta grab a pineapple. So, oh, ooh, that's see. Nice. see, Devin, we're making a pineapple parrot, and this is going to be the feathers of the parrot. Wow. First steps first, you're going to- You have a dusty uh, pineapple, bro. I know, I'm just gonna get rid of all the dust. Be very careful with the knives, and maybe ask someone else to help you, but now we're just gonna cut, I would say about a lot, like right here. You now have the bird. I know it doesn't look like it, but trust yeah. me, this is it. You gotta carve this into the head. So how do you do that? Well, you can either carve it, or you can just take a beak like this, yeah. and just uh, pop it over the top, and then you're, you're finished. Seems kind of like yeah, yeah, we're not gonna do that, so fleet! Oops. I think it'd be easier to get this stuff off first. You're not supposed to take that stuff off. Yeah, you are. This is the plumage. This it is the feathers no, of the bird. No, it doesn't have that much I'm making plumage. a peacock, bro. A peacock parrot. Why can't we make a carrot? Next Keep up, it clamped actually down. what you do is you use scissors and you cut off some of these leaves near the bottom. Of Again, it. unless you're making a carrot. Man, this thing is not holding in place. All right, there we go. Nice. This reminds right, me of trimming go. my bonsai tree. Fun fact, Devin has a bonsai tree. And I must say, it's in phenomenal condition. All right, here we go. So I think that that is the top of my carrot. Can I just say, I had no idea how dusty pineapples were, bro. Well, I can like help out no, currently. No, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. That would make it dirtier, bro. What, this is super clean. No, you have a dirty duster. Excuse saying. me. And now I just got to uh, scoop out the interior of this here. Uh, okay. It's just not working, man. Mm. All right, there we go, perfect. And then now just, I don't know if that actually helped at all. Uh, just gonna use a carrot pick. 
carrot pick? Slinky Solutions. Play Slinky, Slinky Solutions. Yeah, that's gonna be the name of my company, Slinky Solutions. Gotta pull, oh, oh. Next step is shaping the head. I'm just gonna go over the top of the pineapple here and just, just uh, here we go. It's the carrot's still in there. All right, mine is shaped now. It's time for me to carve it out. Done. All right, so I had to use the pineapple of destiny to finish it off. And you know what? To celebrate, we're going to use the trumpet of triumph. <laughs> Wow, dude, that's quite an impressive lung capacity you have there. Yeah, and that's why they call me the clairvoyant clarinetter. It's a saxophone, Actually, bro. Actually, it's a snorkel. <laughs> Everything else is ready, except now we gotta finish up the head of my carrot and your regular parrot. So yep. right now, let's turn these into a masterpiece. Dude, yours looks crazy, Yeah, bro. I don't know what happened there, but here's the big reveal. Three, Three two, two, one, ta -da! Ta -da! Your Man. is terrifying. Well, I added some extra eyes. So now it's also a spider as well. So now it's called a sp carrot. A oh, spider uh, parrot carrot. So uh, you guys need to comment down below who made a better one. And right now we are on to the next one. This round is crazy. I'm literally going to teleport to New York with special guests for this next one. Wait, what? That's awesome, bro. Yeah, so I just got to grab one thing. Oh, okay. Right, here we go. I'm going to miss you, bro. All right, see, see you later. later. Have fun. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Wait, why do you take my watermelon? Yo, what's up guys? It's Colin Ski and I'm here with Kelly and Ryan. So we're gonna be making a watermelon strike. You guys ready? We're ready. Let's a go. Shark okay. that fights back. Exactly. Yeah. Alright, so right now, let's go. Good news for me. Kelly no, is a move master your fingers, crafter. Move your fingers. She Just looks hold a super good at this. Alright, so now my dude. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot we had to scoop out the little balls. Those are those are very important. See, they're they're already ahead of me on this one. I'm just kind of going for it at this point. You guys, you guys got the keeper squad shirts on, so it's all good. It's meant to get a little bit messy, you know? Dude, I'm going for the win, bro. Oh, I like oh. it. Okay, now. He's good. Yeah, these guys are pros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Snap crackle. Yo, yo, yo. Oh! That. I mean, I really will say that this looks like <laughs> something prehistoric and really bad happened to this. How? Yeah. I really I gotta step my game up, man. This is this is not good. No, we need a fin. So a I'm, gonna, I'm gonna festoon a fin. Festoon? Is that a cooking term? It's a carving yeah, it's term. Yeah, it's a carving okay. term. <laughs> if it's... you're not careful, she'll festoon us, all right? He looks so what? sad. What? That's looks so cool. Vicious. The whole operation's yeah. falling apart over here, guys. Wait, what's happening with you? Uh, you know. <laughs> have you ever done this before? No, I have never <laughs> done the craft. I mean, that's like, it's there, but like barely. All right, well, that's good. You know what? I guess we'll just kind of pour it back in now. Because you kind of want to. I'm going to take a couple. I'm going to take a couple of teeth out. Yours like, vomited. Yeah, it's looking definitely like it vomited. So now you fill it back in. You Look know what? Look at that. Martha huh? Stewart, eat your heart out. Yo, this thing is not turning out. There's like no way I can win. Hey, bro, can you hear me? Look. Go for Devin. I need you to make me a watermelon shark right now. Already on it. Bro, do you have it? Almost there. Dude, hurry up. Dude, these things take time. It's ready. All right, so um, I guess they're, they're just working on their shark over there, and I guess we'll give this a shot. Here we go, three, two, one, bam! All right, cool, so I think, uh, yeah, just, just add a couple little finishing Wait, touches. hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. And this is what we ended up with. So, I guess these are the uh, these are the watermelon sharks, so you guys what? get to comment down below who made a better watermelon yeah. shark. Wait, who no, made it? That's who made it? it? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being Thank here. You. All right, well, I guess we gotta teleport back to LA, so here we go, three, two, one. What just happened here? Dragon fruiting! Oh, no! oh my gosh! New challenge has to make giant edible markers, rockets, using a whole bunch of life hacks, so let's go. This is the perfect life hack for peeling apples, and I'll be using these as the eraser for my pencil. This is the edible ink that's gonna go inside my Sharpie. You ready? Three, two, one, yo! All right, now I just gotta grab a balloon. Were you going for another one? Yes, I'm going for another one. Three, two, one. <laughs> Was wow. insane. These are gonna be perfect ink capsules for the inside of my Sharpie. All right, cons, I have a grand strategy for my Sharpie. We're, this is an inflatable Sharpie, yeah, and it's not what I'm gonna be using. Okay, but I'm like, we're trying to make edible ones, not just no. inflatable, that'd be so cheating. I have to make a mold for the cap of my Sharpie, so I have to fill this thing up with a normal boring garden hose. Oh, so for mine, it's a much simpler process. I've got an apple, time to freeze it, and this will be the eraser for my pencils. I ended up filling up the Sharpie with a normal boring garden hose. Let's get a couple of these apples out, here we now, go. Now, I got my hot ice mold, do not try this at home. Yep, do not try this at home. I don't even know how you would. Do you need any help with this, Devin? I got it. Your hand looks mighty shaky. Oh, oh wait a minute. The plastic appears to be bubbling no, up, Devin. No, Devin. No, no, Devin. No, 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 Devin. No, no. Devin. no. This is going to be the greatest cap ever, bro. I can already see the structural integrity is waning, Devin. I can already see your faith waning. You don't have to come at me like that, Devin. <laughs> Time to smash some apples for my eraser, so here we go. Oh, yeah. Snag my favorite hammer. How is this not going to pop, Devin? I don't know. But we're working through it, just like any relationship, you know? You're in a relationship with this giant <laughs> no, sharp no, no, people 
one. like, you know, it's a metaphor. This game. just in, YouTube star Devin Key rumored to be in a relationship with a giant Sharpie marker. Rumored by one source. Himself. No, no. Back to you, Patricia. <laughs> All right, here we go. Time for the smash. Ready? Three, two, two one. Oh, oh my gosh! I think it's leaking out of the bottom. You hear that sound? It's like an ice glacier cracking, dude. All right, now to make the applesauce, just gotta gather up all the pieces of the apple for the eraser over here. I'm just gonna let this dry, then cover the other side, and then I got my Sharpie cap. To make the lead of my pencil, I've got some liquid nitrogen and also a bath bomb. And oh. here's the thing. What are you doing? I have rigged up an old fidget spinner here to crack some eggs with the tip it's... of my pen. I can't even get close to it right now, yes. man. It's going so crazy. It is going... Oh! oh! You're cracking into the bowl. Oh, oh you lost another... <laughs> hey! I got one. That ain't bad. One out of two ain't bad. Yeah, Wait, one, one out, out of three. three. That's yeah, a yeah. pretty poor percentage, Devin. Look at that. Boom. I'm not really sure how this is a life hack. It seems to make everything more complicated. All right, well, I've got my bath bomb here, and I have a question, Devin. What do you think is going to happen when no I drop- No questions allowed. Wait, what happens if I drop a bath bomb into liquid nitrogen, Devin? Three, two, two one. one. Whoa! I'm out, I'm out. It appears as though it's, um... It seems fine. We've got a container of water right here. Now it's time to grab the bath bomb out. You ready? Three, Three two, two, one. Oh! oh man! What? Look at that! Did you hear the sound? Is, I know, it was like boom, boom. Dude, it's not dissolving the bath bomb at all. Look at this, the bath bomb is untouched! Whoa! I'm gonna add some coloring to this dough here. Unfortunately, these are not edible, so right now it's time for me to make a DIY edible bath bomb that'll hopefully react in the exact same way. All right, well, as you do that, I'm gonna add a lot more food coloring. I've got some dry ice here. Do not try this at home. I'm gonna drop it in like this. I'm gonna add in a whole bunch of berries Wait, right now why? like that. I'm adding berries because I have to get a little bit of extra color for the lead tip of my pencil right here. So here we go, I'm gonna add all those in. I've got a whole bunch of frozen berries, and you know nice. what time it is, right? Smashing time! It is! And you know what time it is for me to make the inside felt bit of the pen? What, what is this? You're gonna pour it in, it's gonna do stuff! What a great description! Now There's a reaction to it. 1 to 10, where are we at? Nuts! It's not even on the scale! Now before you dump that in, then we gotta add a little bit of magic to it. Um, so here we okay. go, bro, like this! Whoa. And then here we go, three, right. two, one! Oh, okay, there we okay. go! Three, two, one! Oh, oh you got it over me! Yes! I you think got it on me, bro! All right, well, I just need to stir it up a little bit. All right, well, you know what? You're doing that time for me to smash some berries. So here we right, go, three, yeah, two, two, one! one. Oh! Whoa. I think that works. I think so. We finally got all the pomegranate juice. Now I gotta add this agar agar. All right, well, as you do that, I'm moving over your little triangle of Illuminati-ness over here. We gotta, we gotta okay. move that over. Here we go. Gonna flip it over, make sure I don't spill any of it. And here's the- You got a pan, I got a pan. Pan bros! Yeah! Pan. Want some pans? We got some pans. All right, here we go. Gonna take right. this, uh -huh. gonna flip it over, see if I can not spill any of it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yay! On the count of three, I'm gonna lift this up, and this is a hack to make sure you get beautiful colored dough every single time. Three, two, one. Yay! Whoa! Oh, man, that turned murky. You know what? If I just mix all this together, it'll turn back in a normal lead color, and then I won't have a colored pencil. Well, I just gotta add this in here, let it heat up, and then let it sit. I've got some compressed Whoa. air, and now it's right, time then. to freeze some bananas. Yep, well, I got my agar agar, and now it's time to roll it up. This looks delicious. That's the inner lining for your Sharpie? Yeah. Life hack, always peel your bananas Ooh. from the bottom. This is for another layer of my pencil. Yes. yes, I think I got it. All right, now this is definitely a life hack. All right, the bananas are right over here, so Whoa. here we go. Okay. It is time right. to freeze up, them up. Wait, wait, wait. Redemption yeet. Yeet. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> it's payback for how many times this thing's been hit by you. Since when are you on this dude's team and not my team? All right, well, time to freeze some bananas. Here we go. Three, right. two. Yep. Well, let's see like this here. Oh, All right, well, I, I have to make I'm another batch of this because this isn't long this. enough. What? I'm making another batch, by the way. I feel like a mad scientist over here, man. Just, just, just frosting bananas. <laughs> you never know. To make our giant edible Sharpie and pencil, I think we've got everything we need. So now, let's put it all together. We finished up the edible marker and yep. pencil. Here is the big reveal. Three, two, two one. Look at these, bro! I know! Unbelievable! But the real question, will they write and how will they taste? And we'll be testing it and eating them at the end of the video. Rocket launch test! Whoa, oh, dude! Man. You what? challenge us to make edible Whoa. rocket ships that will Whoa. literally fly it's to life! As you can tell, you, I have a mini bottle rocket. Basically, gonna add in a whole bunch of baking soda, cork it, turn it upside down, and we're gonna see how high it flies up. So oh. do not try this at home. Put the baking soda in. You ready? Three, two, two one. one. Just get all the baking soda in. Is it cap? Cork it. Yeah, go for it. Three, two, one. No. Oh. <laughs> you are right. It flew up and it's Devin. Man, Holy cow, Devin. sorry, yeah, and Devin's done, oh, man. That's, my, I gotta say, though, stomach. in all fairness, it was you who flipped it over. I failed us, Scott. You did, Devin. I think we're gonna have I'm to try sorry. that again. Devin, Kay. are you prepared to do the flip? I am ready. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm gonna do it tightly. See, we've got three, two, one. Go, 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 go! Go! Oh, yeah. That's crazy! Dude. 
Dude, Dude nice. it just like flew right up and left the cork. Look at that. I don't know why I should be so excited because that's your rocket and not mine. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's a pretty strong case that mine is going to work. My rocket fuel, I have a big block of wax and honey. Oh, so, look at this. Very bizarre. But I've got some eggs right here, some hot oil. Do not try this at all. Oh, oh, look at that. Whoa. Holy cow. But this is the insulation on the inside of my rocket. To be honest, I'm actually really surprised this life hack worked. Can I what? Extract some of the honey here. I don't think it's going to work, Devin. You've gotten like 0.00% 0 .00 honey. That did not work. Yeet. You, oh, for a yeet, Devin. You didn't, yes. you didn't quite achieve a lot of distance. Well, I didn't fully commit, you know? Yeah, well, see, when you yeet, you got to fully yeah. commit. Yay! All right, now I gotta get this chunk into the inside of All this. Right. I gotta say, I really hope this turns out to be a life hack. Yo! Oh, fluffy eggs! It's like a balloon egg. Oh! There you go. Ooh, yeah. gonna, oh, gonna, oh, gonna pop oh that smell. What? You don't like, you don't like oh. the smell of, of eggs? No, I don't. It's gonna kind of start to pull them apart. This is gonna be the perfect insulation for my rocket. We've got some liquid nitrogen, and now it's time to make a little bit more insulation for my rocket. So I'm gonna add in some dots, so let's see how this goes. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. Gonna drip whoa, it. whoa, whoa! That's too much, I'm guessing. I think I was supposed to, like, Little little driplets, little drops, and I kind of want ham. I want ham FM radio on it. So let's uh, I, should, we, should we open it up a little bit or I don't know. What was that joke? <laughs> That's supposed to be a joke. Okay, it looks like the life hack might have worked. It's very fragile. So <laughs> yes. let's. Oh! oh, that is really cool. Look at that! It's like a Christmas wreath. It's like a bagel. Can I can I just hold it without? Oh, oh man, boy. Yeah, that definitely. Uh, in hindsight, it was too fragile. Yeah, it's a whole day. It. <laughs> I really doubt that's what you're supposed to do, exactly. man. Exactly. Let's see if I just crush it. Let's see like this. Oh, oh, that is really cool. Now it's time to find out if my technique actually worked. Three, two, one. Yeah! It separated it. Look at it. Not as much as just buying a regular hey, thing. Man. Honey, I'm just saying. I'm going to try to get a much thinner layer going around like this here. Ugh. What? I made an oopsie. Maybe around Look the edge. at this, man. I am definitely hoping that this honey works as my rocket fuel. I call this a smack em whack em technique. You got to smack em whack em and then you whack em whack em whack em whack em. You know what? Forget it. Yeah, I eat. We're just gonna put Ooh. all this in there like that. Look at this. Bam. Whoa. And let's see what happens. All right. What? The what bottle happened? went in. What happened? I dropped the bottle. Was that on purpose? This tofu thing was not the greatest idea. I think there's a chance they didn't design this for a honey. All right, now I just gotta let this thing cook. Got an anvil, some dry ice, and now it's time to smash it. So here we go. Do not try this at home. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. look at that. There you go. That was perfect. Look at it, man. Dude. It perfectly powderized that it. That was crazy. As you can see, these are cool bowl tricks. Bam, like this, and then bowl tricks. Bulge. Are you still on the bowl trick? Ah, bowl trick. This does he get. Woo. Now it's time to see if this will turn into rocket fuel. You ready? Should All I right. Mean, like getting taken cover or anything? The goal is for this to be able to propel a rocket into All right, space. Well, I'm gonna step back a little bit. Did so... you hear that? Into space. Yeah, I, I heard yeah, that. Yeah, but our I, atmosphere. I don't believe him. Three. Two, one, drop, go, go, mix, 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 Did I get it? Did I don't know. Is it going anywhere? Hey! Okay, look at that. Look at that. that. That will not propel a rocket I, anywhere, I bro. Know. That's not even going to get it off the ground. I think I messed up. But in the meantime, time for me to add this dry ice in. So here yes. we go. Time for me to drop some of this in here. And this is going to be able to create a cryo-freeze <laughs> mixture in here. So here we go. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Well, now it's time to drop in my vermicelli right, noodles. Well, here look we go. Go this. for it. Three, two, one. Go for it. Yo. Yes. Dude, this is going to be perfect to create the protective layer for my rocket. Oh, it is overflowing. That's a little dude, bit. It's like a magic trick, bro. The way it like, know. puffs up, it never gets old. All right, now it's time to coat the cacti. Oh, oh look, look at that. that. This is going to be the body of my rocket. All right, well, as you coat that, I've got a shovel here. Time to slice off the top of the jackfruit. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Look at this. It's super crazy, bro. Whoa, dude, that's so satisfying. Three, two, one. Oh, my wow. gosh. That was close. That was really close. There we go. Bam. All right, one side chopped off. You know what, man? I'm actually going for more of like a Star Wars ship design for mine. All right, now it's time to reinforce the outside with this indestructible ramen noodle mixture. Is that the fuselage of your rocket? It is, Colin. So those noodles don't look too aerodynamic, I gotta say. They won't be yet, but they will be when they're in the air. Now it's time to put the rockets all together. So first of all, I'm gonna add my stuffing here. Oh, these eggs feel weird. What? This turned out great. I know, you really nailed it on that one. So here we go. The Dude, eggs gonna drop. You gotta look at this. This is mushroom foam. No way. Yeah, because off camera, you haven't blend up a ton of mushrooms. I can't believe this is what it came into. I know, right? I'm gonna add the eggs and they definitely are uh, discolored a bit, which is uh, kind of gross, but luckily hmm. they're fluffy. So this is going to be the insulation for the inside of the rocket. Next up, I'm going to pick up some of these frozen dots and just sprinkle them in like this. We got a ton of work to do. I got some painting on mine. I got to figure out how to attach these to this. I'm adding an iceable coating to the outside of it to make it smooth. I probably got to reshape it a whole bunch. 
bunch of, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work. We've got the edible rockets, yep. and these things turned out absolutely incredible. I know, right? I was kind of worried there for a moment. I didn't uh -huh. know they'd be able to turn out, but the real question is not how they'll taste, but will they actually fly? So here's the reveal. Three, two, one, ta-da! What wow. on earth? We've got the edible rockets, and now it is finally time to test to see if they can actually fly in the air and reach oh the moon. Yeah, <laughs> reach the moon. That is exactly. the goal. If it doesn't reach the moon, yes. it is a massive failure. Exactly. <laughs> We've set the bar really high. Can you admire this custom yeet blaster here? Yeah, Devin's doing a lot of research on how we could launch yes. these rockets, and Devin feels this will be the best way to do it. With how heavy this thing, if this gets any flight whatsoever, like if it just gets off the ground one inch, I will be happy. Which rocket should we launch first, Devin? You know, I think let's launch mine. Devin, your pretzel's a little off, which means it's gonna traject that way. It's not gonna go straight up. It's oh, gonna be like oh. that. The more the moment comes, yes, the less confident I am that these are actually gonna be able to fly, Devin. The more confident I am, though. This what? looks amazing. I don't know. It looks pretty professional compared to mine, but on its own, it looks pretty janky, man. What are you talking about, bro? On a scale from one to 10. Yes. How confident are you? I want you to put down your prediction right now. 10, meaning it's gonna reach the moon. Uh-huh. One, meaning it will not achieve liftoff and potentially combust. I'm I'm about a nine. What? Yes. I gotta give it a four, man. I'm not that optimistic. I, I'm looking Yours at it. Yours is a four. No, mine is not, man. Yours it's, is a four if squat. I've ever seen one. It is stout and it is ready to make some action upwards, bro. Are you kidding me? I am not kidding. All right, now it's time to see this thing fly. But here's my major concern, uh -huh. Devin. My concern what? is it actually flies. It goes straight up in exactly. the air and lands on my rocket. What? Are you kidding me? Which would not be good. So here's the thing. The chances of that are so low. It doesn't matter, Devin. I will not allow your rocket to destroy mine, so I'm gonna have to protect my baby. All so right. I'm just gonna go over here. Well, here and we go. And remember, do not try this at home. Oh my gosh, are right, you ready? Here we go. But before we launch the rocket, it's time to see how the Sharpie and pencil taste. What do you think we're gonna go with first? Uh, go mine first or yours first? Let's eat yours first. All right, so here, here we go. Let's just uh, let's yeah. see how it tastes. Here we go. Three, Three two, two, one. <laughs> huh. Is it good? <laughs> one moment. <laughs> <laughs> my arms are getting tired. Yeah, yeah, there we, we go. go. There's there there Okay, tired. time to eat the tip oh boy. of my pencil. Right, here we go. Three, two, one's gonna give a slice yep. down like okay. this. All right, oh, bam. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna go for this piece I here. I like the blue. I'm going for it. Now it's time to see how this tastes. There we go. Three, two, two one. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You did a good one. Wow. This is amazing. You did a really good job. Oh! Yeah. Wow. That was really, really good. You got the whole banana. <laughs> it's time to see if yours even holds a candle. The main event. What on here is edible? The I'm looking innards. at this. Cons, the innards. All That's right. it? Here we go. Three, two, one. Yep. Okay. okay. Just ripped it off. What? Oh, I know, Lord. right? So we're gonna go in with these tweezers wait, here. Wait, 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 wait. That's good. Like, it seems like you're gonna pop a membrane or something yeah, in there. Yeah, pretty much. It's the edible ink of the marker. I'm right, gonna put these tweezers in here and All just right. hopefully pop the thing. Go for it. I'm trying. No! No, 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 no
more yeah. focused on the result, not so much focused on my hand grip position. Here we go. Oh, did you get it? Did you actually get it? What does it look like? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I, I got it. The inner right. workings of yours. There we go. That's uh. Are you sure that's high enough? Because the other thing. Oh yeah, I got yeah. it. I guess I got it. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to oh. lift it up. What? It went down. Okay, Look. well, okay. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. I'll figure all this out before it goes. But here's the question, sure. Devin. Scale yes. of one to ten. What do you think my rock is gonna be able to achieve? <laughs> After seeing mine, I don't think I can go above a one. A so one? a zero. What? Come on. Yeah, I mean, I just have to be honest. Honestly. Yes. I think I could get a three. One. Which would be a win because yours got a two. Oh, wait, I really wait, need wait, a three but to win. Who actually set the two? Me. I so I, I set this one then. Okay, fine. Right? Yes. You I get... think it's gonna be below a two. See, the thing is, you know, it's not fair when the judge is already prejudging your work before it's even happened. One thing I will say I'm a little bit insecure about is the lack of a point on my rocket. As you can yes. tell, I have uh, ruined the cone. Hey, but it was all in good fun because we ate it. Yeah, so but see, delicious. the thing is, it's now no longer aerodynamic and it might capture extra air instead of being uh -huh. able to slice through it. Well, it served a greater purpose. Exactly. It, it made me tasted full. good. So, uh, well, not really. See, yeah, the I'm judge, saying. he's already biased, man. He doesn't like my apple to begin with. This is not fair. Comment down below on a scale of one to ten how high you think this rocket will be able to go. A ten? Two? So, uh, Less than a two. I want to see a, a lot of tens in the comments, guys. Comment a lot of tens so I know you're with me. So let's, uh, not gonna work. let's see how it goes. All right, here we go, man. I can do hear it, it sizzling, bro. It's, it's making good. sound. All right, here we go. You ready to get behind yeah. me, dude? Get, oh, get back get, over here. All right, okay, here we go. Right. And you know why yours failed, Devin? Yeah. Because you forgot to read. So for oh, mine, I'm going to give it three. Here we go. Three, two, two one, three. Oh! I got it. I got it. Got it. <laughs> two. Oh, yours didn't go anywhere. What do you mean? This, this, this went to the moon. I'm sorry, Cole. What? Was that a bottle? Yeah, well, you know I had to put something in the middle so it didn't blow up. Was this a bottle? It was. Did you cheat too? Just like you, I realized there was no way this was actually going to be able to fly. So I needed one it? inedible part, so I chose a bottle. I did not also go for styrofoam that like you did. is hilarious. You should also get points removed, Devin. Yes. You styrofoam. Mine was all edible besides just a bottle, okay? I can't believe we both thought we would get away with this. I thing. know. The only thing that flew out was the bottle. The rest of the thing didn't even fly. And the apple. So here's the thing, Devin. I yeah. want to see how difficult it would be to make this actually fly. All I'm right. just going to yeet it. In this case, give it a reach. So I guess I'm just going to throw it up in the air. Right. Three, Three, two, one. One year right. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh nice. Right. We gotta say, those definitely did not work as well as no. we would have hoped. You challenged us to make a pizza into a balloon, so let's go. First up, I'm adding some sauce. And for my sauce, I got some tomatoes here, so bam, like that. Whoa, right, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Next up, I'm laying down a pesto base. That actually looks super cool. Wait, so what are you doing? I'm making pizza art, and I'm doing Chuck from Angry Birds. The only thing that's missing is just a smidge of seasoning. Here we go. Just a smidge of seasoning. <laughs> Boom, there we go. A smidge, dude? That's a full mountain. <laughs> you know what to try to cut? Compensate for how much it smells. We're gonna add some red sauce to it to try to get the more authentic sauce. Perfect, just like that. Dude, mine is not turning out, but I promise it's gonna look good. Oh, my hand is exactly one cup of flour. So here we go. It's gonna add some flour on just like this. Next step for me is making the feathers. I've got my pieces cut, and now it's time to assemble them on Chuck. This is uh, this is what we call my sauce. Just gotta add all this in, you know? Just gotta add my sauce in. So here we go. Yep. It's so cool because you will never find this on a Papa John's or Pizza Hut menu, bro, because this is a pizza. A key bro's pizza. Do you know what my pizza's missing right now, Devin? Uh, restraint? No, it's missing pineapple. Pineapple! I love pineapple on my pizza, bro. It's the best thing ever. And now it's time to turn these into actual pizza balloons. So we've got the top dough crust. Yep. Here we go. It's gonna flip it over like this. Now it's gotta get it to fall off. So here we uh -huh. go. It's gonna have to try to maybe spin it a little whoa, bit on my whoa. on my knuckles. All here right. we go. It's whoa, gonna spin whoa, like whoa, that. Whoa, okay. Nice, oh nice. boy. I'm pinching it together right now so that when we inflate it, it won't leak any air. And I'm not doing anything good. Before we inflate the pizza balloons, as you can see, there's a mound on Devin's, and that is a light bulb, a heat lamp. In fact, they'll be cooking our pizzas from the inside out. It's time to blow up the pizza balloons, and I'm gonna be using this straw. Dude, that's gonna take forever, bro. I've got a high pressure air pump right now. Wait, Check what? this out. Yup. Three, two, one. Oh, oh no. Whoa. You know what? I think I'll stick to the straw technique, and right now it's time to inflate these. Dude, these pizza balloons look like a dragon egg, so here's a big reveal. Ready, set, go. Ta da! That dude. looks so crazy, man. It looks like a dragon might actually pop out of this. So you get to comment down below whose do you think will look cooler, because we'll be cutting them open and eating them at the end of the video. You challenge us to try egg art, so let's go. First up, we gotta crack a whole bunch of eggs and separate the yolks from the egg whites. Now that we've got the egg whites and the yolks separated, it's time to add the food coloring. I'm making Jafar from Aladdin. And I'm making Sweet Pea from The Secret Life of Pets 2. Wait, is yours this runny? Yeah, it's way runnier than pancake batter. No, look at mine's like a soup. Do you have egg yolks or egg whites? Egg yolks. Oh, that's what? 
why. You have well, you egg white? I didn't know, okay? I just, I thought, you know, any part of the egg will do. This will just be a red border, a red outline, beautiful sunset sky. That's what, that's what I'm doing over here. Instead of giving him a black hat, I'm gonna give him a blue hat. So you're taking some creative liberties when it comes to your guy. Yep. Let's, uh, let's get a little bit of black down for an eyeball, so here we oh, go. Oh no, it's running over the line. Devin. Pancake batter doesn't do this. You're gonna be in big trouble, bro. This is a completely different medium here. So hopefully- Did you just use the word medium? I did, Devin. I'm proud of you, dog. It's a completely different large than normal. Is that- What? No. That one wasn't right. All right, my dude's got some green eyes, so here we go. We'll give him some green eyes right here. He's gonna have two connected eyeballs. Oh, he has a little nose. No, that's his eye, Devin. He's that's what? not even that his is? nose. Oh man, I did the wrong color in the wrong spot. He's gonna have one red strand on one side. That's not right, Devin. You're probably gonna lose this. Looking at mine, looking pretty good. No, dude, what is going on? Dude, you see this, bro? Wait, it's flaking it's up, man. Flaking up. Why What's is going it, on? Why is it coming apart right now, bro? Dude. It's gonna ruin my entire art. The eyes are so difficult on this thing. Well, I guess we gotta continue to fill it in over here. Try to maybe thicken it up a little bit. Yeah. This may look like the pancake art challenge, but I promise you, it is very, very different. Gonna try to give my guys some little teeth. I really should have gone for the yolks, man. This egg white was a terrible idea. You know what? I'm stopping with the green for a second. We gotta turn this up. We gotta roast. We gotta let them solidify a little bit. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. One of the cool things, though, is that you can use the egg whites for anything white. I've got it. Gonna add in a whole bunch of yellow to fill in the rest of it here like this. I'm also noticing that this stuff runs out much faster. So there we go. Boom. Yellow is in. <laughs> Look at this thing, bro. I don't know what's going on with Oh, this. man. I'm gonna try to add an extra layer to the top. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. There's just all this weird looking foam on the inside of this. Oh, what is that? This is legitimate foam right here. I have no idea what's happening. It may not look that cool on this side, but I guarantee you when we flip it, it's going to look amazing. Mine's all filled in. Now it's time to let it cook. All right, well, mine is fully cooked and it smells disgusting in this room right now. It kind of go under like this. It's, it's like kinda, rubber. I'm going to need an extra one. Can you grab some spatula? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got you, team I got you, I got you. No, no, you split it. You split it. You broke off the top of it. On the count of three, we're just going to kind of go up and flip over. Which way flip over? Uh, that way. Three. three. Two, two, one. No! Oh! Ow! Oh, 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 ah, it's hot! It's an egg! To be honest, I can't even tell which side is which, so hopefully yours turned out better than mine did. Oh my gosh, it comes up so oh, easy. It's so rubbery, it's crazy. Ready, set, go! Oh, oh my oh, gosh, dude, yes. you did it! Even the colors are so vibrant, even though it's just made out of eggs, so you get to comment down below who won this round, and we'll be eating them at the end of the video. You challenged us to make a watermelon pump, so let's go. First thing, I'm gonna gut my watermelon. It's time to use my immersion blender. All right, bro, well, we're gonna go in tandem. Let's, let's, let's clink blenders. Three, two, two, one. Oh, man. See how it just goes right through, bro? It is, like, legit amazing. Oh, my gosh. Uh, my eye. I'm oh, sorry. Did it get your eye? Bro, this has got to be one of the greatest inventions of all time, bro. Just spray it out. It, like, sucks it down. I don't know where mine's coming out of, but, like, it must be, like, leaking out the top or something. It's coming out of the front. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. We got to close it up, bro. It's, like, going everywhere, bro. What are you doing? I don't know. We got to close it up, bro. It's all on my brain. Oh, hold it in place, bro. This is an emergency, Devin. Duct tape actually did his Dude, job. Dude, that actually so, uh, worked out. Back in we go. Wait, you're going again? Absolutely, Are you going to poke another hole? Nah, probably not. You know what? I want to get some extra flavors into my watermelon juice. So here we go. We're going to add in some, uh, some blueberries into it. Got to get some, uh, some raspberries in here like this. Now we got to mash them down. So here we go. It's going to go like this. Mine's all blended oh, up. Whoa, boy. whoa, 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 whoa. You ready for the pour? Three, two, one. The oh, oh. You're splashing it, bro. I got a clog. You know what it needs, bro? Some sweetness. I'm going to add some honeycomb right here. Oh my gosh, bro. It blends up the honey. Oh my gosh. Push it down into the watermelon. Oh, snap. Oh, oh. Three, two, one. Oh, man. It's a little bit more. Oh, oh boy. I gotta say, man, this gotta be the greatest smoothie of all time. Next up, we got the pump on top. All right, here we go. We're gonna take the duct tape like this, and then we're gonna start over here like that. There we go. This is uh, this is working out great here. So here we go. Just going to uh, pull it over here. Right, I think I'm gonna use some glue, actually. Ah. And remember, don't try this at home. We've got the completed watermelon. And let's see if they work. No, 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 no. We'll be trying that at the very end of the video. You challenge us to make cement art, so let's go. I right, got a cup of cement powder here. It's gonna add this in. Nice. Oh, man. Nicely All right, done. there we go. Whoa, dude, this is like bubbling. Look at that. Whoa, that's crazy. I gotta say, I've never worked with cement before, and I had no clue you could actually make cement art. This is a process you want to be very careful with. You do not want this stuff going everywhere. So do not try this at home. Oh, my gosh. I can feel it starting to come together, bro. What if it just turns into Whoa. cement inside the bottom of this, bro? Like, I gotta go quick. I hope not. You may be wondering what type of art I'm actually gonna be making. I'm making a bowl out of cement hands for my cereal. First up, I gotta blow up a glove. Wait, you're just making a hand? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's not looking that green. I gotta add more food coloring. All right, so next up, here we go. Gonna place a glove on the inside just like this and gotta wrap the edges around the outside of this vase. Whoa, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just checking to make sure it works. I think it's gonna work. That didn't look like it worked at all. Wait, so what are you making for your art, though? I'm making a dragon face. Maybe... 
Oh. <laughs> I'm going for a paper mache technique. I'm gonna dip these pieces into my cement and then onto the face mask. Well, you're goofing with that, Devin. I gotta ask goofing. you, what does this look like to you, man? What does this look like? Cement. What kind of drink does it look like? It looks like a cement-filled drink. No, it looks like a protein shake. I don't know what kind of protein shakes you're drinking, dude, but I, that does not look like mine. I gotta say, man, I've never actually shooken up cement. Is that the word, shooken? Uh, I don't know, dude. Now, time to fill up the glove. So here we go. Just gonna tip it over like this. Yeah, whoa. Why are you doing that so All close right, to me, man? And then wow. go all the way over, all the way over. It's like this. Wow. Whoa! All right, here we go. It's gonna peel. Oh, oh boy, it got everywhere. I gotta say, bro, this is pretty funky looking, man. Look at this bouncing up and down. It looks more like a jellyfish than an actual glove in a hand. All right, here we go. So right now, time to tie off the top of it. A little tough there. Next up, time to turn the cement hands into a little bowl. So here we go. Gonna add in my glove with a natural plop. Here we go. Three, two, Wait. one, natural plop. What's an unnatural plop? This. Wait That's a second. unnatural plop. More like paranormal activity. Well, paranormal plops is kind of what I was going for there. I wonder if you could go to Home Depot and Lowe's and actually like find these little cement hands, bro. Psych, you could never because they're original. All right, just putting the finishing touches on my mask and this thing is gonna look awesome. Oh boy. This actually turned out just like a dragon. And here's the big reveal. Ready, set, go, ta-da! Oh my gosh, bro, that Dude. is crazy. And you get to comment down below whose cement art turned out better and we'll be hydro dipping them at the end of the video. You challenge us to make a whole bunch of different flavored kebabs with a home homemade kebabing machine, so let's go. To make the kebab, you're gonna cut a plastic bottle in half, take a PVC elbow, drill a hole in it, and then glue that on the top of the bottle, take a can, sanitize everything, and you're ready to go. We've got a whole bunch of food mixtures, and now it's time for Devin and I to battle it out to see who can make more kebabs. So I'm kicking off with shrimp right now. And I'm doing mac and cheese. Oh, a big old handful of shrimp. Yo, this yep. stuff is congealed. It's kind of like popping in here like this. No, you don't pop it in, Cons, you pack it in. And then we're gonna take a skewer here, we're actually gonna go through it. We're gonna push yep. it down on the count of three. You ready? Ready, set, set go. go. Just gonna push it down first. Right, you gotta push it gonna down. Go. I oh my going. gosh, bro, look at it, look at it, it's right there. Oh, this. here it goes through. Oh, and then keep going, keep going, keep yes, going. yes. <laughs> look at that. There we go, Yours man. actually totally works. All yes. right, so the first one, a success. As you start your next one, I'm going to try again. This thing has to work, and man. You know what, man, I'm going for pasta because I'm going to show you that I can make the noodles work, oh, bro. You might be failing, yes. but I'm winning. Oh, yes. snap. Yes. Yo, it's kebabing, bro. No, it's not. Wait, wait, in wait, what on, world wait, is that kebabing? I'm going to start with sushi next. It may have only kebabed a little piece of noodle, but that's all I need. So here we go, going to place this down. Wait a second. We'll be eating this one here. This one's gonna be delicious. So that, that didn't actually work. And I got a two-prong kebab because next I'm gonna do my chips and guacamole. Whoa. Let's see here. Oh boy. It's not quite kebabing that well. All right. That didn't Whoa. kebab at all. Yes. <sighs> All right, this one turned out a little funky, but we're on to the next one. It's a half kebab. It, it, it's a it's a half kebab. For my final one here, I got a plus sign and some sweet potatoes here. So here we go. Oh, nachos, go. don't fail me. All right, here we go. Sweet potatoes gonna go in like this. I don't have a good feeling about this one. Three, Three two, two, one. Just gotta get it started first. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, oh man, what? it's coming out all sides. Oh. What is going Whoa. on? Gotta lay these down and then try oh. to kebab them right here in my hand. Uh oh, man. I'm splitting one open. Here we go. All right, there we go. It's gonna kebab a little bit over man. here. Oh my gosh. Woo. Uh, it's just so difficult. I don't think this one works, man. We've got the kebabs, time to cook them, and we'll be seeing how they taste at the end of the video. You challenge us to make moon sand. I'm kicking it off with my regular sand and adding food coloring. And I'm kicking off with some soap, so here we go. It's gonna add some soap in like this. Oh, it looks like the ocean is coming all onto the beach right now, man. There Whoa, we go, that should be enough soap. That looks so there awesome. we go. Just a dash of soap. Oh man, I gotta say, it's definitely turning a little clumpy, but hey, it's kind of like turning into moon sand already, man, with just two ingredients. What do you- it Smells good. Time to spray it with some water. Wait, we have water spray? Yes. Oh, that's cool. You want some? Uh, no, no, no. no. No, 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 I'm totally good. Oh, oh gosh. It's just a dash of mist. I'm not feeling misty today. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. You, you, want, you want a little mist too? Just, just a little mist there? All right, nice. there you go. All right, time to add a dash of, what is this? Cornstarch. And I don't think I have enough sand because this is not coming together, man. I think I've thoroughly botched this, bro. This is not turning out at all. Oh, mine's totally working, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We've got a whole bunch of moon sands and now it's time to make some moon sand arts. We've got some molds here. We're going to be filling these in. I'm starting mine out with Spider-Man from Avengers Endgame. So here we go. So and I'm take starting some off here. with a multicolored fish. Okay. All right, number one. You want to kind of layer the colors in just like this, and when you pull off the mold, oh it's going to look gosh, awesome. Oh my gosh, yo, that looks super crazy. Here we go. It's going to pack it in like this. All right, perfect. Here we go. I think it's going to look way better than your koi fish. And next up, we've got a car here, so I'm going to make a hot pink car, man. This thing coming down the road, you'll know exactly what it is. going to use some green for the uh, for the hood of the car. I think I'm actually going to try to sell this thing on Auto Trader later today, man. Just try to sell it as like, a, I don't know, a Cadillac or an Audi or something. You so. think you'll be able to get it insured? Bro, I'm sure Geico will insure this car for sure. It's green. It's just like the little gecko, dude. So oh, yeah. they will like this car a lot, I can guarantee it. Gonna add now some of the pink in here. Oh man. Oh, I just got a quick preview. I think this is gonna look awesome. That looks really cool, man. Dude, you are taking forever, bro. As I normally do. Boo. 
Ooh. So the moon sand is in the mold, and right now, time to reveal. So here we go. I'm ready. We gotta flip it super quick. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, flip. Done. Oh All my right. gosh. Yours is probably gonna look really good. Mine is uh, questionable at best. We'll see how this goes. You ready to lift yep. it off? Ready, set, go. Ta -da! Ta -da! Oh my what? gosh. Yo. No. That is incredible. Bro, look at the eyeball. No. What? You get to comment down below whose looks cooler, and we'll be crushing them and revealing the fish at the end of the video, and we're on to the next one. You challenge us to waterproof our clothes, so let's go. I'm using a small stick of beeswax on the shoe to start off. And I'm using a large thing of beeswax here on these pants. So here we go. It's going to kind of go back and forth. Got to get the pockets first. Because of course, if you have stuff in your pockets, you do not want it getting wet, especially if it's like money or a phone. Can you please uh, hold up one end of the pants like this? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Yep. 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 Here we go. Yep. Okay. Yep. It's working. Why are you pulling yep. me out to the side, huh? man? Devin, I'm just trying to do this, bro. <laughs> what? Oh, no. You can let go. Are Devin. you sure? Are you sure? Is this a test? Like, are you testing me? Like, oh, no. Thank you very much. I'm actually going to try to melt down my wax with a blow dryer here. So here we go. Going to turn this on. Hopefully, the wax will melt right off of it. Wow, you're really wafting the smell towards me. I'm sorry, you hear all this kind yeah, of walk yeah. it your way well, a little I'm, bit more. I'm all good. I did. You want to get a flip of that? Oh, yes. Oh. Dude, this is working. All right. Got to melt down my beeswax. I've got the perfect way to do it. Here we go. Check this out. <sighs> Whoa. All right. All right. Three, yeah. two, one. <sighs> wait. <laughs> sorry. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We've got to try this again. Here we go. Two hands. And. Oh. Nothing? Dude, that didn't do anything again. Well, if all else fails, use an iron. So here we go. It's going to add an iron on like this. That wait. really works. Seeing that, I think it's time to upgrade my wax to this stuff. Wait, you're going to upgrade your wax? You know what? I think that means I have to upgrade my wax again. Actual honeycomb beeswax <laughs> with honey. I'm just going to get my fingers in and just peel it off like this. Oh, my gosh, what? bro. Three. Two, Two, one. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. This is how you do it, bro. I think if you sat down, you'd bring the chair along with you. <laughs> That's actually pretty true, man. If the honey doesn't work, I will definitely have to buy some new pants from Amazon because these will not be comfortable to wear. While you continue that, I'm going to use heat to seal my shoes. Yo! This is crazy. It's insane how it just goes from the white color back to the original color of the shoe like nothing happened. You get to comment down below whose outfit you think is actually going to be waterproof, and we'll be throwing water and fruit juice at each other at the end of the video. We've got all the hacks, and now it's time to test them out and see if they actually work. We've got the waterproof clothes, and we've also got a whole bunch of cranberry Whoa. juice right here, and yeah. this is definitely going to stain some clothes if it is not waterproof. Who should get dumped on first, Evan? What do you think? You know what? I think it should be you. All right, here we go. Oh, Three, man. two, uh, one. It's going to be waterproof, though. Oh. It's waterproof. Oh, it's cold. It's, it's not cold. waterproof. It's not waterproof. All right, then we got the yep. bucket here. Let's see if this actually works. No, no, no. Let's take it a little bit slower on mine. What do you see mean? how yours turned out. All right, so start off with a bottle first, Devin. Right. Three, two, two one. Oh! Oh, no way! Why? a little bit, but holy cow! What? All right, stick out a leg. Now we got to test right, out right, the pants. Right, yep. Here we go. Three, two, two one. one. No! No way! Dude, it just rolls Whoa. right off of it, bro. Now it's time for the ultimate bucket test. So, yeah, Devin, I'm you ready? I'm confident in this. Three, two, one. Oh, man! Yeah, the only thing that's wet is my socks. The pants are still fully intact. Yeah. This stuff is incredible. Yeet. Let's go to the next one. Got the pizza balloons. They are fully cooked, and I can't wait to see what yours looks <laughs> yeah. like. So right now, Devin, let's slice these things open and do not try this at home. All right, here we go. It's going to cut this thing open. Oh, man, what Whoa. is going on? Whoa, what wait is a that? second. What, what is going on? I don't know, man. Hold wait, on. why is your I don't know. I think, so I, much. I think it's ripped. Oh, oh my oh, gosh, bro. What? Yep. And now let's try to cut this open from a different place. So here right. we go. And then just uh, give it a little tear back, I guess, yep. like that. Oh. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to see how my art turned out. Three, two, one. Ta -da! Oh my gosh, Whoa. bro. I gotta say, man, I think the recipe for my pizza is called Squeezza. It's the way the mound is discharged oh. across the cutting board. Time to see how this pineapple on pizza tastes. Oh man, All this right. looks delicious. Yeah, right. here we go. Three, two, one. One. Ah, ah. How have I never tried this before? Oh my oh. goodness. No. <laughs> this is so good. Pineapple on pizza is amazing. Oh man. Oh! The combo is so good, dude. I'll be right back. You okay? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm all good. <laughs> oh dear. All right, well you guys get to comment down below who's do you think was better, and now we're on to the next round. Good lord! We've got the cement art. And I spent some serious time painting mine, but now it's all about the marbling of yours. Now for the marbling, this is really cool. I'm gonna start off with red, but we've got a whole bunch of colors. Oh, yeah, Oh right. my god. All it needs is just one drop. Drop a red, drop a blue, drop a red. This is one of the coolest art challenges we've ever done right here, man. Oh my gosh, it's so satisfying. So I actually think mine needs to be wider to fit over the glove. So I'm gonna pull it out from the middle and make 
get into a little star. Dude, this is super cool, man. All right, here it is, the moment of truth. Time to do the marbling. Ready, set. Go! All right, straight down. Oh, man. Straight oh, down. Oh, snap, dude. It got on both sides Boy, of it. How, how did you it take it out? How did you take it out? Three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh, bro. What? These actually turned out so incredible. You get to comment down below whose cement art do you think is cooler? And right now, we're on to the next one. We've got the watermelon pumps, and now it's time to see if it actually works. So here we go, man. Ready, set, Go! Oh! No yes. way, bro! This Look totally this. works! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Oh! Whoopsie! I think I broke the seal. Uh oh, oh it's gotten very that. sad. All right, well, let's see how these things taste. Ready, set, go! So refreshing! Bro, comment down below what is your favorite food we should turn into a pump and we're on to the next one. We've got the moon sand art and now it's time to get satisfying. So Devin, time to slice these and then smush them. Gotta get perfect what? with it. Oh my gosh. This uh -oh. is so satisfying uh -oh. feeling. Dude, look at that at the bottom right there, bro. There's so many different colors. The slicing is the way to go. Yo, this stuff looks like a rainbow, man. And you guys gotta try this at home because this is so much fun. This color combo is so satisfying. Yo, I gotta say, man, this stuff totally reminds me of slime. Right now, we're on to the next one. We've got all our kebabs and I gotta say, man, these look pretty interesting. I'm kicking off with this one right here and I gotta say, uh. this kebab is questionable at best. Oh man, that one's gonna taste interesting. Hey. All right, here we go. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Whoa, no. That's actually not bad. Oh, man. I think I did a good job. <laughs> what was that again? Oh, no, man. All right, next up, I'm doing mac and cheese. And next up, I'm doing pasta. So here we go. This pasta one's going to be great. Huh? Oh, wow. That looks delicious, Collins. You got so much there. Best kebab yet. Three, two, one. That's the best one so far. And last but not least, I got my shrimp stick. And I got my sushi. This was not good. Woo! Three, two, two one. one. You know, Whoa. I normally like sushi, but... Dude, the shrimp kebab was actually amazing. Well, kebab shrimp, you won. The mac and cheese was the winner for me, for sure. Comment down below what is your favorite food you would love to see as kebab, and we're on to the next one. We've got our egg art, and now it's time to find out which one is going to taste worse. So I guess we'll just kind of go for a bite on it. Ready, set, go. Hey! Oh, <laughs> You challenge us to make a pizza, but here's the twist. We're not allowed to use a rolling pin, a pan, a knife, or a can opener, so let's go. I've got a whole bunch of dough here because I'm making a Chicago deep dish pizza, nice. man. I have to cook my eggs, but I can't use a hot plate or a pan, so I'm using dry ice. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's going to freeze an egg. There's no way it's going to cook the egg, though. I guess we'll find out. Three, two, one. Oh! Whoa, dude, it's whoa, sizzling, whoa. bro. As you do that, I'm going to create my Chicago deep dish, but the issue is I'm not allowed to use a pan, so I'm just going to have to kind of mold it with my right? hands here like this. This is pretty cool, man. Look at it right there, man. Just kind of like. Oh, dude, I'm going to try to cook the egg in this thing here. Yo, that it's like is bubbling so up. So cool. I got to say, that's probably the coolest way I've ever seen eggs cooked, man. This reminds me of a stress ball. The deep dish crust is done. Next time, we got to make some rotisserie chicken right now. It totally oh. worked. Look at this. Wait, pick it up. Is it stuck on there, though? It's a little stuck. Oh, what? my gosh. Dude. It looks like a saucer. And because I'm not allowed to use a knife to slice up the chicken, I brought along some Wolverine claws out of my Whoa. private collection. So, wait a second. Yep. What? Three. Two, one, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, oh. And do not try this at home! Yeah, do not try this at do home! Not. Here we go, let's see this Whoa! Up. I didn't Woo! know I All needed right, so chicken, yes. but now I do! Alright, here we go, I man! I have a lot of chicken! Oh my gosh! Kind of blacked out there for a second. What that just happened? That was crazy. You got chicken in your hair. Now look to the side. And since I can't use a hot pan or a grill or anything, I got to use two irons. That's Wait, right. What? I'm cooking the hot dogs just like this. Oh my. Oh, jeez. That is really cool, totally man. This is totally working. You lost a dog. Next up, time to slice up an onion. <laughs> All right, my hot dogs are cooked. All right, well, you know what? I think it's time to retire the Wolverine claws. And man, I got to say, these things were a ton of fun. <laughs> Cook my steak, I have a brand new way of doing this. We are using gallium, or should Wait, I say liquid metal, and I've heated it up where the gallium is now molten. It's extremely hot, and we're gonna be pouring it on here to see if it sears it and cooks it. You're not gonna eat that, right? No, you cannot eat it once the gallium has touched it. So we're just doing this to see if it'll actually work. Do not try this at home. Put some safety goggles on. I've got yep. a cutting board right here. We are taking this very oh, seriously. Gonna get out of the way a little bit. Three, two, one. Into that, bro. Oh my gosh. Great Yo, job. I can smell it sizzling. It's literally molten metal right now, guys, on the dude. inside of this thing. Look at the metal, like, still liquid and everything, wow. dude. All right, next up, I got to roll out my dough, but unfortunately, I can't use a rolling pin, Wait. so I got to use these things. Hold on. Why do you have blue dough? Dude, this thing is very difficult. What is going on? All right, well, here we go. I'm just going to lather some of this cheese on just like this. What are you doing? I'm trying to roll this thing out. Here we go. I've now lathered up my cheese. It's time to shave it. So let's see here. Here we go. It's going to shave it like this. This is actually working out. Oh! Look, 
look at that, man. Cheese shavings out the wazoo, bro. I'm putting the hot dog in the crust, and now I'm attaching it to the crust. You're encrusting a hot dog. Yes. All right, my crust is done, and now it's time to cut up some pepperoni. What are you doing? I'm bricking in my cheese, man. You're, I can't, what? Yeah, I can't figure That's out another not way to a cut turf. it. That absolutely is, man. This is like you really clean. I hope you sanitize that brick, Todd. I did, man. I always clean my bricks before I use them in my All cooking. All right, time to cut up this pepperoni. Wait, how are you going to, again, see, how are you going to cut that up without a knife? Oh. You're probably going to need to use a brick. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-huh. I got the best way. All right, Collins, I got the saw. Hey, yo, what? You brought a full saw you used to chop down a yes. tree. This does not belong in a kitchen, Devin. There you go. Do not try this at home. Three, two, one. Oh! oh. Yes! Yo! yo. It's time to get rid of the saw. I think I did what I needed to do. Wait, wait, wait. But what about my cheese, though? Okay, fine. You know what? Back to the brick, bro. Back to the brick. It's almost time to assemble our pizzas, but first, I need the most important ingredient, tomato sauce. Yeah, well, you do that, I'm gonna make some squiggly potatoes, so I have some squiggly scissors here. Oh, it okay. broke my squiggly scissors. Oh, squiggly yes, cut. yes, oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. It's opening. I need something to put it in. Oh, yes. What? Squiggly potato number one. It's such a little amount of tomato sauce for the amount you're having to squeeze that thing, dude. I know. In the finishing touch, I grab my mom's hair crimper like this, and now we're gonna put this thing inside like this, and then we're gonna cook the potato just like what? this. Here we go. All right, I've got all the sauce I need, and now it's time to assemble our pizzas. This looks like ketchup, right? Dude, that's like half of my sauce. Oh, man, double dip. What are you doing? All right, well, now let's assemble the pizzas. We've got all the pizza ingredients, and now it's time to assemble it, so I'm gonna kick it off right here with a whole bunch of tomato sauce, Same, man. dude. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, splat! Whoa! Oh, man. Dude, this like splatted Whoa! it, man. I lost concentration My for pizza was so great. But it got on me, bro. Next up, we got some of this cheese. So here we go. We're just going to splat down the cheese like this. Oh, yeah, Whoa. man. First layer is all done. Time for the second layer. All right, next up, I'm laying down a base of cheddar cheese. And I'm putting in a whole bunch of chicken and onion for this layer. All right, here we go, man. Just going to keep pulling it in, pulling it in. Uh-oh. I hope it tastes good because uh, yeah, I, I, it doesn't I, look so great. This is food, Devin. It's not about how it looks. It's about how it tastes. All right, time to put the finishing touches on these things and find out who wins the $10,000. We've got the completed pizzas, and I have never seen a pizza that looks like that before. Here's a big reveal. You ready? Three, two, one, ta-da! Bro, yep. and when I slice Whoa. this thing open, man, it's going to be incredible on the inside. You get to comment down below and vote whose pizza do you think is going to taste better. You challenge us to make a taco, but we're not allowed to use a tortilla press, a knife, or a griddle, so let's go. Because I'm not allowed to use a griddle, I'm kicking off by turning my watermelon into a functioning grill right now. Wow, yeah, Wait, and what since are you doing? I can't make a normal tortilla, I'm making a rice tortilla. Oh! Okay, yeah. here we go. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. It's in my face. All right, here we go. Yeah. Well, I'm going to continue over here. I am drenched off the bat. Instead of making normal white rice, I'm making purple rice. That is brand new, bro. I've never seen a purple rice taco before. That seems like it'd be a lot more convenient, man. I'm really excited to see if it works. I'm confused. Oh, Three, is this because you can't use a knife? Oh, my gosh. I feel like I'm using a sword right now. Okay. <clears throat> I hear it going. Oh, oh snap, dude. dude. No knife, nice. but a perfect slice off Good the top. Job. Come at me, bro. Nice. Give me a high five. Yeah. The rice is cooked and it's cooled, and now it's time to make the patty. Hey, this careful. is called juicing from the careful. bottom. Careful. I'm just, oh, oh, man. I regret nothing. All right, well, just, now uh, I'm taking out my rice from the top, and I'm going to lay it down on this very hot skillet thing. Wait, why? Because this is going to cook the patty, dude. It's you like sizzling, cook it. bro. You're going to like crisp the rice, though, man. Exactly. Ah. What? It ran into my armpit. Final step is to make the grilling top here on the melon. So we're bringing it back oh, to the drill, baby. It totally worked. Oh my, dude, that's super crispy. Wait, dude, what are you grilling on your watermelon? I'm gonna be grilling a whole bunch of meat for my taco. I think my purple rice is finally ready to be formed into the perfect tortilla shape. Time to finish up the watermelon grill. This thing is coming along amazing. My purple rice taco shell is done. Now it's time to slice up my pepper. Wait, so how are you gonna slice that without a knife? Oh, oh liquid nitrogen. Dude, this is so I cool. Know, oh right? my gosh, do not try this at home. We have a trained professional here. It's time to dunk in my pepper. Oh, Oh my gosh. Food grade liquid nitrogen so you can actually eat whatever you put in it. Three, two, oh wait. wait. Three second like challenge. We want to see if you can like this video in three seconds. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Done. Three, two, one. one. Oh. oh. It's like oh, bubbling oh, oh, up. It's bubbling right, up. Wait, I got wait, you get, I got away. I got to get pineapple to protect myself. And this steam is like all by my legs right now. It's so cold. This is oh insane. My. It's like a hot bath, except it's Whoa. freezing cold. Look at that. It's working. Dude, this is the most amount of liquid nitrogen we've ever had before. I kind of want to freeze my pineapple now. Can I freeze a pineapple? No, no, no. no. Uh, this is for me. I, want, I just want to freeze a pineapple. This is for me. You can actually knock on it right now. I have never heard a pepper that sounds like this before, man. This I is haven't either. So cool. Whoa, oh my gosh. It's crack. All right, it's ready to oh go. Oh my Here gosh, go. dude, that thing it down. It looks like it's been sucking cryo sleep for years, man. Dude, it's like coming this? out right now. Again, right. do not try this at home. Yes. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh my no gosh. Way. 
and this is all I need. That's perfect. That sounded like a piece of glass, dude. That is the best alternative to a knife I have ever seen. Holy this cow. Is insane. All right, my first ingredient, my salsa is done. Next ingredient is this mango and a drill. Wait, you're, wait, you're gonna put a drill in a taco? No, 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 I'm, I'm drilling the mango. Why are you drilling the mango, bro? I gotta drill the mango to get the mango out to put it into my salsa. Now I hit reverse and we reverse out of there and look at that. A little bit of mango at a time. I mean, you can't tell this is my not impressed face. Dude, I'm working without a knife. I'm not impressed. Have you ever tried to make salsa, which is a bunch of diced up fruits and vegetables without a knife? We're not impressed. Next, I'm gonna pick up some piece of pork right here. All right, let's drop them in. So here we go, splash. And now I'm cracking these crab legs. I put a whole bunch of hot coals inside the watermelon grill. So hopefully this is gonna work. And do not try this oh. at home, bro. This looks so good. Three, two, two one. one. Oh, dude, what? listen to this sizzle, bro. Dude. I didn't think this would work, man. Dude. A watermelon grill? Well, what might not actually work is cracking these with some bolt cutters. Wait, bolt cutters? An employee at Target told me it was a life hack. All right, that's enough piece of pork for right now. Perfect, so now I'm gonna let those cook oh, and roast. Oh, it fits. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, it actually dude. works, man. Here, how about this, Here bro? I'll help you out a little bit, Devin. You don't need any help, I guess. Okay. No help needed. Oh, snap, dude. Mine are cooking so perfectly, bro. Look at this. Oh, it's starting to come along. Yes, look at that. All right, here we go. Got to press my tortilla. Got a tortilla Wait, pressing what? contraption. Dude, that is way too elaborate. You can never get too elaborate when trying to press a tortilla. First, I'm going to put the two pieces of glass together like this. What are you doing? You got a frog, man. I got a frog. You're supposed to make music with that. You're going to separate the two just like this and then plop it down. Oop. Yep, 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 yeah! We have a little pump here. So this pump is gonna be integral to the plan. This does not come out, dude. Oh my gosh, are you seeing this? Whoa! Look at this! Dude. Why is it not perfectly circular, though? That is amazing! I'm a little concerned. Nice. All right, man, there is my taco shell. That is the most impressive way I've ever seen a tortilla made. I'm cooking my tortilla since we're not allowed to use a grill. I made a hot rock face. I stuck wow. it in the oven, got it super hot. Do not try this at home. So let's see if this is actually able to cook my tortillas. Dude. Three, two, one. one. Oh! I'm oh, gonna no. pan the rock. Gotta pan the rock. Hold up. Right, here, here we go. go. Okay, here we go. Three, yep. Three, two, two one. one. Teamwork, man. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's gotten crispy. To cook my tuna, I'm actually using beeswax. Wait, beeswax? You can yes. cook something with beeswax? I guess we'll find out. Three, two, two one. Are you pointing directly on the fish? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yo, it hardens Whoa. instantly. Keep going. Keep going. Oh my gosh. Amazing. All right, the wax is all hardened, and now it's time to break out my fish. Oh. oh hey. Wait. Yeah. It looks like congealed bologna with some weird stuff in the middle. Man. This doesn't look so good. I gotta break it yeah, open. How are you somehow. gonna do this? Okay. I don't know. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, yes. It breaks away so easily. It's working out perfectly. Just, you gotta be careful. You can wax all my hot rock, bro. You have to be gentle with your fish, man. And look at it. Cooked all the way through. There's a final stretch right here. Oh, oh my gosh. Whoa. Yo. That is amazing. I did not think that would work at all. Got our tacos, and now it's time to assemble them. But first, we're gonna add some seasoning yes. to it. So check this out, though. Here we go. Yo. Oh. Such savers. Okay, okay. okay. Oh! Let's all this deactivate them on. There okay, we go. Yep. Seasoning time. See if you hold it down. What? I gotta go with the wasabi next. You make like a sushi taco. Oh my gosh, dude. I still can't believe that the watermelon was able to fully cook the meat. Next up, I'm adding this ahi tuna. Oh, there we man. go. It's very wow. nice and pink on the inside, I know. though. All right, just gonna add this on top. And wax cooked fish, man. How is that gonna taste? Look all right. At this, though. All right, now it's time to put the finishing touches on these and find out who wins. We got the finished tacos. And you added a whole new element, man. Competition is tough. So here's a big reveal. Three. Two, one, ta -da! Oh my gosh, I made a little Please. extra thingy and everything. So you get Man. to comment down below, whose taco do you think is gonna taste better? You challenge us to make a burger, but we are not allowed to use a knife, a hot plate, or a pan, so let's go. To kick mine off, I gotta crack some eggs. And I gotta slice up some tomatoes. Three, two, two one. Oh! No way! What are I'm you making? I'm making the breading for my chicken. Next step is for me to slice up this beef, but I can't use a knife, so I've got the next best thing. A paper shredder. That wait, that yeah, makes no makes sense. That's the office really? paper shredder, Devin. Wait, okay, I don't even think it's gonna be able to grind up that meat, to be honest, bro. Next up, I gotta melt the cheese. So I grab my mom's wax melter over here. It's gonna place the <laughs> cheese in. And I'm sorry, mom, from now on, whenever you melt wax, it's gonna smell like a little bit of cheese. All right, my beef is tenderized, and cons, what? time for you to hold the shredder. This is raw Whoa. meat. Do not touch raw meat, and yes. do not try this at home. Ready, Ready set, go. Oh! Oh, Dude, snap. It worked. It does sound kind of uh, broken, though. It's stuck. I want it back. I Wait, want my meat back. Why, you I want it back. Oh, my cheese oh. Look, it's starting to overflow on the top, oh. Devin. I gotta say, man, I did not think that this would work, bro, but I'm actually shocked. I'm actually kind of surprised this worked, too. If this was featured in an infomercial, it would be the next billion dollar product for sure. You ever find yourself at 3 p.m., thousands of feet above the earth in a Goodyear blimp with nothing but raw meat and a paper shredder? No. But if you did, what would you want to do with it, Devin? You got Beef raw meat? Faster. No, that's not, that's not yet. You got raw meat? Beef got faster. A, Devin, you got Sorry. raw meat and a paper yes. shredder? Beef faster 2000. There we go. Yeah. All right, order today by calling my personal 
Google cell phone number. 555. Oh, you can't what? give that. We're on air. Got my garlic minced up. I think I'm gonna make some aioli and I'm gonna use this mustard next. As you make your aioli, bro, I'm gonna be filling my patties with cheese. Alright, here we go. So let's see if I can suck up some of this cheese. Three, two, one. Oh, oh it's working. It's nice, working. Okay. Nice. You gotta overpower this garlic with all the other ingredients. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go on the side like this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Just gonna what? inject the Are cheese you? right. Oh, oh. stripping out the side. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Time to mix my stuff up. Next up, gotta cook my shrimp. We don't have a hot plate though. How are you gonna cook that thing, I'm dude? Gonna use an electric fly swatter. What if it like combust the shrimp? Well, I guess it's an electric out. fly swatter, bro. If dude. it touches it, it might just go boof. Oh, oh, that was definitely a piece of shrimp. All right, here we go. Three. Oh my gosh. Two, oh boy. One. No! Oh my Jeez. gosh. Oh! I did not think that would work, bro. I didn't either. Next up, I gotta chop my onions, but since I have no knife, I'm gonna use a figure skate. Oh, what? How are you gonna slice it? It doesn't seem that sharp, Three, man. Three, two, one. Yo! Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. And you do that, here we go. I'm gonna pop my potato on the top here like this. Got my eyes. You shoot onion juice in your ah. eye, man. Woo! Are you all right? Stop this. I'm just gonna borrow okay. your skate oh. real quick. This is a much better method, right, so here we sure, go. Just gonna sure. slice up like this. Give us a second. We gotta finish this up real quick. Dude, this no knife thing is so tough. I'm gonna have to use pencil sharpeners to cut my onion. I'm having an issue with no hot plate, but I think I've got a great solution, a curling iron to cook my bacon. And remember, do not try this at home. Oh, oh you hear the sizzle? What? This works. Oh my gosh. Just gonna take it off and just gonna place it down here. You ready? Three, two, two one. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh. oh, let me curl up a few more of those, and then it's time to assemble the burger. Time to dredge my chicken. Dredge so it. I'm just gonna dip it in here first. That's called like dredging. This, and then okay. go right into here. Wait, oh my uh -huh. gosh. What do you mean? Oh my gosh. This is gonna be amazing. I don't know, man. It's kind of questionable. Alright, this is my last piece of chicken. I've got my cheese-filled burger patties, and now it's time to cook these in a very unique way. You ready, Devin? I'm so ready. I'm sure this is gonna blow your mind. So right now, let's uh let's hop outside. So we have a Lamborghini here, which yep. is lent to us by our friend Chris. We're gonna be cooking the meat in two different ways. Number one is on the engine. And number two is on the tailpipe. Here we go. Three, oh, man. Two, one. Dude! Oh, oh my gosh. Got the burger meat, and now it's time to see if it'll actually cook. Do not try this at home. So here we go. Let me get him in position. Three, two, two one. Oh, oh snap. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, dude. it's so hot right now. I can feel the heat coming off. All right, that's enough right now for the burger seven. So next up, we're going to see if the tailpipe can cook your chicken. All right, three, two, one. Dude, oh. what? Oh, my gosh. That is insane. Done. All right. All right. My chicken's looking super crispy, dude. And the burgers are almost done, so we're just going to be cooking them a little bit more, and they'll be adding these to our burgers. Now, surprisingly, this didn't work, so we actually had to put it in the oven. It's now time to assemble the burgers. So I got to say, off the bat, bro, my bun what? turned out so good. Mine looks so boring in comparison. It truly is. For my burger patty, yeah. remember, this thing is filled with cheese. Yo, All dude, right. yours actually turned out really good. Next up, we're going to get some, some pickles on there, because you got to get some salty, crispy crunchiness on it. And then, of course, we have got the, uh, the spirally bacon. Time to put the finishing touches on our burger, and I'm Really excited to see whose looks better, but more importantly, whose tastes better. So right now, let's all let's finish these things up. We've got the burgers. So here's the big reveal. Three. Two, one, ta-da! You get to comment down below whose burger do you think is gonna taste better. It's time to find out which pizza tastes better. We have two very different pizzas. Mine got a whole bunch of layers to it. Yep. It's extremely heavy. Yeah, Dude, that, feel that it. looks it's like, really heavy. Oh okay. my gosh, it's like 20 pounds, bro. It's not that, yeah, that, that's really heavy. Are you kidding me, bro? That's extremely heavy. And you it got really a blue is. pizza, so it's gonna be really interesting to see which one tastes better. Devin, which pizza should we taste first? Let's taste yours, dude. I really wanna see what's on the inside of that. Here we go, okay. do not try this at home. Yeah. Here we go, time to slice it open. Three. Two, one. Not too quick. Not yep. too quick. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now open okay. it. Yep. Open yep. it. Okay, here we go. Nice. Three, two, one. Yo! Oh, oh my that gosh. looks so good. Dude, you can see the layers, what? man. It's perfect. Dude. All right, here you go, Devin. Here is your piece. Uh, uh, thank you. That's your piece I, right I there. I didn't know I wanted such a big it's piece. It's a two slice pizza, guys. Wow. It's kind of a Chicago deep dish tradition. Wait, so seriously, that's all you're going to do? Just a forkful? Yes. What are you doing here? I got, I'm just trying to turn around so I can get a bite of it. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Mm. Whoa! Mm. Whoa! Mm. That is super good! Oh my god! Who thumbs up with yeah, all the good. barbecue sauce? Mm. Dude, I did not want to like that, but that was so good! Nicely done! Thank you. It's like a Smurf pizza, man! What do you mean, dude? You're breaking oh. the middle! Oh, oh my oh, gosh, oh, come oh. on, a clean slice! I got it! I got mine perfectly clean, Devin! This, yep. You're being judged on this, this man! This is a little bit more difficult than I expected! A dry ice egg, man! You put an egg on a pizza once before, which I questioned, but it actually tasted really good, but a dry ice egg? That's, it looks uh, like it turned out, though, didn't it? It has a weird like texture and quality to it. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's not quite the most appetizing looking. I don't know if you're looking at the same thing I'm looking at. Oh, I definitely am, man. Here's the first slice, Collins. You can have the honors. Oh, there see? There you go. You missed the egg. Your blue crust is, um, is what? Fantastic, S amazing, like the ocean. Reminds you of everything good in the world. 
Suspicious. There you go, Collins. Yeah, be very here careful here. Your, yep, there you go. Time for my slice. Wait, why do you get a bigger slice than I do, man? I did? Hey, if you look at the exact... Okay, they're the I same. I tried to make they're it pretty equal. They're the same, they're the same. Okay, I take you it back. You did a good job on this. Three, two, two one. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It's so Whoa. bad, it makes you want to do Kung Fu! Wow! This is a weird combo, man. Oh, 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 what? That it's was like weird. Some really good elements, like the pepperoni, the yeah. cheese. I gotta uh, say, man, the crust, the blue crust. Yeah. No. You get to comment down below and vote whose pizza do you think won this round? We've got the completed burgers, and now it's time to find out which one is worthy. How about we start with yours first? I'm super ready. What really makes these burgers interesting is that they were cooked using a Lamborghini, so it I might know. change the whole taste of them. The chicken was right by the tailpipes, man. Yes. It's just taking a whole bunch of heat from the car. All right, I think I'm gonna cut it in half first. With a fork and I've never seen someone just cut a burger just. All right, here we go, going down the center. And dude, the Ooh. shrimp, I forgot, with the electric fly swatter, man, just zapping it. I don't know if it cooked it or not, man. Yeah. Oh, there oh. goes the shrimp, you this lost one. This is a one. tough one, man. All right, here we go, All I'm right. trying to sink yep. my slice, yep. ready? Wait, oh, what are you doing? What are you pushing it into three, mine for? Two. Hold up, what are you three, two, one -ing? I'm revealing your burger. Oh. You have a lot of full onions in here, man. Yeah, it was more for aesthetics. Oh my gosh, it's all sliding apart, Devin. All I right. gotta say, in terms of construction, this burger gets a B minus. Can I order this burger without onions? Can I just take the onions off, please? I'm the chef, and I think you should eat it the way the chef prepared. Here we go. I'm, just, I'm, doing? I'm not taking off the onions, it just fell off. Uh-huh, really? On yeah. purpose. Oh wait, oh, I lost the bottom bun. Hold on, Devin. It's really, falling. You're it's so much drama, man. Just eat it. Three, two, one. When you get all the flavors, it's mm. not so bad. It made me do a little, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I like that. Hmm. Got some cheese, you know? Hmm. Got some burger. Hmm. I gotta say, that was really good once you get past the initial onion, man. Yeah, that was it was actually, actually delicious. Really, really good. Here we go. Time to slice down from the top, man. All right. Do not try this at home. Oh, oh man. The cheese. One, three, two, two, one. Oh, oh, look at the cheese. Whoa. Bro, it's all wet and slimy. I'm just doing my best to make a great burger, man. So right now, let's see how this cheese filled Lamborghini grilled burger tastes. Three, two, two one. Ah, what? it's so dry. It's like a saltine cracker. The pickles taste really good. You get to comment down below and vote whose burger won this round. We've got the completed tacos, and now it's time to find out which one is worthy. And just remember, we grilled the meat on a watermelon, so it might change the oh, whole yeah. flavor of this thing. This thing's in a taco bowl that was made by a hot rock. Right. I don't know how we do this. Do we just, I've never eaten a taco bowl whole either. before. I, I'll grab my fork and oh, knife. Okay, yeah, you, know, you want to split it in half? Utensils. You did do a good job of cutting these things, man. Thank you. We're cutting what? I'm cutting these. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yes, thank you. My art on the side is definitely. <laughs> you're opening this thing up and not in the best way, man. This it started off as a taco bowl and it's turned into a regular taco. All right, so I guess on the count of three, we'll see how this thing tastes. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what? Mm-hmm. I didn't think the flavors blended, mm -hmm. but they really do. Mm. I think the watermelon actually really helped with the fruity flavor. Yours is gonna have a tall mountain to climb if it looks to beat this one here. And yeah, the pomegranate seeds like tied the whole dish together. Oh, yeah. So now, Devin, time to find out how yours tastes. Yeah. Mine's got a rice taco shell prepared in a coffee that's maker. That's not even the craziest thing, bro. You no. have fish that's been cooked in hot wax. I think this is gonna taste great. I don't know, man. Three, two, one. All right. Oh, that doesn't look good. Mm. I, I got, okay, I'm like, oh. Oh, oh, no more salad. Oh. Oh! Woo! Oh my god! Uh, Automatic disqualification! Uh, trash! It just overpowered the whole thing. You get to comment down below whose taco won this round. We're known for making crazy life hacks, and you're always asking us, do they really work in real life? So today, we built the ultimate Orbeez obstacle course to test these life hacks under the most extreme conditions. Like this one, for example, a watermelon stuffed full with a whole bunch of matches. Yeah, I don't get how this is a life hack. Just wait till you see how it's actually used in the obstacle course. It's okay. gonna blow your mind, it'll make perfect sense. First obstacle we're gonna be tackling and creating life packs for is the balance race, yep. where if we fall off, we'll be landing on a painful bed of Legos yep. or into a massive vat of slime. So right now, let's go make the life packs that'll make sure we don't fall off as we race across. I'm making a balancing pole with squishy pineapples on either end. So right now, here's a crazy life hack to make some homemade squishies. Here we go, three, two, one, whoa! Ah! Woo -hoo -hoo! You broke it, I bro. broke it, bro! Wow! Holy cow, I broke it! So as you're making your nonsense over there, I am gonna make my balancing apparatus. Nonsense? Oh, yeah, seriously. Bro, squishies are where it's at, man. Yeah. That's gonna help you balance. You're gonna look like a giant, like, floating rag. I'm making some wings. All right, we're gonna dump it. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. See, you get a little bit of extra uh, soap sudden there. Gotta dual wheel these. <laughs> I can't say the name of these, because we will get in trouble. Why will we get in trouble? Don't ask. All right, so oh, here we yes. go. Oh, yes, uh, I got you. Okay, so here's the deal. We're gonna put all this in, and this is gonna help to create the pineapples. I guess it's like a 
life hack as well. Except my hands are getting very tired. All right, one wing is done. Now it's time to make the frame for it. So I'm gonna start with this long PVC pipe here and then bend it around the boogie board. Gotta get the silicone getting all nice. Here we go, Sophie walk. <laughs> Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh my goodness, this is in my eye! Holy cow! This side of my face looks shut down. I can't hear anything and I can't see anything. Useless life hack alert. I have some hot sand here. If you ever want to bend a PVC pipe, pour some hot sand down it. Well, do that time for me to coat my pineapple in the silicone over here. NFL, if you're watching this, you might consider drafting me. 42, sit, pineapple! Oh, jeez! Dude. Well, that didn't what? coat it. It's giving me beach vibes right now. There's That's all oh, yeah. water. I bet you we can go ice skating on this stuff. Wow! The Olympics! Ta da! Figure skating. Whoa! Whoa! Running kicks! Now, unfortunately, making a squishy pineapple has distracted from your life hack. So the question is, does this useless life hack actually bend the pole? Absolutely not. Let me, let me try. Let me try. Look, 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 look. Oh, wait, 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 wait. oh, that's my sand. That is hot sand. It just broke off. All right, so we got a pineapple. We got silicon. You know what's about to happen. No. No. Oh, <laughs> I see that now. Ah, whoa! <laughs> it's working! Bend down for one second. Yes! Look at that, man. That is my wing structure. I was aiming for the Legos. That went really far. Oh, whoops. NFL, give them a call. <laughs> yeah. So if you're wondering how this relates to making a squishy base, this will create the mold that'll fill with the squishy material. And that's gonna help me cross a tightrope race. Oh, 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 oh. Glad I found that. I honestly can't believe that this works. This Wait, is insane. And this is for your wing? This is for my wing, so it's gonna be like that. I still can't believe Devin's about to look like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> no, like a dragon, bro. No, you look like, no. like a sparrow. Sparrows are pretty cool, too. I'll take it. You look like a pigeon. Okay, I'll take that. We have a useless life hack that actually works. So congratulations, you found Thank the you. first one, because I don't know if the silicone one's quite working, man. You could've like bought a pineapple mold. All right, so I gotta go let this thing dry. Oh, I got the one under my nail. Fudge, that was not fun. All right. Sick. So let's uh, let's go let this thing dry now and tend to my nail. All right, so I've got the mold. I've taken the pineapple out, and now it's time to create the squishy on the inside. All right, here we go. Time to pour it in. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go for it. Oh! So this is foam, not elephant toothpaste. This is foam right here, so we're gonna like clear off the top, let oh. it set. All right, and I just have to attach a couple more of these PVC pipes and then the frame will be done. The DIYs are done, and bro, those wings are insane. Yeah, they might be a bit overkill. Now for this race, whoever makes it backwards across the balance beams all the way first wins. And if we fall off, we're gonna be landing on a painful bed of Legos oh, or yeah. in a massive pool of slime. And you know what, to make it even more fun, we've actually yeah. brought along our friends who've got water balloons, squirt guns, and a whole bunch of exactly. other stuff they'll be throwing at us to try to knock us off as we go across these balance beams. All right, Devin, you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Three, Three two, one, go! Oh, oh man! All right, here we go. We got the balance. Woo! Naughty! You're shaking thinking. me. We shouldn't have connected these. Woo! Oh. Woo! Oh. 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 My back is terrible. These How are you working? Dude? They're actually kind of working. Pineapple for the lose. Are you like already making it? <laughs> the no. Oh, no! 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 no. Oh. Are you in the slime? No. I have a chance. I have a chance. I'm getting so close. No! 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 no. 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 Oh, oh, that was not fun. All right, so I fell off, so now I gotta uh, get back up. The slime is all over my feet. Is it slippery? Yes. Your wing is hitting me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm Take sorry, the I'm wing sorry. out. No, I'm sorry. No, I fell oh. off again. This pineapple sucks. This light pack is busted. Here we go. Three, two, one, hit. I just want to make it to the Orbeez pool. Okay, here's all I want. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> I gotta no. take Why are you on my side? I don't know. Okay, dude. Oh, my kidney! Oh, oh, dude. How have you not fallen in the Legos yet? Oh, my other kidney! Do I have two kidneys? Because they both hurt. Extend the wing. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Balancing. I got good vibes about this yeah. one, man. Whoa! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, 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 no! Oh. Yes! Oh, I can no. still make it, though. I can oh. still make it. I'm gonna have to cross the Legos. Oh, it's all for the win! Oh. Oh. I'm so close! Yes! No. I won! Oh, oh my gosh! Devin won the first one, but that doesn't matter because it really comes down to the Orbeez obstacle course. Oh man, I'm thinking we we'll turn ourselves into human boats. So right now, let's go. Oh, this is so hurting me. To make it across the pool, you challenge us to turn ourselves into real life human boats using a whole bunch of ridiculous life hacks. And the first ridiculous life hack is opening up a soda bottle with an axe. Here we go. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Oh! Blasted the ceiling, bro. It's raining. So as you're making a whack boat over there, I'm making whack? a balloon helmet for my first bit of inflatable boat. Double flip! Whoa! Whoa! Come on! Oh, me, dude. Perfect. No, me. I did that. But we're both on the channel, so you know. <laughs> exactly. Teamwork, dynamic duo. All right, so Wait. I have to blow up some balloons Why for this balloon a fire helmet. extinguisher, though. Because I'm doing it with a completely unrealistic, unnecessary life hack. Sounds like our channel. All you need to know is I'm making dry ice. Three, two, one. <laughs> Neighbors are 
speaking right now. <laughs> So I got some dry ice, it's as simple as that. There's nothing! You know what, man? This is a life hack, this is very important stuff. For like less than a dollar, you can get way more dry ice than that. Cause, life hacks. Time for me to make the floaty substance that's gonna go inside of my little ski pole buoy over here. So right now I'm just gonna add in uh, some shaving cream over here. All right, so I'm gonna put this into the hot water here. Okay, the dry ice, okay. Yes. And boom! Yo! Blow out the balloons! Oh, yeah! yeah. yeah. Alright, well. You know what? I gotta say, it's a life hack. It's a useless life hack because no, 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 no. it does, granted, take a little bit longer, hey, but it works. Let's see, another life hack is called. See, it doesn't work. The next thing I gotta add in over here is some cornstarch, and that's gonna like really add to the fluffiness of the substance. Wait, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> it just took too long. What your life hack? I don't got time for that. Man. You don't got time for this whoa, life whoa, hack? Whoa, 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 This life hack oh, is no, no. over! I thought you were gonna throw it on the ground, to be honest. No, 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 I don't break stuff, dude. That's, that's not who I am. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Alright, well now that I got all my balloons blown up, it's time to make a waterproof glue. Wait, some what? So, I got this mixture here, which is sugar, water, and flour. It looks like what? yogurt. So, I'm gonna put this vinegar in here. Alright, here we go. I've got the no mess corn like starch. like a frisbee, bro. See? Look at this, dude. It's yeah. a frisbee. Here. Okay, here, here, here we go. Go long! I'm up it. Go long! Yeah. Let's test the speed! Guys, I'm over here. I was testing your speed. I thought you were testing the speed of the frisbee. No, it was a test of you, Devin. All right, so I'm gonna put this vinegar in here and just stir it up real quick. All right, so I got this here, this nice glue. Just gonna put it on my helmet. Here we go. It's gonna blink. wait, Cons, you're doing what? I got it in the corner. I'm sorry. What are you? All right, here we you go. don't need to do that. Why are you doing that? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Face protected. Here we go. It's gonna reach in here like this. Oh yeah, that's very nice. Holy cow! Yeah, I'm gonna call the croissant got my eyeball. Goggles. Are you saying croissants? <laughs> I, I want croissants. Can you please take the goggles off? <laughs> I can't like talk or see anything. There you go. Okay, next, I need some webbed hands. I have to be able to swim around like a fish. Swim around! I sound like Sid from the Ice Age. You dash candy that. To make my webbed hands, I need the Globinator! What? what in tarnation? Bow to his majesty. What kind of medieval contraption is this? The first thing you need is a glove. That's right, if you never want to touch gloves again, we got the Globinator for you. So, you're touching a glove. But just ignore this part. Okay, it didn't happen. Yeah, it did not happen. All right, so I'm going to turn on the vacuum seal here. It should just... Do his thing now. Well, here we go. I got my ski pole. Gonna stab this in over here. And this here is gonna be a flotation buoy. How am I supposed to it's remove? Supposed it? to be the But I thought I never had to touch a glove again. This That's is falsely advertised. Falsely advertised by whom? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let this thing set in time for me to make the next part of my human boat. Here we go. We got these lifeguard buoys. <laughs> Saving lives and making it look good in the process. These are gonna act as the flotation devices on my feet in addition to a whole bunch of dumb boogie boards. All right, my ski pole flotation devices are all set and now the last thing I gotta do is hydro dip them in a whole bunch of flex seal. Here we go, three, two, flex one. Flex seal the bucket to the table. Oh, oh man. Let's just pull it out. Ta-da! That stuff looks so cool. Yep. What are you doing though, man? I am Velcroing these pool noodles to this jacket so I can float. Gonna dip this one in here. We go, three, two, one. Boom! Get it on my jacket! Oh my god! We are all suited up in our human boats, and bro, you look absolutely insane. Thank you. Looking at these now, compared to the Orbeez pool, I think it's gonna be complete overkill, so yeah, I've got an idea. Let's incorporate our actual pool into the obstacle course. So right now, let's head over to the pool, then we'll jump back to the Orbeez, but we're going over the pool now. Let's do it. Now it's time for us to test these life hacks against our first obstacle, the Pool of Treachery. Dun, dun, dun. Basically, we have to make it all the way across the pool, take off our human boats, and finally jump in the hot tub, hit the buzzer, and the first person to do that wins. Oh, I also forgot to mention, there's gonna be a whole bunch of people throwing water balloons, giant exercise balls Wait, on us to make really? it even more interesting. So now, here's the reveal of our human boats. Three, two, one, ta-da! Look at yeah. these, man! Yeah. Now this is what I'm talking about! No, I, yeah, don't touch me with those weird little noodles! I can't even hug you, man. Yeah, like, I don't want to be hugged by your weird little noodly arms. All right, the race is about to begin. You ready, Devin? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, 
Gotta get these things off. Oh, that one's already off. Oh, man. Oh, oh shit. Okay, here we go. This is for the victory. Here we go. No, 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 no. Oh. All right, so I'm the winner of the challenge. Woo! Oh. Woo got everything soaked. What do you mean? So clearly I lost it. Oh, oh, there we man. go. All right, so now it's on to the next one. All right, we have taken off our human bows, yep. gotten all dried <laughs> off, and it is finally time to tackle the Orbeez Obstacle Course what? in all of its glory, man. Yes. So the first thing here is the wipe-out ball. We're gonna have to bounce away <laughs> across these, then we're gonna make it to the punching wall over there. Have to throw balloons at a target. Once you hit the target, you can move on to the next part, which is the teeter-totter wall. Once you make it over that, you gotta cross the boogie boards, climb up on the scaffolding, and finally pop all of the balloons as you look for the final end buzzer. Oh, I also forgot to mention, there's gonna be a whole bunch of people throwing water balloons to make really? it even more interesting. Whoever hits that buzzer first, they win. It's gonna be me. I don't know about that. Now, in my opinion, the most difficult part of this entire obstacle course uh -huh. is gonna be trying to throw those water balloons at a target while getting punched a whole bunch of times. Oh, so that's where we like the watermelon. No, 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 not nope. yet, Devin. We're not yet. wait on the uh -huh. watermelon. Trust me, it's gonna be used at the <laughs> okay. perfect moment. The life hack that I'm focusing on is gonna make sure that I don't get punched once. Oh, okay. Well, I think the hardest part of this course is gonna be that teeter-totter, so I'm gonna make a life hack to help me get over that. All right, right now, let's go make our life hacks, and then it's time to jump into the Orbeez obstacle yes. course. So let's go. In preparation for the ultimate Wipeout course. We're making some DIY shields. And I'm like, making some sticky gloves. Yes, we are. No, that was not called for, Devin. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so the Got first life hack I'm doing is basically this tube right here. You see this thing that's filled with water? Yes. This is gonna be the strap that I'm gonna use across my satchel side. If you can just cut I'm right there it, for I'm me. With it. All right, sure. Three, two, one. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I think it was a complete win across the board. Could have gone better. Bam. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding, Devin. I'm for real. We did all of that for that. Exactly, because now it's stretched. For my sticky glove, I'm making a growing glove, which is a life hack, apparently, so we'll find out. You ready? Wait. Whoa! What? Yo! What? Are you all right, dude? Are you okay? Oh, I think it might be stuck. Oh, well, yeah, I think it is stuck, <laughs> man. What is going on? So this is gonna be the mold for my glove, and I have no idea how I'm gonna get my hand out. You see if we can use some, like, sorcery magic to get it in there, so maybe you need Ooh. some sorcery magic to get it out, Devin. And luckily for you, uh -huh. I have a very industrial magic wand. What? Here we go now. I gotta say the magic words. Ready, Devin? I'm gonna aim for your heart. It's the only way to make this work. So here we go. Why? Stand okay. like this so I can okay. see you. Here we go. Three, two, one. Abra, throw my Abra. Ah, my spleen. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, my small intestine. What? Ow. This thing is not accurate. But the real question, how did it help the thing? ta -da! Dab for the crowbar dabra. Respectfully. So nicely done. Right, so that's gonna you. be the mold. Yes, this will be the mold for my sticky glove. Alright, and this is gonna be the base of my shield, because here's the thing: as we go across this wiped out obstacle course, there's gonna be a whole bunch of objects flying at us, so we gotta just like dodge protect to make sure we don't get knocked off the course. So, first thing you gotta do when you're trying to hold the shield, what don't you want? A handle. I'm right. making my own custom handle, because this handle, not reliable. I need something that I know is battle tested and can take, I don't know, shrimps. Because who knows what they're gonna be throwing at us, man. <laughs> like shrimps could become a flying. Could be like, like a shrimp cocktail. <laughs> That's what you're most concerned about? Dude, shrimp. flying shrimps are crazy, bro. Are they? Oh, yeah. Dude. All right. A lot of legs. I hear you're trying to pop the handle off. See? You're bending yeah. the shield, dude. Okay, you know what? I think we've got to revert to the other way. Wow. All right, so now that my mold is made, I have this silicon here. I'll gonna... figure out how to get this handle off. Don't you worry. Now I'm going to pour it into here for my sticky glove. You ready for this? Yes. All right. So this go. handle's not coming off. Three, two, one. Oh. Dude, look at the colors in this thing. It looks so good. The silicone is on the inside. I'm gonna let this solidify off to the side here, and right. now I'm gonna melt down some of these sticky hands. Well, due to that time for me to get my shield to be a little bit more flat, because right now it looks like what it is, which is a trash can lid. Okay, would you mind holding this for one second? Whoa. Like, place it like this. A little hat sure for you. Thing. Here we go. A little fashion is Devin's passion. Here we go. He's gonna pick this up over here. Ah, this is very heavy. Oh, so you see what I'm doing over here? It's pretty mm, genius. Nope. I'm just moving my heavy equipment over here. This stuff is great. Okay, I'm melting down sticky hands for my sticky gloves, bro. Where did my trash lid go? Hold on. What do you mean? It's on my head. Oh. <laughs> Thank All right. you. Let's, uh, let's see. You're just gonna take it here like this. I don't know how to use this, to be completely honest. Dude, this isn't actually working very well. You and me both, Devin. You and me both. So therefore, Captain America, shield the background. 
just saying, I could be in the movies. Yeah, now cause it has to come back. Now the only unfortunate thing is that this isn't quite vibranium. I think it's called aluminum and yes. it is uh, bent quite out of shape. If you're having trouble bending aluminum, bro, I cannot imagine you as a superhero. Oh, who came it's aluminum. That was uncalled for. That's was... aluminum, not vibranium, bro. Yes. You know what, instead of doing this, I think I'm just gonna put this in the oven to heat it up. I, yeah, that's that's terrible. Dude, look at the hand that I got out of the mold, Wait a bro. Minute. Couldn't you just use like a regular glove instead oh, of like filling that? Because oh, what? This is useless life hacks, bro. I forgot, yeah, this is a useless life hack here. Alright, next up I got- oh, oh, no! Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a lot of paint! These things are filled with paint! This is again another terrible life hack because it's- Yeah. They, they didn't stay on here. So here's the deal, I gotta paint my shield for no other reason than aesthetically it's gotta look beautiful as I'm on the wipeout course. Because uh, you guys know me, aesthetic beauty is my main thing. So it's yeah. what I'm known for. So here we go, I'm just gonna <laughs> empty out the stuff like this. Yo, we're actually doing something similar, but this is actually the melted down uh, sticky hands. So uh, happy to hear that, Devin. So we got all the paint on here, and this is a life hack I saw on TikTok, so I don't know if it's actually gonna work or not, but this way I'm making it look really cool. So usually I'm not the artsy one, but this time I think I am. So here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa. Oh! That got paint everywhere, man. So look at this on the top of it. Ta-da! Looks like trash. Dude, I can't believe these melted down sticky hands actually works. Now all I gotta do is just peel it off with this mold and then I'm done. Alright, so we just gotta finish these things up and then it's time to tackle the wipeout obstacle course. Alright, we finished up our life hacks and these are gonna be so important to make sure we make it across the obstacle <laughs> course. Mine's a shield to make sure no one punches me on that punch wall. And man, these gloves are sticky, All right, dude. so right now it's time to go place these exactly where they need to be on the obstacle course. So I'm gonna put my gloves over here so that they're ready for the wall. <laughs> I always just trip, man. That's not a good sign for this obstacle course. I'm already tripping. Whoa, it's hot! It is hot. Holy cow! Oh, jeez, okay. okay. Okay, put, put it down, put it down, put it down. Shield's gotta, there, good to go. All right, let's hop back over. Woo, it's hot. So the first thing here is the wipe out ball. We're gonna have to bounce our way across these, then we're gonna make it to the punching wall over there. Have to throw balloons at a target. Once you hit the target, you can move on to the next part, which is the teeter-totter wall. Once you make it over that, you gotta cross the boogie boards, climb up on the scaffolding, and finally pop all of the balloons as you look for the final end buzzer. Oh, I also forgot to mention, there's gonna be a whole bunch of people throwing water balloons to make really? it even more interesting. Whoever hits that buzzer first, they win. It's gonna be me. I don't know about that. We'll decide yeah. who goes first with a classic game of rock, paper, scissors. Do it, here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh! Nice to meet you. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I get to start first. All right. So All right, right now, let's run the course. Here, here we go. go. Three, two, two one. Oh! Oh, dude. Holy cow, I took a ball to the face! I gotta get back on, I gotta get back on. Wait, get no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Bullets! Oh, okay, here we go. Go on, man, to the point. And you know what? Spoiler oh. attack! Go! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Give me your hand. I want to okay. get you through this. Here we go. Oh, dude, that was right on his shin. Pause. It's a quick pause. We need to give Devin some CPR here. Give him some CPR. Give me the word. All right, hold on. Come on across. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah. We're going to pretend like that worked. All right, we've made it through obstacle number one, and now it's time to throw water balloons. Hit the target without getting punched. Where's my life hack? All right, so we've got my shield here. The issue is this is like an anti-life hack. So I'm not left-handed, but i got to be left-handed. Here we go. Oh, I know. Oh. Oh, jeez! That was oh, 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 my God! Oh, no! Oh, I'm getting barraged! Oh, this is super tough! That's not the shield, man! The shield's not where going on! Okay. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Good. To my head! I think this is good! Here we go! Here we go. Oh. Yeah! Oh. Alright, I'm on to it! Alright, I gotta get this! Here we go! Gotta get my shield! Oh, those on! Here we go! Here we go! Oh. Yeah! Oh. No, 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 no! Three, two, one! Go for it! Point blank range, I appreciate it. Yep. Oh! Okay, I'm All right. the wrong way. I'm the wrong way. Oh! No way! Yes! yes. Alright, well, you know what? The boogie boards are submerged, so just imagine I'm stepping on the boogie boards right Wait, now. Wait, how do we pop them? Just with the hands. Oh! Ah, Whoa! Nope, not there! Alright, dude, I gotta find this puzzle, man, before you get ah. it. Ah. Oh! <laughs> I gotta hit the trap! Ah. That's brutal, man! Ah. Holy cow, I don't have any more. 
Sorry, it's like in my eye. Go try this at home. All right, guys, we're uh, we're gonna tie up right now. There's only a few blues left. We're trying to get here in the seat. Uh -huh. Oh, there's the bunker. It went into the Orbeez. Holy cow, we gotta get down. We gotta get down. First one down to the seat. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Oh, no. Yes, and I won the Orbeez oh. obstacle course. You know what that means? I get to light the matches watermelon, man. I wanted to do that so bad. The ultimate prize, so right now, let's go light it up. It is finally time to reveal what's up with this life hack here, <laughs> and since I won the majority of the obstacles, that means I get to demonstrate its awesome power. I'm so bummed. I don't even know what this is for. If you were to take a guess, what do you think this life hack is for, Devin? Uh, haircuts? What? I don't know. <laughs> haircuts? No, 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 think about it. We a bowl cut, you know? It's like in a watermelon bowl. Vincent took a watermelon, stuffed with a whole bunch of matches, and are you ready for it? The big reveal of what the life hack is three, two, one, the ultimate pool light. As you can tell, it's the kidding? pool light 3000. That's what it is. Imagine it just glistening Whoa. and glowing in the light, man. Does it actually float? It, wait, 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 no. It doesn't really float, Yeah, bro. get it, get it out. It doesn't really float. You're gonna mess up my matches, Devin. It kind of floats, but not really. Cow. All right, so grab the lighter, and okay. we gotta say, do not try this at home, yeah, okay? All right, All right, here, here we, we go. go. Three, two, Dude, you know, how about this? Since I won the majority of the obstacles, how about I get to light it? So here what? we go, ready? Right, oh, no! Dude, I didn't have it. Are you kidding me? Kidding that me? was you. I only have one hand. I was the fire. Dude, it's what? ruined, bro. Are you We're going to have to swim in the darkness now, Devin. <laughs> I was so ready to light this thing. Come on. I think, I think it still works. Try to light it. All please. right, fine. I'm Hold so hoping it works. Please, please, please. Ooh. No. 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 I spent hours on this. Are you kidding? You know what? I'm going to have to retry this for TikTok. Let's see if it turned purple. Three, two, one. You challenged us to make a purple watermelon. First step is to cut a hole in the top. My thing's like all bendy right now. I can't, you can't get it in right. Aha. Uh -huh. Got it. All right, next up, we gotta get the cabin. Three, two, one. Boom, just like that. All right, jeez. Now, don't do this at home, and if you do, make sure you have someone to help you out who's more experienced. Just gonna chop them up a little bit more, because you gotta chop them up very finely. That's very important for this hack. So I like this here. My and the crazy thing is the cabbage actually acts as some natural food coloring. Wait, is it gonna taste like cabbage now? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Cabbage-flavored watermelon? That, uh, that doesn't sound too good. I hope not. We're watching a lot of chef shows. I think I got the technique down. It's all in the wrist, man. Just, just it wrist is? it. Yep, just wrist. What chef shows are you watching? It's all of them. Yours looks very chopped up. Yeah, it's uh, smelling like a cabbage in here right now, and it's time to make the food coloring. All right, next up, just gotta add it all to my pan. So here we go, just gonna pop it in here like this. Perfect. Ah. Next, we're gonna add water in, and then we're gonna let it boil for 15 minutes. Cabbages are all boiled down. Ooh, that stinks, bro. Let's mix it up. Whoa, right. dude, they've like turned blue what? as they melted down. Whoa. Oh. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty pungent. Okay. Just gonna dump it in. You ready? Three. You are you already going? Go back. Here we go. One. Oh my gosh, dude, it's actually purple. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm losing oh. cabbages. What? Did you get I'm some cabbages in there? Cabbage. Oh no, I lost some cabbages. Crazy I how lost blue is turned. Now time to transfer it to our glass jar. So Devin, this is really where it comes down to skill because you cannot spill it. You pop this on top because Devin, I don't, I don't trust myself. Three, two, one. Okay, it's going in. Oh, I just spilled it. I spilled it. I spilled it. No. Uh, Yo, I spilled it and it got on me, bro. I spilled okay. a little too. All in all, not too bad. Time to add it to the watermelon. Now it's time to see if this will actually turn it into a different color. So here we go. Got some turkey basters. Let's see if this actually turns blue within the turkey baster Whoa. itself. Oh, I got it. It's I got so it. purple. Okay, what do we do next? All right, now we go. Let's go here at the top. Stick it in a little bit. There we go. On the count of three, we're going to spend. Here we go. One, two, three. Is yours going anywhere? No. Maybe we should remove it a little bit and then- Oh! oh it's overflowing a bit. And all the way, boom, to the top. The real question is, is it going to work? But more importantly, will it make the watermelon taste funny? We'll be trying that at the end of the video. You challenged us to do the shaving cream art challenge. And right now, I'm gonna fill up my slate right here. So this is kind of my canvas. Devin, how's yours going? It's going fantastic. It's like a picture frame. Wait, I can help you out if you need some no, help. No, 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 I'm good. All right, here we go. Just gonna use a little bit of a squeegee thing here. So this we're gonna try to flatten off the top. Oh! I have an idea. You're creating a boring flat piece of artwork. I'm going to create a 3D sculpture artwork. You ain't never seen that before. I feel <laughs> like I'm shaving the largest square face in the world. Dude, this reminds me of a zen garden. Mine reminds me of a mosh pit. Oh man, this is a difficult medium, bro. Here's wow. what's so funny about mine, bro. Look at this. It's like, it's yeah? like, oh. it's so jiggly. This is the pyramid of of, of Shakrima. Oh snap, dude. I'm oh, going to use hey, these straws oh. just like this to actually put the color into the middle of Mount Shakira. Dude, look at this. And dude, I have such a good idea because these straws. What? Careful. I'm sorry, these straws are going to allow me to implant Dude, the what? What did I just tell you? They're gonna allow me to implant the food coloring. Dude, you just bumped me again. Here we go. So we're just gonna put these in here like this. Let's get some food coloring. Gonna add some drops of yellow down here. And last but not least, we've got red right here. So just gonna add that in. And now that there's food coloring all in the middle of Mount Shakrima, it's time to add some on the outside. So just gonna add a couple little drops. Here we go. One. Two. I'm gonna add one over here. We're just gonna go draw. Oh, that was a lot of green. Oops. Yellow drawing right down the center. It's like this. A whole stream of yellow going wow. right down like that. There we go.
All right, time to set my shaving cream art. And as you do that, it's time to make my art over here. So now's the moment I've been waiting for, time to mix it all up. So here we go. Shockingly, I don't really have an eye for this. You know what? I'm gonna remove the straws first. Oh, 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 it's working, it's working. Uh, you think yours is working, bro? Check out mine, bro. Time to get in here with the hands and really make some great looking art. Look Why at your hand, dude. Oh, no. Here we go, it's got a Ouija, 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 Ouija. Now I got a piece of paper to complete my art, so here we go. Now we gotta let it sit, and you get to comment down below whose art do you think turned out better. We'll be doing the reveal of these at the end of the video. You challenge us to make the weirdest DIY candles ever, so right now, let's go. First up, we gotta shred some candles. So just Whoa. like, oh man. Hey I now. Just, I'm gotta... using a cheese grater. Wow, look at this, bro. Oh. It looks so good. Don't try this at home, and if you do, make sure you have someone who's very experienced helping you out, because this is uh, not easy. Here we go. Yo, wait a minute, bro, this Whoa. works, look at this. Dude, this is innovation at its finest right here, bro. Dude, how? Dude, I need that. All right, All right. next. Next up, I'm gonna use this knife here to kind of take off a bit of the edges. The thing is, you've got a curved blade. Why would you have a curved blade when you can eat these things? All right, it's gonna stick this on top and then twist. Yo, dude, mine's kind of like a windmill in a way. It's like, whee! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Yeah, almost lost all my progress. Oh, sorry. Three, two, one, scoop. Ah! Man, these are tough candles. Bro. I know, man. Like, I think you're losing more than you're gaining, bro. Why would you do it on the edge of the table when you can do it on a glass jar? That's it not works. a smart idea. If you could name your wick, then what would you name it? John. Yeah! Uh, we've got the wax shaved down. Really oh my good. gosh. All right, now it's time to melt it. Before we can add the hot wax into the gloves, we need to cut little holes in the fingertips, thread the wick through those little holes, and then tape them together. Basically, you have to spread the glove out across the top opening of this bottle. So here we go. I'm almost there. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. You get it? Okay, yep, there we I go. Got we've got the hot wax, and do not try this at home. We're gonna be extremely careful right now. We're gonna pour the wax in. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh. oh! Okay, right there. Boom. That is it. Whoa! Dude, look at mine. I actually added crayons in it, so if you want to color it, you can add crayons. Time to add my last bit here. Oh! oh. Dude, the yes. precision! Yes! I feel like a puppet master right now. Dude, if this works, this will be crazy. We'll be trying these at the end of the video. Next up, we're turning an orange into a juice bottle. All right, first step is done. Well, that's the wrong first step, though. You're supposed to tenderize it first, Devin. Wait, what? I'm actually really surprised, because tenderizing, it brings out a ton of juices, which I did not expect. Dude, so. yeah, I mean, look at mine. There's actually some juice already. All right, here we go. Let's just, uh... It's it, a spatula? I don't know. It's like, it's like to flip your orange. Wow. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Near catch. Oh! oh! What? Oh! 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 Three times! Oh! oh! Alright, done with these steps. Now it's time to cut off the top of the bottle. As you do that, time to cut off the top of my orange and see how juicy it is on the inside. Oh! Whoa! Not as bad as lemon juice in the eye, but still, orange juice in the eye is not fun. Boom, it's out. We got the little stem. Let's see how juicy it is. Here we go. The squeeze. Yeah! Yeah, let me, let me see yours. Yeah! Oh, wow. Time for me to follow in your footsteps and uh, cut off the top of the bottle. Gotta sneeze. Put the orange under your nose. It'll actually help you not sneeze. That actually worked. All right, now it's time to put this top on just like this. We've got some hot glue. We're going to be very careful and do not try this at home. Time to seal the bottle cap onto the orange. You know what? I think mine is actually going pretty well. All right, the tops are glued on. And dude, I think mine looks way cooler than yours. Yeah, but mine is going to work way better than yours. So right now, it's time to go out. test them out. For this one, we're turning slime into an eraser. Oh, dude, we're kind of making oobleck. Got to be super careful because this stuff will just go crazy all of a sudden. All right, next up, time to mix it around. I'm actually curious if this is going to create oobleck or not. Oh, boy. Get a pinch of baking soda. It's like this. All right. Maybe the baking soda is what actually turns this into the eraser. Ironically, I'm gonna use a pencil to mix it up. Yours is a lot more finely mixed than mine is. And now for the final step, we gotta add the activator. So we're gonna take uh, this off. Oh man. You're on the final step already. I'm right on the final step. This is actually very unusual that I'm beating you in this. Yours looks all chunky and funky. Time to go in with the hands. Here we go. Just gonna scoop it around. Uh, oh man. Should have rolled up my sleeve. This might not be an eraser, but it turns into slime. And it feels like oobleck. Like it has the same kind of like sandy feeling almost. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, see, here's the issue. I don't have enough activator in it right now because it's just it's all in my hands. Let's this get is this like off. dough, bro. What if I dip it into the activator? It's gonna dip it in and we'll pull it out. Here we go. Dip it in. Pull it out. Okay, there we go. I need some of that. I need some of that. Uh, I need some of that. Oh, I wanted to add food coloring, bro. Oh, you haven't had food coloring? I gotta do yeah, it. Yeah, you gotta do that real yep. quick, bro. It's like dough. You can just stretch it out, but you do not want to break it. The blue isn't mixing in. Since yours is blue, I'm gonna make mine red. So we're gonna put some oh, red food right. coloring in it here. Gonna kind of let it drip down. Oh, no, no, no. I'm losing control. Oh, this like really this. does feel like an eraser. Mine looks kind of like a rose right now. Like, like a weird white rose that's somewhat red. All right, here we go. At long last, time to fold in the last little piece right here. Boom. All right, and now I can actually mix in freedom. This might turn out cooler than just making the whole thing red because it's going to be all marbled in red. I wonder if it bounces. Dude, see if you can bounce oh, it. Oh, oh, you ready? Three, two, one. Oh! This is like three things at once. It's an eraser, allegedly. It's also bouncy and it's like a squishy because you're going to squish it. It's so satisfying. It's also a discus. 
All right, now it's time to write on the paper and see if it will really erase it. I'm gonna choose a colored pencil. This might throw it all off. And I'm gonna try a non-colored pencil. I shouldn't choose the color red because that's the exact same color of my slime. We'll go green. Here we go. I'm gonna do a little happy face. So here oh, we go. I was oh, about to do a happy face. You can clearly tell where my pancake art skills come from. There we go, my dude. Look at him. He's very, very, very. <laughs> we got the erasers, and the real question is: Is it actually going to work? And we'll be testing this at the end of the video. You challenge us to turn a hair dryer into a vacuum cleaner. So right now, let's go. Hey! hey there we go. Hey! Oh, oh, oh! Now it's time to create the back of my vacuum. And now it's time to secure my vacuum bag in place. I don't know really what it's called, but basically this thing is gonna catch all the little particles over here. You're only using one scissors. I've got. Yeah. Two scissors. Do not try this at home, especially not with a hair dryer. That's, That's right. Here we to go. be doing a lot more destruction than actual cutting. All right, we're so gonna hot glue this again. Do not do this at home. And the issue is, mine's kind of all jagged from the way that I cut it. So now we're just gonna have to line the inside. All right, now it's time to add it to the back here. Here we go. Just gonna put it on like that. Oh, I nice. in the glue. I mean, it feels pretty airtight to me. How about yours? Yep, mine's airtight. <laughs> These actually look. <laughs> Let's just turn them on really quick to see what happens. Ready? Oh! oh yeah. Like a little sock puppet dude. Like, yeah. hey, what's up? The vacuum's amazing. The real question is, is this thing really gonna work? We'll be testing it at the end of the video, and right now we're on to the next one. Now that oh, is a lot of gum no. stuck in your jeans. It is not coming off. No. Take some ice cubes, just put ice cubes on top, and this will freeze the gum and allow you to peel it off effortlessly. All right, I think it's frozen enough, Ooh. so here it is, right. the moment of truth. Yes. Let's see if this works. You ready? Gonna give it a little peel right over here. Oh! So this side started. Hold on, let's, let's try to get up this side over here. How? The back side's coming up, dude! How is this possible? It's coming up. Okay, so we got off this little bit right over here. Nice. Okay, like it's not all the way frozen, so maybe we just haven't waited long enough yet, but like we waited a long time. Like, this took like 10 minutes. We need more ice. I got a little mini spatula to see if this oh. helps at all. So I want to see if we Durable. can just kind of like push off some of it like this. I don't know if this is necessarily a win yet. Oh, what? okay. Oh, look, look at that. That's like that's a big chunk at once. I'm actually happy this is working because now we can get this off your pants. My pants? Yeah, these are your pants. You didn't recognize them? Why would you grab my pants? Well, because they're new and you haven't worn them yet. And I thought, well, like, you probably don't know if you like them. Let's turn to an alternative solution right now. Excuse me. All right, here we go. Whoa, dude. What? These I, are my new pants. I know. I can't have you going out with gum on your pants. Well, you know what, dude? I think this hack actually works. So you get to comment down below. Do you think this is actually a win? or fail. You challenge us to use an iron for cooking. I'm gonna be making a whole bunch of egg dishes. And I'm making a grilled cheese sandwich. Dude, I wonder if I can toast my bread. Come on, some oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't want a steamed bread. Why dude? not? You I mean, don't want soggy bread. Uh, dude, I don't know if I'm doing this right. It just made it flat. Three, two, one. There we go. Oh, oh, it's actually working. Oh, all right, doing the other side. Nice. All right, gonna make a sunny side up egg. Now it's time to add the iron. Oh, I wonder if I could cook it like this. Dude, dude it's low key cooking the egg up a little bit. Okay, I wonder what this button does. Whoa! And I'm not gonna press that button again. All right, All right. here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, dude, you're hear it sizzling. It smells, ugh, it smells burnt. Yo! Oh, look at that. Did it work? Dude, that did not work. Oh, it's like all caked on too. All right, it's past the toast test. The toast test works with the irons. I'm gonna get my eggs off of here. And if you ever use an iron, be very careful and never use it for the purposes that we're using it for. Wait, wait, wait. I got it. Balance got is it. on point. It. There I we go, okay? I got it. No, 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 no. This is just... not a sandwich. This is sunny side up. When have you steamed your sunny side up? All right, as you do that, I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs, so I'm just gonna put that over there. But first, I'm gonna try to make an omelet. So here we go. Egg. Oh, it's gonna be a very shelly omelet. This is taking way longer than I expected. Well, yeah, it's just cooking, bro. <laughs> Set this off to the side, and let's just add in a whole bunch of eggs. Well, we have a problem. I didn't use any Pam, so this is thoroughly stuck. Come on, Devin, what's the, the first thing you learn when cooking with an iron? You use Pam. I've never done this before, man. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, sign side up. You got dude, this. you're so close, dude. The suspense. Yes. Oh, yes. No way. Successfully made sign side up. Piece of bread. Bam. <laughs> gonna grab a bunch of cheese. Now I put this piece of bread on top like this. Nicely done. Now I'm gonna wrap this up in the tin foil it's like this. Oh, no. Dude, did you get it? I got you? it on my merch. No. All right, we know I'm gonna clear out the shells right now. Use some steam. Life hack, if you don't have a spatula, you can use your hands to make scrambled eggs. There's no way I'm eating that. Uh-uh. So here we go. Just gonna grab some cheese in here. Just sprinkle this in. I feel like an artist right now. Very pretty. I'm right, making the perfect batch of scrambled eggs. How does it feel? It feels kind of like slimy from the eggs, but then there's like this weird kind of rubbery texture from the cheese. All right, I'm gonna flip mine over and see how this works. All right, so here we go. Let's just uh, steam this thing up. Whoa, look at that, man. Here we go. Three, two, two. one. Oh. Can you hear it sizzling? Oh, it's working for sure. Dude, you hear that? Yep. Steam it. Ah! <laughs> you gotta give me some sort of warning. Ah! Uh. Oh, I even did it myself and it scared me. Dude, look at it. It's bubbling. It's bubbling. Uh. Dude, this is like low key actually working, and I did not think it would, bro. This yeah, is man. so cool. Now, the real question is how is this gonna taste? 
<laughs> that face sets it all. Not great. It's actually turning into scrambled eggs. Like, if you look at the consistency, like, it's turning into scrambled eggs, man. This is so cool. Oh, snap. All right, well, I'm going to be finishing this up. And at the end of the video, I will be eating my scrambled eggs. And we'll find out if this thing actually works. And if it tastes good. So stick around for that. And right now, we are on to the next one. You challenge us to turn a lemon into a spray bottle. So right now, let's go. Before we can stick the sprayer into the lemon, we need to tenderize the lemon to get the juices out. So here we go. Really you know, massage we, it. You I know? can almost like hear the juices. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sounds like the ocean in there, man. It is smelling super zesty in here, bro. Oh, most definitely, man. It's, it's kind of what I expected, though. My lemon is tenderized enough, and now it's time to cut off the top, and the DIY is almost done. This one's yep. super easy, but the real question is, is it going to work? All right, here we go. Time to stick it in. Ow! Oh, oh man, that hurt. Oh, my gosh. We'll be doing this in just a little bit, and right now, we're on to the next one. We got all the hacks, and now it's time to test them out to see if they actually work. Do not try this at home. Ready, Ready set, set go. go. Turn it on. Let's see if it works. Oh! oh dude. No way. This is crazy. Bro. Oh, like, okay, we should have like a much smaller quantity, I but look, you can see it in here. Dude, Dude. it totally worked. All right, here is the artwork, and it's time to reveal it. I think mine's gonna look amazing. What we have to do now is just peel all of this off. Three, Three two, two, one. Four. Super satisfying. Go for it. Okay. Oh! oh. Yeah. No, don't yeah, get that mic. Don't oh, get it. Don't get that mic, bro. This is sorry. so satisfying. Whoa. Oh. That looks so good. Nicely done. Oh, the Lego guy from like the Lego movie. Yeah. You get to comment down below who made better shaving cream art. We got the hand candles, and first of all, we gotta remove the gloves. Whoa, first of all, look on the inside, bro. This is like what? super fragile. Ta-da! They look oh. like little sausage fingers. Look at that. The thumb is the most difficult part, because if I can get, get, get off the thumb, no! <laughs> Did you break it? <laughs> Not yet, we're good. Just take it like this. Perfect, okay. I mean, yours looks really cool. We're gonna set this down, we're gonna yep. cut off the wicks because they're, they're too far away, so the candle would never get close to the fingers. Three, Three two, two, one. We're gonna start with the thumb first, here we go. I'm gonna thumb start is with on. this finger. Oh, no, we cut him too short. No, 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 there we go, my thumb's on, okay. Oh, come on, come on, there come, we on go. come on, you can do it. Yes. There we, hey! Oh, no, yours, yours right now, let me help you out, let me help you out. Oh, this thumb is stubborn. Yes! Yes! Dude, so this actually worked, and this is totally a complete works. win. Oh, oh, no, I blew what, up one of the what, fingers. What? All right, we've got the lemon sprayers, and we're gonna test them out. Yo, dude, I just thought about it. This is gonna spray out like this. So oh. if you miss your aim, you can hit your eye very easily. All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. Ah! What? Wait, wait, wait. Why it didn't it work. Your mind didn't work. Dude, what did you do differently? I don't know. I really didn't do anything different, I don't think. Yeah, well, maybe I did a little oh, bit different. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, I saw it. Oh, I saw it. There was a little bit that came out. No, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't work at all. Yes. So this actually worked, and right now we're on to the next one. So my scrambled eggs are cooked. We got a sunny side up egg. All right, here we go. Time to take our first little bit. So I'm gonna use my knife here, the very civilized manner. Ooh. Yo, mine's like weirdly stringy and gooey. Well, maybe it's actually the iron itself. Like maybe the iron did something goofy to it. This really worked. Yeah, it did. I just want to say this iron was brand new and only used for the cooking of this. And do not use an iron for cooking. It is not the way it's meant to be used. So uh, right now, three, two, two one. one. I don't want to do this. No, actually, it's the same. I don't know how to describe it. It's like gooey and gooey and disgusting. Next up, we got these orange bottles. Gotta very carefully unscrew the top. All right, here we go. Three, two, two one. That's it. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. oh. All right, I if mean, I squeeze it, more comes out. That's that's kind of interesting. Mine's kind of oh, no. leaking. No, the cap fell off of mine. But your cap is staying in? Yeah. Let me see if I just kind of like juice it like this. Oh. Mine's leaking though, but yeah. All right, well, this one was definitely a fail. I guess we're on to the next one. We've got the slime erasers, and now let's actually see if these work. What's the ideal shape, do you think, for this though? I don't know. It's like a needed eraser. A what? Like you need an eraser? <laughs> what? No. If you're going to go for like a thinner one, I think I'm just yeah. going to go for like, like a giant chunk of it. So, all right, all right here we go. Ready? Set, go. go! Oh! No way! It actually worked! Dude, it worked on the colored pencil too, bro! No way! It's not fully gone, but it is totally working! Oh my gosh! I cannot believe this worked! And Dude. comment down below what color eraser do you want to make? And right now we're on to the next one. Let's see if it turned purple! Three, two, one! Oh, oh my gosh! What? Why is it not purple? Wait, did I you grab, grab the wrong one? I grabbed the wrong watermelon. Yeah, let's go grab the right one. How but did you do that? It still tastes good. I've got the right melon, and dude, you can already tell it's getting colored on the inside. Dude, I know. I can't wait to see the inside of this, bro. The real question, though, is has it made its way all the way through the melon to color the whole thing? The best way to find out is to cut a little slice out of the side of it. I'm going to cut out the slice, and if you do this at home, be very careful yes. with using knives. I'm just going to put it right here. Oh, man. It's oh, a little bit stuck. I think I got it. I think I got it. I'm going to have like, more of like a watermelon square than I am actually a little slice of it. I got to be honest. All right, time to stick the craft sticks in it and see if these actually change colors, man. Do you got it? No. All right, here we go. The big reveal. Time to see if it actually changed colors. Ready, Ready set, go. go. Oh, Whoa. dude, it worked. 
I can't believe it. Like, dude, yeah, but the inside and everything, wow. dude. All right, then. Now, here's the real question, Debbie. Yeah? How does it taste? Oh, no. You should give it a taste, bro. So, like, just smell it. See how uh, it smells. Uh, it smells good? Cabbage. No, it's not like cabbage. Three, two, two one. one. That's it? Yeah. Ah, doesn't taste good? Not really. Kinda good, maybe the flavors are combining together, no? No. Well, you get to comment down below, what is your favorite food we should use in a life hack video? I'm gone. <laughs> We're gonna teach you a whole bunch of crazy life hacks that you can do when you're stuck at home. Everything from indoor ball pits, pool hacks, DIY blasters, and even delicious candy recipes. So right now, let's jump in. But before we jump into the ball pit, it's time to show you how to make a whole bunch of insane life hacks. And the first one we're teaching you is how to make a whole bunch of delicious candy treats. For this life hack, you challenge us to make a whole bunch of delicious edible treats yep. that you can easily make at home. I'm making a super simple DIY ice cream bar. All right, well, as you do that, it's time for me to make the delicious edible chocolate bowl for my ice cream. Delicious. Delicious. Right. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna take my balloon, gonna dip it in this chocolate air. Hopefully it doesn't just like pop my balloon. Look at that. <laughs> it looks like a little bowl cut. <laughs> You got it on us, bro. What are you talking about? Please pause for a second to look. He looked like a little dude with a bowl cut. It really did. He looked like us when we were yeah. younger. Yeah. All right. Well, we tried to clean up, but it didn't really work. Exactly. So, so I've got another <laughs> balloon here to try it again. Let's so, just... <laughs> are you trying to pop another one, dude? I'm just trying to check it out to make sure it's All right. good. And boom. So now it's time to go and take this. Put it in the fridge. Let it freeze. I'm gonna do this very quickly so it doesn't pop everywhere. Okay, bye. Oh, dude, not again. Wait, did it pop again? Really? Yes, it is everywhere, bro. This is even worse. Well, my DIY ice cream and bowl are freezing in the freezer. It's time for me to show you how to make a DIY waffle pizza. Nice, and I'm just doing this for another nine hours. I'm just off. kidding. Your hair looks really funky, Devin. Thank, thank you. Well, so you're, you're, don't, you don't touch my hair. You know the rules. You know the rules. Right, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious waffle pizza when Devin stops messing around yeah, so and I, distracting me. But, what are you doing? I'm, I'm moving like, dough. This is hard to concentrate, dude. Yeah, I'm having trouble as well. Okay, sorry. So then I have some heavy whipping cream. This will be like the ice cream in the inside. All right, okay. That. I can't even. <laughs> you are bored. So I'm gonna put this popsicle stick in here and then stick this thing in okay. the freezer. Don't worry, just kneading out my dough right. right over here. It's gonna smack this. I'm gonna borrow your hammer for a moment if you what? don't mind. No, wait, yes, of course. It's family hammer, but, Devin. No, the family you hammer. You will not. It's a family it's hammer. It's like Thor's hammer to me, bro. Check this out. When I wield it, Oh, look at that! Wait a sec. It gets cooler! It doesn't do that for me. No, see, the thing is, I was chosen by Valhalla. If you really think you're worthy of wielding the hammer, uh -huh. Devin, take it at your own risk. All right, well, I know I'm worthy, so here, here we, we go. go. Three, go. two, one, go for it. Yes! No I way. am the worthy brother! No! Oh, man! Okay, so... I knew it! He was not worthy! So as my ice cream stuff freezes in the freezer, I am going to make my next burrito hack. Here we go. I've got my squares of dough over here, which are going to act as the pizza waffles. Thank you. Just going to move that off to the side there. Oh, you know, that's actually a great idea. I can actually take some of Devin's scrambled eggs and use it as a bit of a glaze on the top of my dough. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You give me what? ingredients, bro. I make a chef's I masterpiece. I didn't give them to you. I just put them there. You place them right here, man. This no. is my space. Next up, time to open up a giant can of tomatoes. <laughs> that left a dent here in the cutting board. Right. Here we go. It's oh. going to, uh, yep. You're actually using a can opener. Colin. I am, Devin. I wow. become a civilized dude. Putting my eggs on here, right. just like that. It's gonna go. I think I'm doing it. Perfect. All right. So this next Wait. part, I gotta go Hold a little up. bit quicker because there's a lot of tomato sauce in there, as you can clearly see. So I what? don't remember what I need to put on this tortilla. Fleet. Okay, um, Devin. Come on. Speed is of the essence, Devin. I'm. What? what? I don't know what, what do you to do. It. Put I'm, the tortilla on the top. I don't know now. It's That's now. how it works. Yes. Yeah. So here we go. It's gonna take a bit of cheese, but pop a bit of cheese on the top, just like this. In hindsight, I don't think this is really a big enough piece. Of dough, We're gonna place the top down. That's the sound of pizza. We're gonna have an issue here, bro. Yeah, so here we go. What? What? You're looking like a moat. Well, I think we're gonna have to like suck up some of the, how is some this of the a, juice. How's, oh, 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 that's not nice. Oh, why is it so runny? It's tomato juice. People drink. I'm it's like a reverse burrito, bro. The what? It's like a reverse burrito. Oh no, I heard you. I just I don't understand it. It's like a <laughs> oh. Oh. three, two, two one. one. It's like a pancake flip. <sighs> yes. So okay. now I'm gonna put in some of this ham. That ham looks whack. It's speaking of it's delicious ham. stuff, looking stuff. Oh! I did kind of burn it. Oh, that bottom is toasted. Yeah. You know what? I think our mom and dad will probably like this. Exactly. They have made several burned items for me and had no issue with it. <laughs> oh, roasted. All right. Now it's time to finally take the ice cream out. Out of its wrapper Ooh. here. Oh, oh, wait a second. It's 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 still a little bit like, like it's a like, little melted. Yo, oh. this is gonna be 
so tasty. So, oh, holy what cow, are you like doing? a piece just flew off and like, did you just really just pop that down? I'm sorry, well, I thought if I scared you enough, you might like slip it and like, I got to take a bite of it. No, definitely not. Dipping it in the chocolate. Now I just gotta, oh, I don't want those sprinkles. I want these sprinkles. They're like uh, unicorn sprinkles. So this is the moment of truth. Will the homemade ice cream actually be like ice cream? Oh, whoa, look at that. So I'm gonna pop this in the freezer one last time and it's time to make some edible delicious spoons. All right, now it's time to show you how to make the actual edible dirt. So you have to take some chocolate mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> they have a mushroom shape. No, they don't. Yes, they do. That's a, that's a muffin. It's time for me to very expertly cook my marshmallow and melt it. Oh, okay. Well. <gasps> <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, what is happening? happening? It's shedding its outer layer. It's like a snake. Whoa. Oh, oh, no way. Oh. All right, so now for my worms, I actually made some hot chocolate right here. And oh, you hey, got, got some, some hot chocolate over here. All right, well, I guess time to enjoy some delicious hot oh, chocolate. I, uh, I actually need this, Collins. What? Yeah, yeah. So, that's mine. No, but I, I, I know. But I'm well, taking hey, yours. No, 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 no. What? I actually need both. Hey, oh, so I have to make edible worms, dude. All right, well, here we go. I've got some uh, some Starburst on a stick. The stick's on fire. What are you it's doing just this the for? stick that's on fire. What are you doing this for? Go away, stick. Oh, that's a piece of the stick. That's a piece of the stick. Oh, no, man. Oh, no. What are you don't doing? Don't go, don't go. No, don't touch it. All right, so next up, I got a siphon here. Time to fill it with whipped cream, and this is the last part of the delicacy. Whoa, dude. That took a little bit too much energy, man. What just happened? Holy cow. I got it on me. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll try it over here with this one here. <laughs> Sorry, don't. I think it got off me. I don't have that good. It, it means yeah, it's on my hair. I have to fill up these straws with this gelatin hot cocoa. So I got the worms out of the cup. Now I'm gonna try to extract them from the straws. All of the DIY foods are fully done, and yep. I've gotta say, I'm blown away by how these things turned out. So here is the big reveal. Three. Two, oh wait, a five to get subscribed challenge. We want to see if you can subscribe to the channel and turn on the channel post notifications in five seconds. You ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, done. If you were able to do that, comment down below, Keeper Squad, right now. Three, two, one, ta-da! Look at yeah. these masterpieces, man. You get to comment down below which one looks the most delicious, and we'll be eating all of them at the end of the video. You challenge us to make some insane DIY shooters like yep. this. Check it out. Here oh, we go. Ready? Yeah, me. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Well, right now, let's uh, let's make some blasters. So I'm starting off by making a high-pressured water gun. And I'm making a soda can spy gun. So basically the way it works, I've got a CO2 cartridge here. I'm gonna uh -huh. pop it on the back of the water gun and okay. hopefully it's gonna blast the water off. First, I gotta test to make sure that a CO2 can is actually gonna make the water go everywhere. All right, I've got some safety gloves on. Do not try this at home. Yep. Here we go. Three, two, one. See, okay, there we go. Whoa. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. It's going. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. Whoa! Holy cow, this is gonna go crazy the water, bro. Whoa! Holy cow, where'd... Whoa! I think that's a positive test so You're far. You're dripping so. everywhere. I'm sorry, I mean, it's, yeah. just, it's just water. So oh. now I just need to cut my Coca-Cola can in half. What? Go for it. Actually, I should probably do this outside. It's oh, gonna yeah, get yeah, very messy, so okay, let cool. me do that. All right, so I've got my soda can here. I'm just gonna place it down like this, and now I need to cut it very precisely in the middle. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, well, that totally did not work. But don't tell Collins, because I'm actually going to grab another can, use some normal scissors, but I wanted to think I used this axe, so don't tell him. All right, I used the axe to cut the Coca-Cola can. What? <laughs> you used an axe to do that. I did, yes. I've used an axe before to slice open a Coca-Cola uh -huh. can, Devin. It did not turn out like that. I think you were just doing it wrong, because uh, this is this is how I did it. Here, hold this for one second. What? Now yeah. you're asking me to help I you? I need your help, so here, okay, hold this fine, for a second. Fine. And this time, we are going to use a balloon. You would think that if I poke the balloon, it's going to pop, but check yeah. it out. Oh! Okay, there we go. Look at this. Boom! Okay. Trick! Give yeah. me the gun! Give okay, me the gun! Okay, okay, okay. And it's, it looks like frozen water. There's a frozen water trick. Because if you look over there, it doesn't look like it's moving at all, right? It does, though, a lot. Actually. Not at the front end. Boom! And just like that, it's okay, not, there we go. It's not a full pre sweet. Wow. Okay, my feet are stuck. Okay, yep, I ran out of I ran out of capacity. The water gun is all filled up. And the last thing I got to do is attach the CO2 container over here, and that's oh. gonna be a high pressured water gun. So all right. Here we well, go. as you do that, I have made the outside of my spy gun, but now I'm gonna make the inside. All right. The structure is built. Yo, tonight. check out what I found, bro. A Nerf gun. No, it's not a Nerf <laughs> Nerf gun. Nerf gun. <laughs> it looks like a Nerf gun. So is it Boom, all brand? Check that out. Oh, it's oh. a Nerf gun. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what, Devin? You're right, what what you mean? Mean? Oh. Oh. Dude. Wait. What what is is it's a North Gun portal. All right, here we go. Watch, here we go. Watch, watch. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Check it out. Time okay. to test it out. You ready? Right. Here we go. Three, okay. two, one. Yo! Whoa! That is awesome. But here's a real question, okay, man. Yeah. Will it work uh, with a water oh, balloon? Here we go. Three, two, one. No! Bro! Yo! 
yeah, that worked. Are you kidding me? See, then the thing about portals is they're unpredictable. Like I, I am didn't so know for a fact if that would work, but I'm very happy it did. <laughs> well, I just gotta dry off a little bit and then finish up my spy gun here. Just gotta make the hydraulic system and the blaster point, and then it'll be all done. The DIY blasters are all finished. The question yes. is, will they be able to fire accurate shots? I think they will, True. but here is the big reveal. Three. Two, one, turn Ta up! Look wow. at these, man! Wow, we did such a good job. We'll be firing them at the end of the video. You challenge us to turn our house into an indoor amusement park with thousands of ball pit balls yep. in the stair slide. So right now, let's go! Whoa! Yeah, this is very fun. I'm yes, having a blast. <laughs> Alright, so at this point, I think it is time for us to get the slide ready. That's the next thing we're going to do. We're going to yes. be sliding down all the way here into the ball pit. So right now, let's go make the slide. Or looks like I'm making the slide by myself. Psych, I ain't making no slide. Woof. We are outside. It's time to show you how to make an epic stair slide. But as you can tell, we're in some pretty cool suits Whoa. right now. Yeah. And the reason is because we're not making basic stair uh -uh. slides. We're making beautiful pieces of art. To paint my part of the stair slide, I've got some water balloons over here that I filled with a whole bunch of paint. Three, two, one. Oh, oh snap! I think I'm going to start with a rainbow. So, Colin, can you hold this real quick? Sure, I will Thank hold your mouth for you. Okay. Okay. With okay. one finger only. The first color I'm going to grab is going to be red here. Okay. And I'm just going to do a nice pour like that. There, perfect. How long do we have to hold this for? Because I'm getting, I'm getting Just bored. a little bit longer, Colin. Just a little this bit longer. a long time. And we're done. All right, so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to swirl it. I don't understand it. Like, you know me. I'm all about that instant gratification, man. Wow. Like, if it's not happening right now, I'm not happy. Oh, dude, no, no, we got it on the camera. Just look. Uh -oh. Hold on, look at mine. I can't, I can't. Mine. Dude, you're missing it. I got it on the camera. What? Look at that. What? Oh, oh. are you kidding? Time for circle number two. Yep. Wait, so you're doing how many of these? I'm doing six. <laughs> I'm over here popping balloons, man, and you're just taking forever. Mine's more relaxing, you know? Yours is very uh, energetic. Oh. I got my exposed ankle. Oh, are you the kidding? only part of me that was fully exposed. All right, I fanned it out. Now I have to grab some colors and ta da! Yeah. Look at that. Yep. I just uh, don't feel comfortable with that. How about this? How about we high five it? No. We high five it. No. In the truth. Three, two, one. Ah. <laughs> That's such a stupid idea. What was I thinking? I don't know. That's what I said. All right, all right, so I just gotta fan out the mop here. This one here, oh, I forgot, I have a slingshot. See, I got cool stuff I haven't even used yet. I don't know how a slingshot works. Right, there we go, oh, boom, there we go, boom. Figuring it out on the fly. Three, two, one, yeah, yeah. Oh. Shot. That was hilarious. Oh, 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 oh. I need to lock that one off. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Right. I'm gonna have to like just finish this one out like this. <laughs> Alright, I just have to do a couple more of these and our slides will be done and then it's time to fill it up with ball pit balls. Ooh, finishing up my art. There we go. Just a little penguin slide. Are you so. kidding? It looks so good, dude. Yeah, it looks even better now. Does it? Oh, does it? Does it? <laughs> now is the time to put the finishing touches on them, let them dry, and then it's time to fill it up with ball pit balls. It's the final stretch. Time to fill up the rest of the ball pit yes. balls, install the slides, and we'll be ready to have some fun. We've got the slide, yep. now it's time to attach them to the staircase that way we can slide down into this glorious ball pit. Alright, here we go. Ready? Take that, take that. Alright, here we go. You're the one that's taking it. Alright, here we go. Boom! We didn't even get it in place, you said boom. Pull it out. Pull it like when Mission Impossible's like shimmy down the side over here. Watch out for the big things. Alright, here we go. Oh, cool. Alright, cool. So next up, all we gotta do is just take this thing in place and uh, probably reinforce it a little bit. Yep. And then we'll be good to go. Yeah! Devin. We lost him. Where is your other? Where are you? All right, so now it is time to taste all of our delicious oh, yes. homemade DIY foods. And again, you can easily make these at home as well with just a few simple ingredients. So the first one we're going to start off with is our homemade ice cream bars over here. Oh, I cannot wait. It's actually like surprisingly heavy. I, I didn't it expect is. it to be so heavy. It's got value. Exactly. Couldn't agree more. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Ah. These are like frozen. Holy cow. Mmm, bro. I'm having, I'm having trouble. Do the bottom, do the bottom. Wow. Whoa. A, your face is like, jeez, they're red and blue. 
<laughs> but this right here is really good. I got it right 10 out of 10 recommend. Next up, we got this little marshmallow. Oh, no, no, the marshmallow <laughs> cups first. We're, okay, yeah. Let's start on the little bit sweeter side before we get to my savory waffle or, pizza. Or the burnt side, maybe? Yeah, these are definitely a little bit burnt. So how about this? You want to take this one here? Uh, you touched it. So okay, so yeah. One. Respect that. I don't know how this could go wrong. I think there's a lot of ways it could go wrong. Cheers. But, yep, cheers. It might have uh, the, the taste of flames. So right, here we, we go. go. Three, Three, two, two one. Whoa. Whoa! That's the game changer. That is really good. It's so fruity oh. and like it mixed with the whipped cream. Wow. It with the marshmallow! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Wow! Next up, how about this? We'll eat two at the same time. How about your foamed and frothed coffee, okay. as well as this pot of dirt. I'll take this one. Yeah, I'll take the pot of dirt. I'll go first, I'll take a bite of mine, then we okay. go for yours. Let's just take this, kind of get a little scoop in here like that. Oh boy, get some wormy dirt. So here we go, you ready? Three, two, two one. How is it? Oh, okay, that was a little weird. I really do want to try one of these more. Oh, worms. that's so good, man. That is so good. Yeah, that's really good. These two so far have been the clear winners, yeah. but this looks like it could have a pretty strong All right, chance, decided man. to try this. Are you going to like drink some of it? Or get yes. Some, are you going to take a bite out of it and try to like, drink at the same time? I'm going to do both. You ready for this? Here yep. we go. Three, two, two one. What? <laughs> Are you good? You had like a small spasm. The milk just came rushing in, so like that's why. Blood. I, yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna try the Jello cup now. Okay, yeah, take a bite. Oh, it's all over your face. Oh man, that's more than a mustache. That's like connected from your nose to your mustache. Oh, it's not the greatest, but it, it's pretty good. You guys still on your nose. Yeah. You know? How about this? Can I take what? a bite out of the side since you go didn't? For it. So if you would mind holding this, okay. this is to make sure that when I bite into it and the milk goes everywhere, it doesn't go all over our delicious uneaten foods. All right, here we go. Three, right. two, two, one. Oh, oh, yeah, nice. How is it? Milky. Yeah, it, it really just tastes like milk, doesn't it? And milk and coffee. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next up, it is time for the delicious waffle pizza. Or the yeah, totally burnt I, waffle I probably pizza. shouldn't prejudge it with saying it's delicious yes. because we don't actually know if it's gonna be delicious or not at this point. Yeah, you wanna set the expectations very low for this one. So I think we'll slice it in half like this. We'll kind of eat like a half of the pie, in this case, half of the square. Cheers, Cheers. my dude. All right, here Three, we go. Three, two, oh, we start what? with the right. Three, seven, 100. All right, here we go. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Very different than the coffee one. Huh. You know what? Pretty good. I well, feel like... Part, that'd I be pretty like, good. What do you feel? I feel like I want to go to the top without being interrupted. It's just kind of mediocre across the board. That's like kind it, of true. It's a little soggy, too. So far, it's the first fail one we've had, so hopefully the next one are still better. So how about this? So I think we should go for the omelet burrito first, and then okay. we'll take the Skittles popcorn next. Do you want to grab a half? Just just grab just, it. Okay, like a wish bag of war? Yeah. <laughs> All right, turn right, Oh, wait, there's, oh, there's ham on the inside? Yes, there is. Here All right, ready? Three, two, one. Mmm. I like that. It's different than all the sweet stuff, but it is good. Yeah, it's not bad, I thought. It's definitely not a zero. <laughs> you know, if I was going for a burrito, I'd probably have that as one of my options. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. All right, now it's time for the Skittles popcorn. And I'm very excited about the Skittles popcorn, yes. man. So I'm just gonna take Go a big kind of chunk over here like this. Ooh, ooh, look this at that. Looks fantastic. This looks so good. It literally all you need is like corn and Skittles and you can make Skittles popcorn, yeah. so. All right, wait, you ready? Corn, you mean, you mean kernels. All right, so all right, here, here we, we go. go. You ready? Three, two, two one. Whoa. The oh, crunch, man. Oh, yeah. It's good. The crunch. Wow. Actually, I, I don't that. know. It's kicking in and it's not nice. Who would have thought, man? Oh, that was great. It's got a whack aftertaste. It really does. It's got a whack aftertaste. It's time for us to eat our final food. This delicious ice. Well, again, I Wait can't say second. it's delicious. Wait a second. What? This actually deteriorated. I what? mean, look at this. It's, it's got sad and soggy. It's homemade ice cream, Devin. And it's been soggy sitting out and we've been eating the rest of it. So again, yes. these are edible spoons. So how cool is that? You get edible ice cream with edible spoons and an edible bowl. Wow. It's just so, so many edible things. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna take a kind of take a scoop. Yeah, <laughs> scoop to do it. That too, scoop to do. We're gonna take a bite of the ice cream yes. and a bite of the spoon, and then last but not least, gonna sink my teeth into that nice bowl. You ready? Here we go. Three, Three two, one. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's so fruity. Mm. This one gets better. This Whoa! One, wow. Whoa! Holy! <laughs> oh, the bowl's broken. <laughs> you got brain freeze. I'm assuming. <laughs> oh, and as an extra bonus, I actually made an edible baby Yoda head. So let's see how it tastes. No, no, you, you can't eat baby Yoda. What? Why? Because it's baby Yoda. Okay, fine. We'll just look at him then. It is time to test out our DIY blast. Yep. We have a whole bunch of targets set up over here. Each one is gonna be worth a different amount of points, but it's all gonna yes. come down to accuracy. All right, now it's time for my water gun. This thing is supercharged. Here we go. Oh, dude! Oh, 
Did you blow up the water? <laughs> I think I blew up the water gun. That scared me so bad. How do you think I felt? I was holding it. I don't know if that's a bust or if that's a win, to be honest. It's a bust, literally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Technically. I think you did a good job with this. I think it's probably a seven, though, because it yeah. didn't pop any didn't, of those. Didn't, wasn't super accurate. Didn't, didn't so, yeah. quite pop it, man. Yeah. All right, so for the red hot pencil shooter, yes. want to pick that up first. I got Three, it. Three, two, two one. one. So this year, this is the final one. This is what it all comes down to. Now yep. it's time to raise it up. Yep. Oh, all right. Three, two, one. Go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, is it going? I'm trying. It's so close. Oh. Yeah. You got it. You, you made contact. I, I, I hit it. You know what? I'm not walking away from this. Not popping this up. So here we go. Ah, oh, that's cool. what should have happened. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, so there's a little yes. bit of a fail on that one. Right now we're on to the next one. All the ball pit balls yep. are set up, and now it is finally time to ride down the slide, jump in, and go crazy. So now let's do it, bro. Alright, let's do it. Wait, what are we doing, man? So here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to ride the slide Why into the ball pit. Why do you get to go first? Not the older brother. Alright, fine. <laughs> I'm so nervous, bro. I'm so nervous. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go for it. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! That did not go according to plan. And I think I need to put my socks back on when I get up there. Three, two, one. Woo! Yo, that's awesome. Dude, I got to try this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Woo! Dude, into it, man. Throw. Three, two, two one. one. Woo! Dude, you got it covered. Oh, crazy, man. Wait, let's try sliding together. That's, yeah, let's try it. We're both going down together at the right. same time. Let's do it. Here Pinky we go. Promise? Break, Pinky promise. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. Are you kidding me, bro? I've got another brilliant idea, Devin. Yeah. Here, take a side. Okay, yeah. It's with the yeet oh, blanket yeah. right here. It's so soft. Dude, this is the yeet blanket, so we're gonna yeet these balls. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's here go. Like this. You ready? Three, go. three, two, two one. That's so awesome. All right, the slide has been taken down and it is now time for the big oh, jump. Yes. Now right. I swim my way over to you. You, you yeah. first. You first. All right, yep, yep, yep. All right, here right, we go. go. So the thing is, where should I jump from, man? It's a lot higher than you'd expect. And especially when you get up here, you're like, yo, there is only one place to jump. You think it's here? And that's from the top. Oh, yep. man. Do not tread this at home. We are yep. working with professionals. We have professional grade crash pads down here. Oh, so yeah. again, do not try this at Why home. Not? All right, so I think we're going to have to kind of just, just go for it. Like, I got, I got my friend Duck here for encouragement. So right now, let's jump in. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, Holy cow! Good? That was amazing! Oh my Woo! god! Holy cow! Dude, that was fun! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to go on the outside of the banister here. Oh, And jump yeah. in. And okay. again, do not try this at home. This definitely looks a lot higher from up here, dude. All right, here we go. Three. Two, one, woo! Oh, yeah! I gotta give that one a shot. The hang time was insane. It looks a lot higher, right? Yeah, it definitely feels way different, man. Three, two, two one, one, woo! <laughs> No that way! So Dude, good job! Thank you, man! That was great! No, all right. and tricks and everything. I feel like we can do this all day. You challenge us to do the ultimate egg drop test, but we're using ostrich eggs. These things yep. are massive, so right now, let's figure out how we protect these eggs. I'm using a giant squishy as the first layer what? of protection for my egg right here. Yeah, I thought I'd use a watermelon as like an extra layer of protection. Now it's time to take a look at the inside. Here we go. Three, two, two one. That it is melts so, so perfectly. Dude, if you add too many rubber bands, you'll make the watermelon blow up. Nope, don't think so. So here we go. We're gonna take the egg, gonna see if it fits. Yes! Like a glove. Like a glove. All right, well, here go. we go. Oh! What just happened? I told you that was what's gonna happen! <laughs> It's like dripping, bro. I warned you, Devin. Now it's time to turn this thing over, and I'm going to be coating this in gallium, which is liquid metal. It's going to add a metal coating what? to it. All right, time to put on the safety glasses. Do not try this at home. Three, two, one. Oh, oh you can hear it sizzling. What? This looks nuts. That's insane. And listen to it, man. This is like a chromed out Mario. I think it's going to add a really nice protective layer to my squishy. So for this next step, I'm going to be using Ooblex. Oh, that's... Hey, no, 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 no
man. Put it down, put it down, put no, it down. No, but dude, look at that, man. That is absolutely bro. insane, bro. That is not good. The heat must have, like, cracked it open. Oh, yeah. I can feel it turning into oobleck already. Got my metal squishy, and now it's time to put an instant glue shell around it. All right, so I gotta add my chia seeds next, so I'm gonna add these. Devin, this is about to smell real bad, so oh. we're gonna pop these masks on. All right, here we go. Stay okay, still, yep, Devin. Here yep, we yep. go. It's mm -hmm. gonna pop this on just like this. I'm sorry. I'm trying to you're figure this out. You're yelling in my ear, though. All right, there we go. Boom. All right, yours right. is on. Yeah, that's really tight and secure. All right, here we go. Three. Two, one. Oh, oh look at that. that no way. Dude. No, no way. way. On earth. This is insane. This is nuts. This is crazy. That's but awesome. Honestly, <laughs> Dude. I'm making some indestructible slime. We're starting off with the oh. indestructible shaving cream mount. What are you doing? Making a shaving cream fortress? Yes, exactly, Devin. I'm making slime in a brand new way. Dude. I am lining the inside of my melon with cement. Next, I'm going to add some stuff flow in. I really uh -huh. hope that the shaving cream is going to stop this what stuff. What exactly are you trying to I'm do? I'm trying to make some slime, Devin. Here we wow, go. I'm going to mix it all in like this. I really hope it starts coming together. Uh oh, stop flow. No, 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 oh, no, no, oh, no. Stop no. flow. Stop. Stop flow. Stop. This is really messy. Yo, look at this. Whoa. Dude. Dude, I that gotta got set red it down. so fast, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, the concrete watermelons are done. Now it's time to make a nest. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. And you're surprised by this? I'm just trying to do my best. I've learned from my whoa, mistakes. Dude, oh my gosh, I've got a bucket of slime. Because this next part takes a lot of concentration. Uh -huh. I need you to contain yourself. All right, so you take the ice mold just like this, and you want to just go across very quickly oh like this. Oh my gosh. Next, up, we're going to get some Orbeez in here. So let's see. We're just going to pick up a whole bunch of Orbeez like this, and then just uh, sprinkle them in like that. All right, so spun a couple more webs. What? I'm sorry. And I made a pretty nice nest. Yeah, that right. looks really good, actually. Yeah, it really does. As you do that, it's time for me to lift out my egg here and coat this thing in slime. Ah, it's soggy! It's That's nasty. So here we go. Gonna put it in oh. like this and then it's gonna kind of like cover it from the front. So everyone say goodbye to my very well protected egg. Let it just fall down and perfectly coat my egg just like this. What do you, what is that? I'm using flex tape. Time to seal it in a bag. <laughs> Why? You'll see. Here we go. Yep, we're gonna lift we go. this up yep, and I'll, on the counter we're gonna drop it in. You ready? Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Damn yeah, it. I got you. Come on. I got you. I it got can you. feel it cracking. What You're you breaking mean? the structure of no, it, Devin. I got you. I got no, you. you are not. You're overflowing. Yeah, that's because you didn't Why hold it right. You did this to yourself. What do you mean? And to me. My I need gosh. more flex tape, bro. Yeah, I need more help. Help me. So here we go. I'm just going to put the pump on here. Okay. Just I got to reach kind of like, oh, dude, it's working. That looks terrible. Yeah, it looks pretty funky, man. I got to say, man. I don't think it's your, uh, not your most pleasing work. I'll give no. you that. Here we go. Screw this on. And all right. Got a few finishing touches to add to mine. And then it's time to find out if this can really protect my egg. These things turned out crazy, man. Like yeah, yours, cool. very interesting. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of elements on it. Mine, though, I think definitely has a big chance of winning yeah. this. So here's the big reveal. Three, two, one. Ta-da, man. What is that, bro? How the tables have turned. I know. You get to comment down below whose egg do you think will survive the drop. We'll be testing it and finding out the winner at the end of the video. You challenge us to the ultimate art challenge, but with a whole bunch of school hacks. So let's go. For my art piece, I'm making an insane item from Fortnite. And for mine, I'm making an Angry Birds mosaic. I'm using acetone to melt a whole bunch of styrofoam in a very sticky paste. And I'm using liquid nitrogen to freeze some rubber duct and then explode them. Check it out. Oh! What on earth? I'm a little scared this right hasn't now. This happened before. Let's do this. Here we go. We're going to dump the whole bucket into mine. We can melt it down from the top as well. Here we Dude. go. Boom. Like that. Check it out. Whoa. All right. Now it's time to dump them all. Do all right. not try yeah. this at home. Three, two, one. Oh. That is the worst rubber ducky bag oh. I have ever no. seen. Wow. They're pump. popping off. What is going like on, man? It's like fireworks on 4th of July. I know, except with rubber duckies. Wow. I've never seen this before, man. <laughs> oh! The goo is starting to come together, so right now I'm going to use a styrofoam cup to add even more. So here we go. Oh. I'm going to dip it in a little bit and check this out. Oh, look what? at that. You're going to see it like decomposing and deconstructing in front of your eyes, Dude. man. Now the moment of truth, time to see if the goo is actually working. So here we go. Yo, Whoa. look at that. Now it's time to smash these things up. Dude, if they were already like popping off and bursting, what's going to happen when you smash it? Yo, the goo is all Whoa. done. Oh. This stuff is wild. All right, just gonna scoop a couple out, just oh, like this. Man. They are steaming, man. Three, two, one. Oh! I, I heard this one. I'm trying to do both at the same time. All right, yo, why are they to squeaking? Them. I don't, well, because they're rubber duckies. That's what duckies do, Devin. I know, but they're frozen. All right, go for another one. Oh Three, man, here we go. Two, I'm sorry, one. guys. Oh! 
Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> wait a minute! I have no idea what this has to do with art, but I really hope it's gonna help you make a great piece, man. Oh, you'll man. see. Next up, I have a life hack with this iron and pastel. Well, as you do that, I've got a roller blade here. This, oh, is, uh, this is not mine. Oh, 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 okay, bigger chunks coming down. Right, I've got the sketch out of my mosaic right Yo, here. Yo, that looks awesome. Just gonna place it down like this. Oh, oh, yes! Dude, that is awesome! This would have taken so long without this. All right, well, the roller skate is done. Again, this is gonna act as the base of my Fortnite item. Next up, I'm making squishy paint for my pigs. I am making a crazy unicorn horn. Ready, set, set go. go! Just gonna use some support here. Gotta be very careful. I have no okay. clue what's about to happen. Whoa! It's working, dude. I gotta stay so still right now. Okay. It's like the instant water, dude. Holy it cow! Ice. Wow. It's building up, bro. It's like you're making a candle from scratch. It's turning into a real unicorn horn, bro. This literally looks like magic right now. There you have it. A wow. literal unicorn horn made with actual magic. I got a bigger bowl because I like it. Well, as you do that, I've got a whole bunch of styrofoam here, and it's time for me to carve out the main piece of my art, Devin. Yeah, Are you, you distracted could... at all? Yeah, if you could stop doing that in the background, that would be nice. Three, two, two one. Whoa. Oh, snap. Boom. All right, there Good we go. For bowl number three. Okay, got it. I got it. Got it. Bowl number one off to the side. I okay. mean, that pretty much worked. All right, now it's finally time to mix up the colors. Right, let's see if I can remove this piece right here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, whoa. Dude, it's starting to come together, man. Whoa. You're super good with that tool. Thank you, man. Yeah, I found my true art passion. All right, got my placemat cleared. Just gonna kinda <laughs> just gonna pop that in right over here. I am here. out of room. Start. I've got some clay here to fill out the head. Now I got a couple more colors to fill in. To extract the color from a crayon, we're gonna do it in a very unique way. We're gonna use a hair straightener right here or a curler. I don't know. It's just something to your hair. So here we go. We're just gonna melt a crayon on it and drip it onto this little sponge. Oh man, look at that. It just Whoa. melts down. So here we go. All right, first step for me though is laying down the glue. Dude, it melts so quickly on this thing. Man, did you just line the whole thing like this? I've got the melted crayon, so right now, time to do a little swipe on here. You ready? Here we go. Uh -huh. Three, two, two one. Oh, oh wait, hold on, wait, hold on. wait, where are you doing I'm that? I'm swiping it right here, man. There we go. A rainbow, Devin. Isn't okay. it clear? It's a rainbow? Yeah. This is my electric lawn applicator. So I'm going to pour some of this lawn into here. There's an electrical current that runs through this. You uh -huh. can think of this nail as a lightning pole, and it conducts the current through... <laughs> what? I thought the lady's going to strike us. No, no, no. It conducts the electricity through the glue here. I just have to kind of shake it around. So you're yep. like adding grass to it. Now it's time to create the electrical reaction. I don't know what to do All with right. my hands, man. What I'm kind of scared. Are you sure this isn't going to create like electricity everywhere or anything? No. No, I'm not. Three, two, one. Oh, oh man. Whoa. Look at that. It's like hopping around. Dude, I know the little piece are like jumping all up in the air. It's like an alien attack, man. This is like a spaceship just dragging up a whole bunch of the grass. Right now, it's time for us to put the finishing touches on our art piece. These things are going to look amazing. The art pieces are done, and these things look absolutely crazy. So yep. here's the big reveal. Three, two, one. One, ta -da! Look at wow. this thing, man, and look These at that. These are crazy. Yeah, so you get to comment Dude. down below whose art piece is better. You challenge us to make the ultimate school lunch hack with macaroni and cheese and pizza, so let's go. I'm kicking off and making the cheese for my pizza, so here we go, just gonna nice. suck it up and like I'm this. I'm making the cheese for my mac and cheese. I'm turning it into a cheese powder. Whoa, dude, look, it's like, it's kind of like undulating on here, man. Yo, this is insane. Dude, you're not doing it right. This is how you do it. Just go oh, like this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then just, see, look at that. Like you go this. powderizing midair. That's how you do it, Devin. Yo, wait a minute, dude. Look at this. My cheese is coming together. From the front, it looks like delicious cheese. Uh -huh. But from the back, it looks like a frosty paradise. For layer number two, we're going to be using this thing over here. So let's just, uh, whoa. So let's see. We're just going to pour some of this in. Three, two, one. Oh. Dude, it looks like a shower of cheese. Oh, God, you imagine a world with a shower of cheese. Hey, hey, pretty it's dirty, dripping. Pretty it's dripping. It's dripping. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Suck what, it up. What, 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 what? Suck it up. And Shoot it out, suck it up, and oh my gosh. All right, goldfish are done. Now I'm gonna add it to this bowl. So I think it'd be super cool to spray my cheese onto my noodles. I'm gonna use some water to test it out. How are you doing? I do it. Wait, 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 wait. Just what? do it on my dry ice. See if it works. Oh! Yeah! That's, it totally works. That's, just, that's water. That is water. That what is do you mean? water. I feel like, like this is like my broom broom you're machine. You're gonna soak our whole room. It's like when you're in space and you need to get propelled. You're like, psh, 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 you a know? broom broom machine? I can see the astronauts be like, this is not Houston Roger. I can't find my broom broom machine. Oh, Houston. It's right here. I'm gonna place this right over here. Hopefully it does not melt. And next up, we've got my quesadilla. Uh -huh. Or I mean pizza crust. Wait, that's a paper towel, Carlos. I forgot what I'm doing. Wait, yeah. you're actually filling it up with cheese. Well, yeah, it's gonna be the best way to add it to my macaroni. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna use this right here to suck up some pasta juice like uh -huh. this. And yep. then just kind of like sprinkle on the inside like that. This is sweet pizza. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, okay then. Didn't think that through. I got my cheese prepared and now it's time to spray it on my noodle. All right, here we go. Three. Two, oh, wait, wait. three second like challenge. We want to see if you can like this video in three seconds. You ready? Here we go. Three, three two, two, one, done. Three, 
two, two one. Oh! oh! Absolutely blasting it, dude. Let me this to protect me, man. Dude, it's actually working, though. It is. All right, now I'm making my next cheese filling, but I'm going to do it in a really rapid fashion. I'm using sodium citrate to speed up the process. All right, I'm making my own relish with some pickles here. Dude, what? if you put your hand in here, you get a pickle hand. Pickle hands, Devin, legitimate what? pickle hands. Are you kidding me? Oh, I lost a pickle finger. Ah! Oh, it's falling ah! apart. I don't know. You really do love pickles, don't you? I love pickles. All right, you know this is done when it turns into a slime consistency. It looks like an alien carcass right here, man. Area right. 51, watch out. This is what you're gonna find in it, man. Dude, oh the my cheese gosh. filling is done. Now it's time to make the ravioli. All right, take this dough, put it over the top of the ice cube maker. All right, here we go. It's gonna add in a little bit of onions right here. And last up, we got some corn starch. Three, two, one. Whoa. Here we go. Okay, yeah, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Okay, yeah. And done. Okay, there we go. Wow. My relish is all finished up. And now it's time to add it to my pizza. That's right. I'm gonna have a relish stuffed pizza crust. I've got the covering to my ravioli right here. Just gonna lay it on top. All right, here we go. It's gonna take some relish here like this. Oh man, dude, look at this. Now when the lunch lady asks what you want, always say you want relish stuffed pizza crust and she'll be very confused. Next up, we gotta skin these potatoes so I got the drill right here, but I realized I've been going on mode one. There's what? actually a second more powerful mode. Oh no, you were not supposed to fight that. Mode two, three, Why two, one. Why did you dump it in first? Oh, geez. what is the point of this? <laughs> to be honest, I, um, I thought a lot more would have happened. It doesn't appear to have um, had any impact whatsoever. Are you just trying to get everything messy? Dude? On my potatoes. Let's go for a little gentler okay. approach. Dude, maybe turn it on one. It's on two. It's gonna it's work, on Kevin. two. Progress. There we go. Look at that. You can see it's a little peeled. I don't know if it was totally worth it. Look, look at this. Dude. Look at this. All right, done. The potatoes wow. are actually peeled. Dude, look at this, man. For my next life hack, I'm turning pizza sauce into an edible glue stick. It's time for me to shred up some of my potatoes here, and this right. is gonna be a huge part of mine. For the rest of this life hack, I just gotta pour this stuff into the straws. All right, my straws are filled. Now it's time to pop them in the fridge. All right, I just gotta keep shredding my potatoes. All right, the glue sticks are back. Now it's time to take them out of the straws. Oh, oh that looks It's insane. like a little worm. All right, got the glue sticks out. Now I gotta pop them in the freezer. All right, so while that's in the freezer, I'm gonna roll out some dough. Next up, we're making a tater tot grilled cheese sandwich. It's a crazy life hack, but first, gotta slice up some cheese right here. So here we go. It's gonna use this butter knife right here. I've got something that's gonna be even cooler. So I got I, the glue sticks mm. out of the freezer. Oh, that actually is way cooler. And now I'm gonna put them onto my pizza. That's not a glue stick though. That's pizza sauce, right? Yes. Yo, this might actually like melt the cheese and create a grilled wow. cheese without even having to cook it at all, man. Yeah, I really wasn't sure this was gonna work and it did. All right, I'm gonna make a panini here with my tater tots and cheese. So here we go. It's <laughs> nice. gonna place some, uh, some layers. Oh my gosh. All right, last thing on my pizza is some pepper slices. All right, well, as you're doing that, I gotta get my next layer of tots right here. So here we go. It's gonna layer these things like this on top. <laughs> All right, this pizza's ready to pop in the oven, and now I'm gonna make a pasta bowl out of pasta. All right, the first step is to grab this balloon here. All right, well, as you do that, it's time for me to smash this thing down and turn it into an actual panini made out of tots. Three, two, one. You don't think that's too much? No! Here we go, just gonna smash it down like this. We dislodged a couple pieces of cheese. Yeah! Oh! Dude! Well, yeah. do not try this at home. Do not try this at home. All right, let's give this another shot. Three, two, one, just gonna squish it down. Oh, oh man. This is some edible glue here I'm gonna put on the outside of my balloon some to edible. make these noodles stick. Let's see how this turned out. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh! It's an actual waffle. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, look at that, Wait, my pasta bowl made of pasta. All right, well, we've got all the ingredients, and now it's time to make our final school hack lunches. The school hack lunches are all done, and my yep. mouth is watering right now. I know, these they look, look amazing. amazing. So here is the big reveal. Three, Three two, one, ta-da! Wow. These both look amazing, Yeah. Man. Do get to comment down below whose school lunch hack is going to taste better, and we'll be finding out the winner at the end of the video. We've got all the school hacks, and now it's time to test them to find out who's gonna win. It is time for the egg drop test, and I gotta say, man, looking at both of these, I do not know which one's gonna successfully be able to do I it, know. man. This did not quite fulfill my vision for it. But right now, it's time for us to hop outside and see which one is able to better protect its egg from cracking. We've got our eggs, and now it's time yep. to drop them to see if they'll actually be able to withstand Ooh. the impact. I think that a pretty good job on the construction here. What yeah, about you? I don't know about mine. Mine's <laughs> falling apart already. This is a pretty high drop, man. We're going to be trying to hit the bullseye. Yep. At the baseline test, we're going to drop a real unprotected ostrich egg to yep. see if that cracks on the ground. And here is the uh. unprotected ostrich egg. Three, two, two one. Oh! Did that crack the cement? I don't know, man. That was quick. <laughs> right, how about this, Collins? I'm gonna hop down there. Okay. You chuck it down, and we'll assess the damage. The way that that egg broke, I don't know if this will be able to fully withstand the impact. I don't know, dude. I think you have a huge chance of success. The thing about mine is I've got a giant squishy. That was the first thing I cut open. Then I covered it in a whole bunch of gallium. We've got yep. slime in here, and the baking soda and water. Like that reaction that happened coated it in an unbreakable substance, man. It's scale of one to ten, Devin. Where do you think this one falls in terms of uh, oh. ten? Being 
green, it has a full chance of making it one, it's done. I think you got like a solid eight and a half. An eight and a half? Sure. I don't know. Should I just kind of like hold it out and then just drop oh, it? Dude, you gotta give it a nice throw or maybe a lob up. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, no. no. Orbeez oh, no. everywhere. Oh, everywhere. No. I don't know if that was so good for you, I man. I think the dude. bottom of the bag, I think, burst open. Oh, my oh, goodness. No. We're going to take the bag apart afterwards to see if it stayed intact. Yeah, you want to you trade? So you want to yeah, come yeah, up here? Yep, All right, cool. So we'll do a little switch right now. This is going to be super interesting because I coated my egg in a watermelon I pop with rubber band, cement on the inside. Oh, yeah. Not to mention oobleck on the outside for safe measure. I can hear the egg moving around in mine. That's, not That's not good. That's good. Sign. The nest on the inside. That's what really blows my mind because, like, I think that that might be your saving. What? I almost just dropped it. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, no way. No way. That was a solid thud. Like, it did no not way. crack at all. Dude, I think I just won. Oh, yeah, let's grab these eggs. Let's, let's hop back inside. Now it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to find out which egg was able to withstand the yep. drop. So how about this? We'll start with yours first. Yeah. I think this flex seal tape is going to be a lot to get through, so I brought a saw to get into mine. Yeah, do here not try this at home. Oh, There's a crack. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can see it. All right, okay, so here we go. The big reveal. Let's see if it worked. Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. One. Oh, man. I thought this would work. It's not even like cracked. It's obliterated. If that's what happened to yours, what happened to mine? All right, yes. well, let's, let's take the bag open here. We got all the squishies. We got yep. the toast. Don't oh, forget yes. about the toast. So the first bag got breached, but did the second bag pop open? Here we go. Right. Oh, yes, oh, it did. Look at that. Orbeez everywhere. Look at that. Oh, geez. Here's the egg. The slime is yes, like sweet. fully coating it, man. All right, here we go. We got the egg here. So let's see if we can just pull off some chunks of slime like yep. this. Yep. The real question, though, man, is did it survive? I am so concerned right now. Come oh, on, man. Man. All right, well, uh, fun fact, it's very difficult to find out where how I close this thing. Oh, dear. Yo, here we go. Let's see. Just going to tear it open. Oh! What? What, 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 what? I just saw something. Did you, you ready for the big reveal? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's give it a tear. Oh! What? what? I can't Look see it, it yet. Look at it. No! It's perfect. No! Not even a scratch. No 100% intact. You get to comment down below what is one ingredient you would use to save Devin's egg from not cracking. We've got the ultimate school hack lunches, and now it's time to find out which one tastes better. My oh. delicious infused crust pizza or your whack bowl. Yeah, I think we should try your bland dish over here. Whoa. Yeah. We'll start off with my grilled cheese tater tots. I gotta say, it's, oh boy, it's a little um, crumbly. You want the bigger one or the smaller one? I'll take the smaller one. All right. It smells really good. Whoa. I'm actually really excited. Yeah, for this. I'm pretty thrilled, man. I hope this, this works. Woo! So let's, ready? Um, here we go. Let's touch tots. Three, two, two one. one. Whoa, whoa! I wouldn't say it's quite a whoa or a whoa, but you know, I think it's I think it's pretty solid. What? Yours has a pretty high bar to climb if it really wants to reach it, man. Did for you, you put peppers on there? Yes. Were you watching what I was doing? Not really. I will offer you the choice. Which slice do you want? I'll, These are your I'll, only I'll, two I'll choices. Take this one here. Okay. Three, two, one. Mmm. Whoa. You want me more of it? I wish I did, but no, I already ate it. Wow. Dude. I didn't think it was possible, but that was better than the tater tots, Way man. Way better. Yeah. Like a million times better. It Good. comes down yeah. to the main dish, yeah. Devin. I'll take this slice over here. Hey, hey, yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Look at that. You all see right. the relish in there. I'm folding it over like this, and I'm going to take a bite right over here so I get the sauce, the cheese, the relish, and the crust all in one. Bam. Three, two, one. Whoa. Wow. I wasn't totally sure on this combo. That is interesting. Okay. Yours, yes. I don't think is going to be able to top that. Three, two, one. Why is it a brick? Two. They should be individual it pieces. Form to the bowl. Here you go. Wait, so I get a whole, I get a whole slice of this. Yes. Three, two, one. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. this is not good. You get to comment down below whose school lunch do you think tasted better? Now it's time to find out what this edible glue stick actually know, tastes right? like. Can I feel how heavy this thing yes, is? Yes, it is really, really heavy. Oh my gosh. Yes, oh, I, got all, I, got, I got all okay, of it. I got all of it. You got it. You got it. Okay. Holy cow. Yeah, that's really, heavy. Okay. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I got you. I'm going to spot you. You should just take it back. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't even know how I'm going to eat this. I think I got to hold it for you. Okay, yeah, sure. You got it? I got it. You 100% got it? I 100% got it. Three, two, one. Oh. I can't oh. see. Is it working? Yeah, no. It's way harder than I expected. It's gotten on your teeth. Wait, yeah. smile, Devin. Smile forward. Yeah. Does it taste it's good? It's definitely edible and it tastes delicious. Well, this thing's getting super heavy. So yes. if you oh, watch another video, you got to click got right it. over got here. It. You got five seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. We yeah. love you. No. Bye. Bye.